All right, everybody, how are we feeling? I hope you're all ready for another Koa stream. This is going to be a bit of a different one since we're actually finally watching some CN mainland uh, matches. Now, I need to express my confusion here for a bit because let, 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 me, let me show you something here. So we're, we're, what we're going to watch is we're going to watch this on YouTube. I've already got it pulled up. Um, as you can see, look at this. They have it written down here as day three and f uh, what? Okay, okay, see when I zoom in, it goes day two and day three, right? So they had it listed as day two and day three, and then they updated it to day three and four. So I had to make two different thumbnails. So if I refresh it, it'll probably like fix it when I go into full screen. Let me see here. Yeah, it does. That's so weird. I knew they changed it. I knew it wasn't just me. I was I thought I was having like a freaking uh freaking Chuck moment. <laughs> oh boy. Uh better call Saul. Anyways. Uh, yeah, the confusion here, let me let me show you. So, we're watching this on YouTube, and so uh, a while back, six days ago, they uh, the, the, the Japanese uh, commentators commented over some, not all, but some of the uh, Chinese mainland matches. They call it day one and day two, but they only commentate over three matches. Well, here's the thing. When we started off this one, right, they showed us the bracket, uh, which was, like, right around here, and it looked like... You know, eight matches had already been played, because they actually have a ton of CN mainland players here. And look at this. There are, like, tons of matches that are already done. We're going to be watching YS versus TE, and then I think, uh, let's see, is this, yeah, there's, there's two different brackets. And then we're watching WGB versus uh, TWT, and then I think we're doing, um, yeah, MRC versus ZS LIN. So we're watching match five, six, and uh, fr from this one here, and then from back over here, we're watching uh, just match six. So we're not going to be able to see match five. And what's weird is that um, matches one through four on this bracket, and one through four they don't they're not all showed, because in you know the freaking day one over here there's only three sets when there should have been eight. So that's what that's what I'm confused about. I don't know if they're gonna go back and commentate those matches. I don't know if I'm gonna have to find them on Billy Billy. I, I really don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, so this this is like a really confusing thing for me. Uh, I still haven't set up the Billy Billy account or anything. Um, but we're, we're going to stick with this today. Obviously, this this has already happened. This is day three and four. So these happened on the uh, on the 9th and the 10th, I believe. Or was it 16? I think it was maybe either either 9th or 10th or 16 and 17th. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 16 and 17th with days three and four. So the, these matches took place this last weekend while we were watching JP and NAEU. Um, and we're in like the middle section, right? Where like WG... Uh, WBG, TBT, that, that kind of stuff is. So that, that's what we're watching today. Um, and dang, we're already jumping into the first match. My goodness. Haven't even had much time to explain. Oh boy. Alright. Sorry, sorry for the confusion um, regarding that. But uh, yeah, I, I've been pretty confused as to what this is. Because I want to commentate over every single Koa match. But we're just going to stick with this for now. Um, cause it will save me editing in the future. And then whenever I figure out the rest of it, um, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of commentating a lot of these matches out of order, but I will, I do have a giant playlist, um, where I have like all the, uh, co matches. Cause I want to, I want to commentate every single co match, um, that is played. So I, in the description, I'll have like a huge playlist. And then once, once I find the organization of it all, I'll put it all organized in the playlist, uh, for that. Sorry. Oh boy. Sorry, I know that's confusing. Anyway, uh, let me let me know how audio is, everybody, and then we'll uh, we'll get right into it. Obviously, once again, this is um, this has already been streamed. This is a Japanese dub of the Chinese uh, stream. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, the the mod, I swear the models look so freaking glossy. Look at Opera's hair. Look at that thing. It looks so like wet or something. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Let me let me get my. Flashcards. I do have my flashcards here. This is this is set whatever, but it's the first set that we're watching here uh, today um, from this Japanese dubbed uh, thingy. And I don't know why they're not dubbing all the matches. Maybe it's because there's too many. I don't know if I don't even know. Like I don't know how to work Billy Billy. It's all in Chinese, so I can't read it. I don't even know how to search for things. So you know, if anybody can help me with that, that'd be awesome. Just like hit me up in my Discord server. Be like, yo, this is how you find the stuff. Okay, this is going to be Y S. Um, versus TE. We got the builds here, which is really nice. We see Opera with uh, Blink Detention tr Trump card, Mercenary, Borrow Time Tide, of course, along with Gardner. And dang, okay, we're already hopping right into it. It looks like the other two had Borrow Time Knee Jerk. Yep, 
Uh, borrow time knee jerk on Embalmer and the uh, and the patient. Okay, so everybody with borrowed time, that's pretty risky going uh, with Opera, but here we go. And already gets a hit onto the patient. That's a pretty early hit. Yeah, I feel like the. Uh, I, feel, I feel like this is um, a little lower quality than normal. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's a really fast down. That is a really fast down. Oh boy. Very fast down. <laughs> Is audio good? Okay, people are saying audio is good. Awesome. I might need to turn down the uh, commentators for me. They're actually a bit loud for me, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Okay, so patient has already been chaired. That's the first chair down. This is looking very good for the opera singer right from the start. Sorry, sorry I didn't put up a poll. I'll put a, I'll put a poll for the next match. I kind of had like a really fast start here. Had a very, very fast start. Okay. Looks like the uh, predictions are in Chinese, so I can't read it, but um, it's probably, it's, I think it's 4K on the left, 4 escape on the right uh yeah 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 i'm pretty sure yeah because that's that's the japanese characters for four and three i don't know why the middle one isn't two maybe it's just tie instead whatever and see ya buddy down you go that was what time turner used from the mercenary and the cyphers are still pretty slow they finally just finished one of them hmm yeah that was a pretty short kite no blink was even needed that was just a short kite did they even show us spawns? I don't think I don't even know. If they did, I didn't. I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, looks like Gardner is the next victim. Gonna take a hit here, and she can't even rescue. She actually can't even rescue. She she's she has tie, but can't even rescue. Mercenary, here we go. And patient, can you at least get the hook off? He at least gets the hook off. Can you force out a blink or something, buddy? Nope. Cannot force out a blink. Unfortunate. It's so funny how the hook is supposed to gain distance and like against opera, it just doesn't. <laughs> Not unless it's like a really well positioned hook. You know, obviously on Moonlit he can get some good hooks, but uh, on Chinatown it's kind of just alleyways. There's not too many, uh, too many great spots. I mean, there is that spot up and connected. You can get tons of distance from there, because uh, it is like you know, hooking from two story to first. But even then, I don't know how they come back from this. They have Embalmer. They still have Gardner tied, but Opera's got Blink and all the time in the world since the ciphers are so far behind. <sighs> You don't think, yeah, I don't think they showed spawns either. I feel like we usually get to see spawns. I guess uh, CN just hops right into it. My goodness, waste no time at all. There's the blink. Dang, just wants the mercenary dead. Sheesh. Just wants him dead. Okay, their UI is like jank. Look at that. It's like messing up. <laughs> the UI is so jank. Oh, boy. They finally started up their four cypher. But at this point, it's too little too late. That patient's kite. Like, he died when all the cyphers were at, like, 30. That's a that's a below average opera kite. That's like a, that's like an average uh, me opera kite. <laughs> but, um... You know, for for the pros, that's uh that's not so good. That's really not so good. Yeah, that's that's why like you don't we don't really see like teams with full uh you know full BT. I feel like teams with full BT is just so risky. And she does actually spot out the embalmer here. Aesop is gonna go down. Has his coffin, but where where even was his coffin? Oh, his coffin's on the other side of the map. That's that's something at least. That is something. She did already swap the teleport, and are they even gonna get the rescue? Uh, Gardner is heading there. She can probably barely make it. Uh, yeah, with, with veteran speed boost, she definitely makes it. But even then, Opera can just double down. And then it, it's basically just GG's from there. Let's see. There she is. We've got Bubble. Funny Bubble. She's trying to, she's trying to body block. Oh, that's so goofy. And... She doesn't... No, she, she, she hits Merc. She hits Merc. Yep. Merc dies. Merc dies. Now Merc... Uh... Oh! Yeah, try not to... Oh! Does take a hit. Unfortunate for the Gardener. Does she continue after the Gardener? No. Okay. She just wants some... She just wants some damage. Just wants some damage. Yeah. Thing is, Merc's out of elbow pad, so it's not like he can dash away and, you know, pull Opera... Pull Opera with him. Now, this, this Opera is, like, insane, dude. She's, she's doing way too good. I mean, partially it was because of the, uh... The slow kite. It's also interesting that CN actually has the heart rates for each player up. I don't think we had that in any of the other matches that we've seen so far. Um, has again, they actually don't have it for the hunter, but it looks like for the gardener. Look at that heart rate. My goodness, they must be so nervous. That's a really fast heart rate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the average isn't average resting heart rate like usually around like 60 to 80, like depending on uh. You know, depend depending on like certain circumstances, but like you know, one one fifty is like that's up there, dude. 
Uh, 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 good pal in my game, but unfortunately couldn't last forever. Yeah, and with only two people, it's only a matter of time. So now, 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 you, now you chair the embalmer. His his coffin's actually moved. He actually moved his coffin. Uh, and he, she's not even gonna let him use the coffin. Dang. Okay. Not even gonna let him use the coffin. Interesting. Interesting. And Garner did pick up a syringe. That's something. That's something. But at this point, it's just bleeding out. It's just bleeding out. Because Embalmer, Embalmer does have Coffin. He does have Self-Heal. So they have resources. But they had to finish, like, three whole Cyphers. And while they all have progress, like, they'd have to get to said Cyphers with Opera just absolutely destroying them. Yeah, it's a 4K at this point. It's a 4K. Is that their in real, is it the IRL heart rate? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I know I know in IVL they had uh, heart rates for some players sometimes. I, I don't know, like, what makes them... Uh, what makes them do it? I guess it's just to, you know, add to the effect of like, oh my gosh, check out the intensity of all this. And I don't I don't know if this is just going to be a thing for CN. I don't know if they're going to have it for, uh, you know, global finals or anything, but it would be kind of cool. And when are you going to, when are we going to, there it is. <laughs> There's the pallet stun. I was wondering when it was coming in. Okay. I knew it was, it was it was eminent, dude. It was eminent. And Embalmer still has not self-healed. Hits the bubble. Man, you should have had Gardner take the first kite. Look at this. Just have Gardner take first kite at this point. Honestly, just have her take the kite. Her kite is lasting longer like it's a full prez freaking opera singer than patient. Uh, no presence. And she is dead though. Never mind. Never mind. Jeez. At this point, I was broken the pallet. I would have broken the pallet. I'm, I'm too stubborn, bro. I, I break pallets just so often because I, I hate getting looped. And are we finally going to see... Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. It's bleed out. Tell you, he hasn't used up his self-heal because if he can force himself to die, that's like really good. It, it's really good because then he can like, you know... Die and then Garner can get dungeon. So I guess that's the play that they're going for. And Opera just has to find him now. Oh boy. Under the player name, yeah, the, under the player names, you can see them. Uh, they don't, they don't have one for the hunter though. Usually, usually they do have one for the hunter, and I swear the hunters is usually the highest because obviously they, they have like the highest level of intensity. But she does actually spot out the embalmer, and he's gonna be able to use his coffin here. Does he use the coffin? No, she's... No, no. I see what we're doing. I see, Yep, it's going to be the force struggling. Yep, it's the force struggle strat. Yep, it's this strat. It's this strat. So, the, uh, for those who don't know, for those who haven't seen this strat, it is pretty cringe. Um, but it's necessary in tournament setting for people who, you know, hold on to their self heals and resources. What they do is they just... Since, since the, since the uh, crawling speed is so slow... What they do is they just bring everybody close together, let them struggle free, constantly hit them down. That way you can share both of them within a very short amount of time. Yeah, see, Embalmer, since he struggled free, he will not be able to use his coffin and he won't be able to self-heal in time. So Opera can just go back and chair him. Because um, most of the time, people have their self-heals primed and uh, they're not going to want to use them. So yeah, that's that's how you pretty much guarantee it. It's a little annoying, um, especially when it goes on for a very, very, very long time. But otherwise, not a bad start for the Opera, for TE here. <laughs> Let me just uh, get my notes out here. Okay, there we go. Getting the notes done. And I'm pretty sure these are all best of threes. I'm pretty sure there are no uh, best of fives today, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Have to go to school? No worries. Good luck at school. If there's a cowboy, you'll be with us in spirit. <laughs> Oh boy, where's the orbs? I don't know. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. It could probably help me figuring out Billy Billy, but I'm just scared of Discord servers. Understandable. Understandable, understandable. Yeah, I, I don't know why they don't have it. I'm not sure. Uh, but now, now we can just wait for the next match. Uh... All right, the stats, though. Yeah, that first kite, bro. <laughs> what, was, what was the patient? Dang, dude. The patient was the first kite, and he had the lowest time out of everybody. That's insane. Imagine... Does that count the tide? There's no way. That, does that count the tide as well? I feel like that counts the tide as well. Bro. That's really bad. <laughs> that's, 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 that's really bad, unfortunately. That's a really bad kite.
Um, it happens, though. It happens. It happens. Okay, I did want to turn the commentaries down slightly. Let me see what they were. Okay, turn them down to that. And I'll boost this up ever so slightly. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? That's, that's what I use for editing. What the heck? Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, how's, how's everybody liking uh, Season 31 so far? How, it, for those who polled, uh, how, how is the luck? Did you guys get Ivy? Did you guys get what you're looking for? I'm curious. I'm, I'm saving these three. I got I got three more by doing some matches. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna use them in my next video, not in the stream. Ivy is scary. I agree. She's terrifying. She is terrifying. Got nothing unfortunate. Yeah, I, I opened exactly 60 and I was able to get Charles. So I'll, I'll probably have a Charles video coming soon because I do have plenty of clues. At this point, I I want I have enough clues to buy both Ivy and Charles because uh, Ivy's gonna be four thousand five hundred, Charles will be three thousand five hundred. So what? That's like eight thousand clues. I could definitely afford that. I I have, I have like double that. You got an S tier in a few polls. That's crazy. Yeah, I heard I heard some. So I think somebody commented on my video saying that they. Uh, they got like, I think, what was it? I think it was like, within like 15 polls, they got the S tier and an A tier. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get Charles. I, I think I'll probably get Charles. I'll probably do a video on Charles next week, maybe. Probably next week. Oh my gosh, they're already picking. Dang, they go fast. They go fast. I wasn't even ready. Usually they spend like a couple minutes. My goodness, that was fast, dude. They waste no time. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Uh, again, this is also pre-recorded. Uh, like this stream has already happened. So you look at Charles flying. <laughs> But yeah, again, the, these these uh, this is a Japanese dub of the uh, the Chinese stream, so they they probably cut out some of the waiting times. I think, I actually don't know. I actually have no idea. I haven't watched one of these before. That since this this was this is a dub over the CN commentary. The VR models are pretty cool. I yeah, they are pretty cool. I I think I think yeah, I've seen them used before. I wonder if I like these ones are a little crusty. They look a little glossy and crusty. Um, but I've seen like I've seen them use these previously, and they usually look pretty good. So I don't know why it looks so crusty here. I'm not sure. Anyways, it is gonna be opera. We're gonna see seer, priestess, antiquarian, officer, bands. That's gonna be aeroplanist, gardener, embalmer, and mercenary. But look at that. They look so like glossy. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I do like the set though. It's like they're in a what is this factory sort of thing? Does it, it's not it kind of feels weird. The theme doesn't really match Koa 7. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. The essence also has the night watch. Yeah, I did see that. I did see Night Watch's salute. How he salutes is he just basically does like two he does like a bow into a bow or something i don't know how to describe it but it's like he does like prepping for a bow into a bow it's it's kind of jank um so it looks like we saw the spawns on that little vr thing but not much else oh we zoom into the screens b for you is winner b we're not watching nau b for you is already played oh we're gonna see abnormal Okay, Detention Trump Card Abnormal Opera. Interesting. We have seen Abnormal Opera actually do decently well. But my goodness, they just jump right into this, dude. I don't know if they, this is just CN specifically or if they're cutting things out for uh, the, J, the JP stream. I really don't know. Anyways, uh, the build. Mercenary has a standard build. Borrowed Time Tide. We have Tide Knee Jerk on Embalmer. Borrow time knee jerk on Gardener and then borrow time knee jerk on Aeroplanist. It's interesting that they don't have Tide on Aeroplanist. Usually we see Aeroplanist with Tide, um, but Gardener is probably their main character they want to have take the kite here, most likely. Um, yeah, they probably wanted Gardener or Charles to take the kite here. So this is this is uh, this is somewhat looking good for the survivors, depending on how long the Gardener can kite. Uh, so far, it's pretty much been better than the patient's kite. <laughs> <laughs> the patient died like right around this time he died he literally died like right around one of the cyphers were at like 28 which was really bad uh do we get bubble she actually gets bubble and i think she should be able to she should be able to vault this yup yup opera hits the bubble but the in it like probably like the last second before it popped or something the bubble lasts six seconds so she tried to body block the window but it wasn't enough that's what I'm telling you, dude. Gardner, Gardner works well. Gardner works well against Opera. And without the threat of Blink, which, not that she knows that, but, you know, without without Blink, it's going to be even easier for her to uh, continue this kite. Now, she probably is going to take a hit around here. 
Uh, let's see. Yep, gonna take a hit. Gonna go all the way back up in two story, and then. Are we gonna drop? Oh, she just drops down immediately. Okay. Dang, drops down immediately just to go back over here. Bubble again? Oh my gosh, bubble's already up. Dang, that was 40 seconds already? Sheesh. Oh, breaks the pallet. Breaks the pallet. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. And are we dead here? She is dead. But look at that, dude. That was almost a three cypher kite. That was crazy, dude. Yeah, we actually don't see the gardener's heart. I guess it's probably a choice, right? You can, you can probably be like, no, I don't want my heart rate being shown. Um... I don't know. I, I don't see why you wouldn't, but it's more just like a, eh, I don't want this like extra device on me. I want to focus on the game. So it's, it's probably a choice. It's probably just a choice for players. But uh, I imagine that Gardner's heart rate was uh, pretty fast. <laughs> pretty fast. Looks like the Embalmer is actually pretty fast as well. Um, but yeah, since that kite was so well, Opera actually has nothing too abnormal. This is why abnormal is uh, not really something that you start off with because you don't really get the opportunity most of the time to actually use abnormal now uh, that's not to say that opera is useless with abnormal but uh you know it's not it's not exactly a consistent trait typically people trade swap into abnormal and dang just walks through that power completely disrespects it hitting the embalmer down and uh now we're gonna go back after the garden this is gonna be a double down but it's giving her opportunity to transition uh she might be able to set up a bubble we could see her uh maybe extend the kite just a little bit do we see bubble there's bubble there's bubble Right on cue. And has this pal Torquist. She's going to break the pal before she hits. Yeah, the Gardner stalling is actually really solid. It is very solid. Now just kind of pouch semi a little bit. Does she make this? Oh, doesn't make it. Yeah. Ne needed to play a little bit more... Uh... A little bit more safe there. Okay. Not bad, though. Not bad. This this is still... This is still drawable? Drawable? Oh, well, hold on. I guess it depends. Is she out normal as a Cypher? No, she can't make it. She can't make it to the Cypher in time. Um, uh, yeah, next up should be the Mercenary uses Tide. Garner will die in a corner. And then... Oh, she is gonna... She is gonna abnormal. Luckily, that one was only a 39. It wasn't the one that was about to be done. And it looked like they did start up a new one. They're still working on Hotel. This should be a draw. This should be a draw. Maybe 3k, because she does still have Trace Up Teleport, which is, like, basically a free down for Opera Singer unless she messes up. So this is, this is between a draw and a, and a 3k, I think. Uh, Mercenary is buying as much time as possible, gets hit, and are, is not going to body block. Yeah, they, they pretty much figure that with their Cypher progress currently where it is. There's no point in body blocking at this point. Gunner should just go die off in a corner, waste as much time. Yeah, die away from the Cyphers too. Since they're all in hotels, she's like, I'm, I'm booking it all the way away, dude. This is why Tide Turner is freaking broken. Gonna go all the way up in two story, waste as much time as possible. Yep. Wasting as much time as possible. There we go. There we go, dude. Yeah, the Cyphers are looking good, though. The Cyphers are about to be primed. They actually should just pop here. And boop, there they go. They pop. They just pop. And Balmer still has his coffin as well so they're gonna put him on the gate since it's probably safe and he's not going to the gate okay hmm. he might be the next chase uh, yeah it's it's yeah this is this is a draw this has got to be a draw oh wait no it's not wait a minute you have mercenary on gate he already elbow pads away okay she hasn't trade swap teleported yet this sh this should be a draw though I guess the thing is she could she could slug mercenary down. Uh, he does have an L pad. Will he use it? No, there's a teleport. There's a teleport, and it's on embalmer. Embalmer goes down. Does he just immediate coffin? He probably should just immediate coffin. Yep, immediate coffins. Yep, 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 yep. Immediate coffins. Uh, and yeah, she can't backflip just yet. She's gonna go and kill Embalmer. But by the time she kills Embalmer, puts him on the chair, it's gonna be enough. This is why Embalmer is so freaking broken, bro. This is why Embalmer is so broken. He's just he's just free time waster, bro. He's actually just a free time waster. And it's not even like Perfumer where it's not guaranteed. In Bomber, it basically is guaranteed. You are guaranteed to waste like so much of the Hunter's time just by coffining. Like, Embalmer is actually busted. And he should be dead here. Yeah, he cannot make it to Dungeon. So that is a draw. That is a draw. But that, that, that's the thing. If you can get draws against Opera Singer, you're good. That's all you need, bro. If you can get anybody out the gate versus Opera Singer, you're looking good. So right now, um, right now, Team uh, T-E. I keep wanting to say T-He. It sounds like I'm saying T-He. But no. T-E is, uh, is in the lead right now. Interesting stuff. Very right, interesting stuff. You just finished watching an IV guide and your head hurts from just watching it. There's so much that goes into her gameplay. Yeah, there, there is. There is. She has a lot of abilities. Like, when, when we look at her, she has 
What? Like, look at all this. Four thingies from the start. <laughs> it's like, I think only other people have that is like clerk or something. Um, yeah, you see, you, see, you see like it's one, one, two, maybe. One, two, one, two, one, one, two. One, two. To um, literally nothing, literally nothing, but you know, he has the stuff up here, so <laughs> um, I think where is Clerk? Yeah, Clerk, Clerk starts with like four different thingies, so yeah, I, do, I do think Ivy is gonna be uh, hard to play, but she's also gonna be hard to play against, or as like you know, something like a Dream Witch or a Mad, a Mad Eyes is easy to play against, right? But he's hard to play. Ivy is kind of probably it's, it's like both. It's hard to play against and hard to play as. I can only imagine. It's like, bruh, it's crazy. <laughs> Oh boy. Am I not planning on buying a Junji Ito skin? I don't know if I will yet. I haven't I haven't read the uh I haven't read the I haven't read it or watched it yet, so I'll have to see. I will have to see. But yeah, this character is uh she's strong. She's definitely gonna be strong. Just scary to play against. I don't, I don't really know what the counterplay is going to be against her. Like the only two characters that work well against her, to my knowledge, are Magician and uh, Officer because they can use their abilities to uh, make the ghost fall off of them, or the Yith or whatever. Huh. Okay, now they're now they're just now they're playing highlights. Sorry. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, looks like looks like they're actually moving this along pretty fast though. So we should be able to get get through these sets uh, pretty fast, not super long. Uh, wait times. What about coordinator for buying time? The thing is, we don't. I don't know how coordinator versus um, Ivy works. Because the thing is, Ivy can cancel people's abilities, right? Uh, with using scare with main body, she can cancel any harassment, forward harassment. Uh, she can cancel wildling harassment. She can cancel batter harassment, antiquarian harassment. She can cancel all of your abilities. So I don't know if like coordinator shoots the gun, it gets canceled. Does she lose the gun, or does it just like not come out? I don't know. I'm not sure. I I, I have no idea how it works. The gun saw a video where, well, it, it also could depend on the timing of the gun, right? Like if you time the gun before she scares, but if you like shoot the gun as she scares you, like I don't know. I don't know, dude. I just don't know. Cause I guess it would count as like a bullet. So I I just don't know how it works. And even then, though, it's still one gun. So, like, yeah, it would buy a little bit of time. But the thing is, you shoot main body, right? You shoot main body. You just swap to you just swap to the thing. You just you literally just swap to your uh, your lich. Because that, that's what we saw uh, when when the Ivy main body got um, entranced by a painting. She literally just swapped to the ghost. She just swapped. So it's like you stun main body, but she can still control her ghost. And even then, even if even if it is, um, you're not going to gain any distance. You're going to gain no distance. From uh, from doing that, because you shoot main body and then uh oh, I catch up to you with ghost in five seconds, possess you, and then I'm already back. Like, it, I don't I don't know how you like escape from this hunter. I really don't. Especially since you can't look back. So like, the fact that you can't even look back at her consistently is like she's gonna be able to mind game you actually for free. Like she doesn't even have to try to mind game you. She literally just like yeah, I'll just walk up towards you. You can't look at me because my character said so, and then I just win because you can't look behind you. That's that's why in like my freaking Ivy video, I wasn't looking behind me, and I got like I got memed on twice because I didn't know where she was because I couldn't look behind her. I couldn't. I can't predict her movements. Um, obviously you're, you probably are gonna be able to like look behind you in glances, but you know it, it's gonna be really hard because. You know, you accumulate more corrosion. If you look behind too too much, you're just gonna uh, take a free hit. Anyways, we're starting off with Mike Gaming, Psych, Merc, and one more person. They are banning Opera. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they are uh, banning Opera. Yeah, they, these are going much faster. I like to see this. These are going much faster. But again, it it, it is because it is um. You know, pre-recorded. This 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 is live for JP viewers, but they're commentating over something that already happened last weekend. Now, you, yeah, you, you can't you cannot buy Ivy yet, but she'll she'll be available in a week. She'll be available after maintenance. Uh, ne next maintenance. Uh, to buy. But right now, you can only get her from the essence. That's that's how that's how they hook you. <gasps> Melly, Melly, Melly time. Woo. Yo, Melly doesn't look crusty. Look at that. <laughs> Melly time. 
Actually, banning coordinator is interesting. Okay, I wonder who this hunter is going to play. Hmm. It is Lakeside. TE does have the lead. They can honestly play for draws. Hmm. So we could see something like Wax. We could see something like Bonbon. Bon. We could see something like Disciple. They don't have to push for wins here. They don't have to push for wins. They push for draws and they just win. <laughs> Nightmare a top tier? Yeah, I wish. I wish. You could probably you could probably play Nyad. Yeah, you could probably you could probably play Nyad. Uh, yeah, no, you can you can play Nyad. This this comp isn't like dummy strong. You have two solid kiters with a uh, Melly and Mike. You have a solid rescue being Merc, and then you have Psych who can provide some good support. And also just tanks three hits. I never understand why top players pick Psyche so much, though. I know she's good, but, like, I don't know. I always feel like she's kind of the weak link of the team. Oh, it's the Bainster! Bro, the rise of ba Oh, yo, do you see that? He just flashes into the Koa skin. That's his, that's, his Koa, that's his Koa skin, isn't it? Oh, boy. That's probably why some of the models are a bit crustier, because they're, they're showing off the skins. Yeah, the Bainster! Alright, here we go. Here we go, let's see here. Time for the Bainster. This is, this is, like, uh, this is where, like, this, the rise of Bane started. It started in CN mainland, to my knowledge. Okay, we can kind of see the spawns here. Uh, only sort of. <laughs> only sort of. <laughs> Ability to tank three hits, potential stress when going down makes her really good against. It. Yeah, I, I, I can. I see that. I see that. I definitely see that. All right, here we go. Merc with no self heal. What the heck? You usually bring self heal on everybody. Why does the Merc not have self heal? Anyway, standard build on uh on the Bainster, blink detention trump card. Mercenary with no self heal for some reason. That's really weird. Melly with Tide. What? I knew Melly's in the past used to bring Tide, but she's not really a character that you want to bring Tide on. That's weird. Okay, anyway. Yeah, Melly and Merc with Borrowed Time Tide. Merc with no self-heal for some reason. I don't know what he's prioritizing instead of self-heal, but he should not be prioritizing that, whatever it is. You need to bring self-heal on every character. It's like a must, dude. It's a must. Uh, and then we have Borrowed Time, Knee Jerk on the other two characters. All right, he's setting up traps and he's chasing this acrobat. Oh my gosh! Bro! Okay, already I can just already tell. As, as much as I don't want to be insulting to the other Banes. Oh my gosh! That's it! That's a fast down! I don't want to say it, bro. But like, this Bane, this Bane is already looking so much more clean than the other Banes I've seen. So much more clean. Like, I think I saw a Bane in South Korea, then I saw the one from NAEU. And this one is looking so much more clean than theirs. I'm sorry. This this, this is like this is looking like some peak Bane gameplay. My goodness. Get, catches the Acrobat when he tries to jump through. It's, like it's Acrobat jumping through the window, and he still gets caught. That's that's crazy, dude. That is actually crazy. And now he's at full full prez, so now Mercer can't... um. He can't get hit by this hook, or else... Uh, okay, there's the hook. There's... Oh, but Melly Bees, Melly Bees. But, 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 be careful. Don't get Terra Shocked now, Merc. Don't get Terra Shocked. Okay, he got... He just he just basic hit him. He just basic hit him. And he just walks around the Bees, bro. <laughs> All right, hook is on cooldown, but can you get enough distance? He should be able to vault this in time. Let's see. He can, but watch out for Blink. There's the Blink. Oh, misses the Blink, misses the Blink. We got Bees, swinging at Bees. Dude, Bane's attack is actually so fast. Oh, wait, well, I gotta watch out for that trap. Now, now here's Hook. Hits the Bees, and... Wait, he might not be able to Hook. You gotta Hook like right now, you gotta Hook like right now, it'll be canceled. Oh, now it's, yeah, now, hook, now Hook's in cooldown, now Hook's in cooldown, okay. Hook is now in cooldown. The Cyphers are climbing slightly, but that melee support also made it so the, uh... Oh, she has, like, no bees left! She actually has no bees! Oh my gosh. And he keeps jumping over those traps, dude. Oh boy. His abilities are sealed, so he can't use hook thanks to Firebomb. And he steps into another trap! Dude, he just can't escape from this area. It's so hard to transition against Bane. Do you see? The Acrobat just could only use this one area. And once you lock off the good areas with all the traps, like, I see it, dude. I see it now. The rise of Bane is so crazy. 
Now Melly has to come in for the rescue of the- Oh my gosh, he's actually just- Bro. Like, it's, it's, it's so weird, because, like, all the Banes I go up against are just like, Oh, I don't know how to dodge hook, I'm bad. But, like, the top Banes are crazy, dude. Like, the amount of planning ahead- Look at this, look at this. He's gonna try and- He's gonna try and yeah, he's gonna try and use the hook and shove her into the trap, which isn't exactly like a new strategy or anything. He's not full prez, but it's enough to prevent the rescue. Potentially, oh yep, it's enough to prevent the rescue. Exactly, that's all he was doing, just stalling it out. Bro, the rise of Bane, the Banester, and now she's in a terrible area. She's just dead. He does down her with stress, but it doesn't really matter because Bane can just hook. He can just hook. If he just hooks and then hits, then it doesn't matter. Oh, boy. Okay, now Melly has to come in here. So that means Mercer. It's going to have to be Mercoder. Merc is going to have to finish the <laughs> He's just trapped everywhere. He's played the whole game in this one area. He's actually played the entire game in this one area. He hasn't left the entire time. That's insane. And they're going to rescue after half. Merc, high key, use your elbow pads just to get to the. Just to, uh, are they gonna sell? They actually might sell. I mean, like they probably should, because if Merc, Merc can't rescue, if Merc goes down, he's dead. He has no self heal for some reason, because he he was just like, yeah, I don't need it for some reason. I don't. What what would you prioritize over self heal? Self heal is broken. Self heal is actually. I mean, he probably assumes that he would have self heal, but it's not like. You know, everybody can know that. Bro, I hate it when Banes do this. Oh my gosh, because now you're so slow. Oh, it hits the bees! It hits the bees! Oh, he's going to hit Melly. Nope, just hooks Melly. Misses the blink! Wait, that's that's kind of huge. That's kind of huge. That's trait used. The bees are here. Dude, all she's doing is like pulling back bees. Yup. Bees are gone now. Oh... Uh... Oh, uh, he hits Melly. He hits Melly. He hits Melly. Oh, he hits Melly. <laughs> That's not the one he wants to hit. Oh boy, Melly was cooking there, even with only like one percent bees. She was cooking, and now Sight can come in. Let's see. Hook, hit, and pop. Quick, quick, quick! It's not gonna be enough. She can't even rescue. It is not enough time. The hook, dude. The hooks, boyo. You gotta stay away, stay away from those hooks. Look at all the traps! She can't go anywhere! She's actually dead! The hook dodge! Oh, that was almost crazy, dude. Bro, Bane! Bane is so crazy. This, this is like actually top Bane, bro. This this is like top level Bane. All the other Banes I've seen, I don't, I don't think they're anything like this. And I think, yeah, Merc, Merc can't even, he can't even take a detention hit. Cause he he was at three force, so he just he just hit, he just hits him and he dies. I mean, Melly is about to die. Puts a trap there. Dungeon isn't too far. All he has an el he has an elbow pad and a dream, dude. That's all that's all Merc has an elbow pad and a dream. And he's not even he's not even <laughs> he's not even heading towards Melly, or the the dungeon rather the dungeon. Oh boy. Where'd he go? Did he lose track? He lost track of him! Wait, he might be able to make it. Oh my gosh. He makes that, he makes that, he makes that, he makes that. No way. They actually get a one escape. Bane was right there, dude. He was right on his tail. If Bane realized where the dungeon was any sooner, that would have been crazy. <laughs> That actually would have been crazy. My goodness, dude. Jeez. That's the power of the, the hook buff. <laughs> if it was the old hook, she probably could have made the window. Really? My goodness. It's it's so crazy just how much this character has been played. Merc shouldn't have made it out. Yeah, I think that was maybe just a mistake on Bane not knowing where the dungeon is. Because the thing is, usually like when you're you know traveling around the map, you look at all the dungeon locations. You're like, okay, dungeon is either not here. But the thing is, Bane played the entire game in that one corner. So he only had two dungeon locations to think about. He, he, che he checked three. Um... He, he he had he had checks on three of them, but he didn't know where the other. I guess the other two would have only been near Big Bow, so he probably should have gone to Big Bow. Um, but instead, maybe it was like, because he had tinnitus, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Hook pull to obstacles was slower before the buff. Okay, yeah, he does go really fast. 
He goes really, really fast with that hook, dude. Even then, look, it doesn't matter because TE still has the lead. Yep, they still look at that. Look at the lead they have. That's an insane lead. I mean, also they have to, you know, play the second half of round two, but still, that's that's a really solid lead that TE has right now. A very solid, uh, a very solid lead. <laughs> they walk past each other. I think I think Mercen and Yuzi all had to speed past Bane. I think that's what happened. I, yeah, again, I don't know what the whole self heal thing was about, though. Like, what else would you prioritize? Because Merc, Merc. Uh, yeah, you just. What else do you prioritize? It's right there. It costs like what? Hmm. It costs 10 points, I'm pretty sure. 10 points. Is it really that hard to pick self heal, buddy? My goodness. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Dang. Th yeah, the wait times are so slow. I actually really like this. We 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 got we got matches after matches with this. Not a lot of breathing time, but I kind of like that. Have you seen the Wick art? Uh, I don't know if I have seen the Wick fan art. I'll, I'll check it. I, I haven't been on Discord too much today. Uh, we got Patient and Antiquarian, though. They're actually allowing these characters to be globally banned. Hmm. I guess they're fine since they have such a huge lead. Toy Merchant 2? Oh my. Wait, why are you banning Professor? Professor over Toy Merchant on this map? That's crazy. Banning Officer? Okay, okay. I, I can understand the sea and arrow planets, but Professor? Over Toy Merchant and Antiquarian? My goodness. Are they really that scared of Prof? Poor Lucino, bro. Okay, I understand Officer as well, but now they just pick Mercenary here. Yeah, there's Merc. They call him the Merc. Have I ever seen the beta version of IDV? Yeah, Zeus showed me a bunch of videos of it. He showed me tons of videos of it. It is crazy, dude. All the lucky guys down in the basement, bro. Yeesh. And the and like the way people died, like the like the freaking uh, hooks or like hanging things instead of the uh, rocket chairs is creepy, dude. And how crawling was more like lying down. It was actually scary. IDV used to be much scarier, dude. Now now it's kind of like I don't know, comedy scary. I don't really know how to I don't know how to describe. It's like cute scary. It's cute scary. Because like all the characters are like, they're all cute because they all look like little dolls. They're not really scary. <laughs> I wish I would have kept it scary like that. Well, the lore is scary. <laughs> the lore, the lore is like the scariest part about IDV. The game itself isn't really that scary. I guess the scariest part about it is just uh, you know, taking kite and whatnot. But that, that's more of just like a pressure thing, not necessarily like a, ah, a horror. It's not like a horror scary thing. It's more just like a, oh my gosh, I have to not fail. I have to kite it out. Yeah. Another, a back-to-back -back Bainster? Hold on, yo, Bane. The Bainster, bro. It's all just the Bainster. So much Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Bane 4K for sure this time. We'll see. We'll see. It's yeah. I'd say more intense than scary. Yeah, that, that's that's a better word. Yeah. The scariest part of IDV is English one. No, that's that's true. That's that's the scariest part of IDV without a doubt. English one. My goodness. Terrifying. <laughs> hey, we got all self heals with this team. The Merc was self heal. Anyway, we got Bainster, Blink Detention Trump Card, um, Patient with uh, Borrowed Time Knee Jerk, Flywheel Borrowed Time on Anti, and it looked like Borrowed Time tied on both Merc and the Toy Merchant. Um, already setting up a bunch of traps right here. I think the best thing to do is just avoid this area. Just like get out of this area, honestly. <laughs> like, I feel like pulling distance, breaking a lot of sight and transitioning is like the best thing you can do against Bane as early as possible because like, you can't tight kite him. He just sets down a trap and you get an you get a free hit. How is this character ever like low tier? I don't understand. Like he's definitely like a high tier hunter now, but how is this character ever low tier? 
Was was like he just he just couldn't catch up fast enough? Like was the buff really that impactful? I don't know. There's the first hook. A uh, boop. There we go. All right. Not a terrible kite so far. You gotta use you have to use this last hook like really really well. Probably gonna hook into big boat. Maybe could extend kite of toy merchants up there. Oh yeah. There's okay. Never mind. There's the catapult. Not gonna even opt to break the catapult. Just wants to get this patient down. Probably maybe maybe confident enough that he could uh he could break the catapult um when, once he shares the patient. He does have blink. Does actually have blink. But yeah, just breaking breaking line of sight from big boat. Oh. Trying to predict it maybe a little bit. What the? Oh, is that is that his is that his, that's his ability, right? That's not yeah. I'm pretty sure that's his ability. Yeah, he like gets that every, every once in a while. What? Nah. Nah. What was that? What was that? Bro, hook versus hook. Whose hook is better? Clearly, it's the Bainsters. What the heck? Oh, she's just jumping on in there. Okay. Oh, get something. Oh, she can get this rescue. But watch out for hook and blink. Okay, misses hook. That's that's good. That's part one. But now, don't get terror shot. His attack speed is fast. Jeez, look at his movement. Look at him. He's like tap dancing. Bro. <laughs> look at his movement. And then he just hits him. Look at that movement. Bane was just dancing on them. What the heck? Okay, just just breaking that sight. Yup, yup, good work. He just hooks here though. Dropping down over here. Uh, I guess if you're gonna die, yeah, you're you're already dying, so just do it over here, anyways. Um, hits him again for more presents, and then he just dies. Yeah. Interesting. Does he blink? I say he could he could have blinked to get up there, but yeah, I, I wouldn't blink. Blink is better to secure it down, not to save you know two seconds. But now he's on this chair. This is a really good chair. You can, it's hard, it's easy to camp from, and it's hard to rebound from. You can also get a drop down too. Alright, Merc. Here he is, here he is. Dodge his hook, okay. That's part one, that's part one. Just swings, just swings, okay, just swings. Alright, they're doing the opera strat against him at this point. Like, he's just here to die in a corner now. That's all he's here to do, just die in a corner. Die away from ciphers, and if you can, if you can put yourself to die on that chair as well, that's really good because then somebody might be able to struggle free. There's the hook, and boop. Yep, now you just die in a corner. Just die in that corner. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. The ciphers are climbing. This should just be a draw. This should be a draw. This should be a draw. But again, TE, they're they're doing well enough that uh, it might just end here. He's teleporting. Wow. Hold on. Teleports to who exactly? The mercenary. Dang. Dodge's hook though. That was a really good hook dodge. Unfortunately, it was not the antiquarian for the survivors. I feel like TE they needed like to have to have him on the antiquarian or something. And they're opening up a new cipher too. Who boy? What? Why is one? Why is one cipher? It couldn't even take the the catapult from the merchant. Wow, could not even take it. And now he has the opportunity to uh to chair and maybe maybe break some of these catapults. Nope. He sees merchant trying to finish the cipher. Is this the one at ninety three? What's the one at eighty seven? They have one at eighty seven and ninety three. Um, hits and then she okay she just catapults in. Yep, uh, I feel like she does not make this. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh! The hooks! I thought this was a draw! This could be 4k now! Wait a minute! Why S with the comeback? Oh wait, Antiquarian is here though. Alright, Bane. I know, I know you've risen to the top, but... Can you rise above the strongest survivor in the game right now? He can hook through this? Bro! What can he not hook through? Bruh. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. That's something, but that's three disarms. And there's a trap she can't even rescue. I don't think she'll be able to rescue in time. Uh, uh, uh. He's tapped it. He's dancing, he's dancing, he's dancing. Just go for it! Dang! 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 Okay, she gets the rescue somehow. Uh, uh, what the heck? What just happened? What just happened? Okay, mercenary elbow padded away, avoided the hit, and then Antiquarian just pallets stunned him, I think? Oh my gosh. Antique dealer, the carry. The carry from the antique dealer, dude. This was, this was 4k if she didn't do that. What the heck? Okay, but where's that 87% cipher? Don't, Antiquarian is carrying that's insane 
Bro, CN. <laughs> and there's the cat. Yo, this toy merchant, bro. Getting so much. Watch out for Hook now. What are they? Are they healing? Why are they healing? I guess Mercenary is dead on chair. I feel like you should just decode. Yo, you have a Cypher at 87. You can just heal for free with that. I mean, he does have teleport, so he can teleport to the Cypher. Oh, oh. Nice work. All right, and he just goes down, though. She finally goes down. Okay. They're still working. What is a Cypher at 87? You have an 87% Cypher. What is it? You have a... Oh, my gosh. Is it... Is it the, the, the fake shack or whatever? Oh, my... Oh, mercenary. Mercenary. Okay, okay. It's fine. 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 They have no hook. They get the rescue. He's gonna try. He's gonna try and hook mercenary. He's gonna try and hook mercenary. Uh, uh, but it is mercenary though. It is mercenary. He hooks mercenary. And do they just pop? They just have. Yeah, they have to pop. They have to pop. All right. This decoy can cook. This decoy can cook. You can body block. You can body block hook with decoy. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain you can. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's watching trail. Okay. That's something. That's something. That's something. That's something. That's something. There's the hook, and now you have to basic hit. Boom. Down he goes. That he could he could teleport. He could teleport. He is gonna have to teleport. Onto Ed's Quarian. What the? Uh? Wait, what just happened? I heard like the hook. I heard like the freaking trap sound. Did he put a trap down? I think he put a trap down and then Antiquarian stunned him and then he put down another trap. Okay. Dude, this Antiquarian. Okay, well she is dead now. He waited! He waited! He waited! Dude, the Bainster! He waited. That should be 3k. Mercenary will be able to self-heal, unlike that mercenary in the last match who, uh, even if he wanted to, <laughs> he could not. Uh, is that just a... Wait, what is Merchant doing? She's coming in? Uh... Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. Dungeon's right there. Oh, he can put traps on Dungeon. Hmm. There's a chance though. Mer Merchant should just get out. She should just get out. She should just prepare to get out. Yeah. No traps on the dungeon. Oh, uh oh. -uh. He's guarding it. He's guarding it. There's the traps. Yep, there's the traps. That's one trap. All right, Merc, can you do this, bro? I don't see how he even can. We've seen a situation like this before. You go up into the top, and you just have to kind of bait it. He's, the thing is, you can't wait that long or else it's not guaranteed at all. You're going to have to go down and go around. Wait, but hold on. He's waiting out detention. That's what he's doing. So he'll be able to tank a hit if he gets stuck in a trap. But then Bane can also hook. I feel like Bane just wins this. I feel like Bane just wins this. Yeah, I feel like Bane just wins this every time. Uh, <laughs> come on. He knows. Merchant, I think Merchant, Merchant has to just get out. He knows what the plan is. Merchant should just get out. I don't know what they're waiting for. Now he has crows. He literally has crows now, bro. What are you waiting for at this point? What's, what? I don't know what he's waiting for anymore. Uh, what are you waiting for? There's no way he's waiting for Dungeon to refresh. Dungeon doesn't refresh until there's only one person, I'm pretty sure. What are you doing? Mercenary? Hello? What's the plan? What the? That's a thing? Why? Why? Why are you here? You're just gonna die. Buddy? Why are you here? You gave up your chance. What was the point? Like, you probably weren't gonna make it, but you could have at least tried. Why'd you, like, go to the end? I don't understand. I actually don't understand. I, I don't know what the game plan there was. I actually have no idea. Like, what? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you're all, like, was his plan to maybe, like, try and sneak away from him? He has tinnitus. You have crows, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he had crows necessarily, but, like,
<laughs> There's no way you're getting out of that situation. Like, he knows you're in Big Boat. You have two escape options. I guess three. But, like, he lost tonight, so he knew where he was. Because he was going to be in the corner when Tanayas was gone. I don't know. Why did Merchant stay? I don't know. Maybe to give an item? I, I don't know. I guess it's more like a don't leave unless you absolutely have to, but uh, I don't really know what the plan was there. I don't know. Because like Mercenary could tank a basic hit after detention was gone, but would still die to the hook. But there were so many traps on the dungeon. So like, was he planning to just like sneak all the way around to the gate? The other gate was at 70. Was he planning on like sneaking to the gate maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just tried to cut his loss and be like, yeah, I can't make it to dungeon. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the chance of... No, the only way he was going to get dungeon is if, if Bane messed, messed up. Because he would have gone to dungeon, gets caught in the trap, Bane swings um, without hooking, and then he has delayed damage. So he's able to like get into the dungeon and potentially um, not get caught in another trap. I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like it was guaranteed, like, Bane still won there, but I feel like there was, like, at least, like, a 5% chance. An, an extremely low chance. But like, he just didn't even go for it. He just, like, walked away and then just died at a random pallet. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the plan was there. I mean, it would have been 4k if it wasn't for that antiquarian cooking, so... Good stuff to the antiquarian. The lead is slightly less massive since they did get a 3k, but it's still a, uh, it's still looking like a uh, TE's a uh, TE's game here. Like they're gonna they're gonna need like a, oof. <laughs> they're gonna need a 4k or four escape to just tie. My goodness. I mean it's possible. It's not over until it's over. But that's what they need. You wish Bane's trap to work more like the Will Brothers' traps. I understand that, yeah. I get that. Um, but the thing is, like, Bane without his tra like ba Bane's the main gimmick of Bane is his traps. Like, he has traps and hook. That's all he has. So if you make his traps just slow you down or like force like a spike, like imagine if you had to hook somebody before you could stop them with a. Okay, 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 my bees. <laughs> But like, could could you could you imagine like you had to hook somebody before they hit a caught in a trap? That would be so annoying. Especially at low level, the hook is actually pretty pretty hard to hit. Like when I played Bane before his buff, I could barely hit the hooks, dude. There's it's so hard to hit. And yeah, what's so funny is like whenever the whenever it's used against me, it feels like it has the biggest hitbox in the world. I don't know what it is. It, it's kind of like the Mary effect. I mean, I haven't played Bane in like. Three, four months. I played them like a couple times on a free day. It's kind of like the Mary effect to me, where like Mary's, when they use Mirror on me, it just feels like it's extremely accurate and will hit me no matter what. And then when I use Mirror, it's like, oh dang, it's on top of me. Or I, I use Mirror and it's like, it's nowhere near the person. And there's like a thousand things in my way, so I can't even hit somebody. And he could, and he could body block Mirror. The thing is, they're, they're on the other side of the map. He would have had to make it to the completely other side of the map. Like, that's insane. That is actually insane. There'd, there'd be no way to get all the way to this. If he had like some items, maybe. Um, and even if and, and even if a uh, merchant body blocked, he could have hooked. He could have hooked merchant, maybe a couple times with how much distance they had to go. I don't know. Bane wouldn't have had a normal hit if Mert got trapped. He would have. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like the only thing he wouldn't have is if like the Bane like messed up. That's what I said. Like the the biggest way for uh, for Merc to make it is if just Bane messes up. Like at that point, that's kind of all you have to hope for. You can only really hope that the other person messes up. Because mistakes happen. Mistakes do happen. And dang, they're actually banning the Bane. They do not want to fight Bane. <laughs> My goodness, Bane ban, Opera ban. Um, and we see Priestess Aeroplane is banned. From the uh, hunter side, we, do. Oh, we are saying antique dealer once again. Antique dealer, seer, banning cheerleader. Okay, bro. The more and more I see of cheerleader, the more and more I think she's just broken. Like I know, I know. Like Zeus is always telling me that she's bad, but I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. 
Her support is just so good. Okay, mercenary. All right, this this is looking like your standard, your standard S tier characters right here. Who boy? You're thinking sculptor Bambi? I'm not sure who we're gonna see. It's Ever Sleeping Town. Te does have the lead, so they could literally just play somebody safe here. They don't need to play something like sculptor unless they really play sculptor. What they what they what they pick here is oh banning Melly. Mm. What 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 they pick here is something like disciple bon bon wax artist geisha even naiad as long as you secure a draw you're fine you're actually fine because you still have the you still have the lead by like two kills and that was a 4k as well so it's like an extra point so te still has the lead um and lawyer okay yeah this is solid kite support solid support solid rescue and most broken decoder in the game but it also depends on the hunter let's see can we see bluebell blue antiquarian for once i really want to see bluebell blue i want i will i will fall to my knees the day i see bluebell blue it's <laughs> uh bluebell blue is such a stupid name dude it's so stupid okay or is that one for <laughs> yeah woomy or ink yeah whenever whenever they appear they're like oh my gosh freddie riley who's the hunter gonna be i i feel like you just pick somebody safe here you really don't need to pick anything like the will brothers i mean it is, it is cn mainland i'm not super familiar with the how they handle things but i, I know jp at least since i watch so many jp streams they like to play things very safe they, they like to play things very safe. Let's see, here we go. It's gonna be... Anything but Wax Artist, I'll be happy. Anything but Wax Artist, I'll be happy. A fish! Okay. Like I said, anything but Wax Artist. It's fish time. Okay, so why do they... That's so weird. I don't know why they render the Hunter's Drip, but they don't render the Survivor Drip. That's weird. I'm not really sure. It's, I'm pretty sure they did like in a previous stream. I don't know. It is the fish though. It is going to be the fish. Again, that's, I mean, she can draw. She can draw pretty easily. And uh, she kind of counters antiquarian harassment. So yeah. Antiquarian is probably going to have to have flywheel here to maybe potentially avoid some, some pools. Mm. All right, I'll keep it simple for this one. Fish 4K? Let's see. Uh, the map is kind of hard to read because it's turned to the side. Oh, boy. I wish I'd actually just show us the spawns, but they don't. They very they very well could in the actual ones. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Blink Detention and Insolence. That's, that's definitely, like... That's definitely good for securing draws. Very good. Um... Interesting stuff. Borrow time tied on mercenary and lawyer, and then borrow time knee jerk on anti and seer. So no flywheel. This is a little odd. I mean, I guess I understand that the tide pick on lawyer in on orthodox situations like this because he can't get terror shocked or anything, but uh, he could get watered off. And it's uh, sorry. The the fish actually does have fast pickup balloon speed for potential harassers as well. Um, the first target is going to be Antique Dealer. Here we go. Does she just water off this whole area? I'm going to try and water off this whole area. Force her to transition. Going back over here. Not going to run out of... Not going to get out of slipstream just yet. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, does get watered off, though. Does get watered off. Forced to go back over here. Cyphers are starting to climb. And the thing is, Lawyer is on a Cypher. That's the good thing. As long as Lawyer isn't taking first kite, you know that the, the, the Cyphers are going to be moving, dude. They're going to be moving. Was that even necessary? I don't feel like that was necessary. I feel like you should have done that the second she leaves Slipstream. Um, I'm actually trying to water you off here, but... Uh, really? Oh, maybe... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh. That was, um... Yikes. That was... I don't even know what that was. I honestly don't even know what that was. The owl for the pop, the the flip fail, and then it, into the blink. That just... Oh, boy. <laughs> that was definitely an interaction, that's for sure. I have no idea what that was. 
And does he get water popped? He does not get water popped. Hits the lawyer with the swing, but she's now a full prez already. And Antiquarian has like only two flute uses left. They're all recharged, but even then, cutting towards the mercenary cipher, watered off. She flips through. I mean, yeah, I guess she couldn't really hit. Now she's trying to get some distance. Oh boy, hold on. It's pool time. Oh, just goes down to water. She ran back into it. I think she actually ran back into it. Dang, Antiquarian's heart rate is so fast. And that's it. She's basically just dead now. I mean, two ciphers are done. They are they are cipher rushing her a little bit, but I feel like they're a little behind. Gonna water off that cipher. Mercenary has to come on in here. Yeah. Now lawyer's forced off the cipher. Yeah. See the thing the thing what I like versus like Nyad versus uh, Wax Artist is when you have a cipher prime and she waters it off, you can still go hit it, right? You can still go hit it. But with Wax Artist, you just can't. You just can't even work on it at all. Like you, you can work on it um, with Naya. You just have to take the water. And you can potentially flower it or something. Okay. That's one dash. Oh, nope. Dodges the second. It's dang the mind game. And dies before she can fall down. Dies before she can. And it's going to die in basement now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Going to just drag her all the way back up. Okay, Cypher starts starting to move, but again, all TE needs is to secure the draw, and they're already looking better than a draw here, honestly. I've started decoding hits, and, but they're going to be a whole Cypher behind. They're not ready. They're not ready for endgame. Water's off the Merc. Does he elbow pad? He does elbow pad in time, okay. I almost thought Fish would be able to catch up to him. Almost. All right. And do we see water off? He does, he does, he does get water popped. Yep, that's water popped. He's gonna die in a corner. And then she's gonna go down to pressure the ciphers. Yep. Just gonna pressure the ciphers. The thing is, they don't really have much to work with. Lawyer doesn't have much map. Lawyer, Lawyer has map, but like that doesn't really help him with kiting necessarily. Is she gonna chair? She is gonna chair. Okay, gonna, gonna opt to chair. That makes sense. You know, you need to start bleeding out now. Uh, Lawyer is gonna go back to. The corner house cipher, yep. It is a 30, so it's gonna move fast. It's it's lawyer decoding plus accelerate decoding. Seer's gonna have to come on in here. It is Watanuki Seer. Oh, she's heading to the cipher. She's heading to the cipher, yep. That's gonna be a free rescue, but now lawyer has to get the heck out of there. And it's kind of out in the open now? What the heck? Buddy? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I don't know why he moved out into the open and not just up into corner house. I don't understand. Uh huh. Okay, well, they get the rescue and are they on a cipher? Oh, it's basement now. She didn't want a basement earlier, but now she wants to. This could actually. Mm, this could be 4k. I don't think it will be, but there is a chance. Mercenary is here, but he, he, if he gets water popped and hit. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I think she has to camp this out now. Wait for it. I guess she doesn't know where anybody's coming from. She's just kind of patrolling. The second she sees somebody come in, she just throws Trident. Oh, oh I think she sees Merc. Oh, she's going to water off Olive Corner House. Is that it? Oh. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's 50, there's 50, there's 50. And then, oh, the second he comes down, she pulls back, and then he gets clipped. Oh, but he avoids it. He avoids it. Wait, that was really good camping. That was that or that was really good uh, camping, but also really good avoidance of camping. He elbow pads to get the heck out of there, and they just pop. They're just like, get, get me the heck out of this place, dude. Lawyer, don't get popped now. Don't get popped. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. He just gets popped anyway. I guess it doesn't matter. Blinks past. Downs the mercenary. Okay. But they're on the they're on the gates. I guess Lawyer did not care about getting popped. My goodness. He just had no cares in the world. They can draw this. They definitely. I think they. They should be able to draw this. No, they, they draw this, they draw this, they draw this, they draw this, they draw this. Both both gates are opening at the same time, yep, they draw this. They draw it, they draw it. But again, that's all they need. That's all they need. They just need a draw. I don't even, can they come back from this, or is that just the win? Okay, well, they got the draw. They got the draw with the fish. Okay, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's it just yet. Um, I, I guess, but I think they need... Is it 4k? I think it's 4k then. 
Oh yeah, they'll, they'll need a 4K to tie. They need a 4K to tie. Yep. So it is possible, but they need to get a 4K here. They need to get a 4K. So at, at this point, they need to they need to play like a riskier hunter. Maybe 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 a wheel. I guess he could play clown ever sleeping, but he's usually more on town uh, on Chinatown. Hmm. That was a good match though. That was a good match. The, the the freaking beginning of it was so jank with the owl and like the the antiquarian stunning Naya. Like that was pretty jank. That was pretty jank. Why are you guys bullying Nyad? What the heck? Just saying that she smells? What the heck? Nah, make fun of her attack speed. <laughs> what? What? Okay. They did get the draw, and the Antiquarian did okay. That wasn't ter that wasn't a terrible kite. It was kind of awkward though. That's that's the biggest thing. Like I find to be with Nyad, she's like really awkward to kite. It, it's not necessarily just like the difficulty of it. It just feels awkward to kite her. Especially when they're like trying to just catch up to you and not even try to water you off, but they're just trying to like be like right on top of you when they get out of slipstream. It's just so awkward. Okay, but yeah, what Team YS here needs a 4K to come back, yeah, because that that will net them the five points to continue into overtime. Um, so again, they're not out of the running, but it's not going to be easy because now, now what they do here is they pick the super safe characters. They they start picking stuff like Embalmer. Um, they pick stuff like. I know they they got like full tide even I don't know they just pick super safe stuff. Yeah, it's it it's gotta be a 4K dude. It's gotta be a 4K. <laughs> what the enough about the smell? Cut that out. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I, I don't know why we're talking about this. I'm just going to ignore that. But yeah, no, T Team Moyas needs a 4K here. And on town, you're going to need to play something that uh, can be pretty aggressive. Pressure down Cyphers really fast. I, I feel like I feel like Wheel is the answer here. I guess it also depends on the bands. We could see... Well, it's going to be Opera and it's going to be Bane band, surely. If both teams have been playing Bane, we might see a Bane ban. But I feel like Wheel or Wax might... Okay, they are going to ban Bane. I feel like Wheel or Wax might be the way to go. Or... Uh, I guess you could do... Yeah, they're picking Mercenary from the start. Mercenary and Ento? Okay, hold on. Melly. You'll love to see Melly. Bruh, stop talking about the smell. Quit it. Uh, Acrobat ban, okay. Yeah, not knock it off, please. Coordinator, that's pretty safe. Yeah, that's pretty safe. Yo, she drops the gun. Pick it up! She's like, oh my gosh, I hope nobody saw me drop it. She's freaking... Dude, she's... Uh, you know, why do you keep dropping? Because you keep flinging it around. Cheerleader ban, that makes sense. Oh, they're, gonna they're talking... Bon no, they can't play Bon... Unless, unless D is a Bon Bon main. They can't play Bon Bon. Guys, I said knock it off, please. Novelist? Why is he so tall? Look at his portrait. He's like off-centered and tall. What the heck? Bro, Orf. What the heck, dude? Orf is an interesting pick round three. I can't even... Br bruh? There's two Orfs? Never mind. Okay, why is his portrait like so... It's not his head being big. He looks so tall compared to... His portrait is off-centered and like taller than everybody else's. That's so jank. That's so jank. Well, I love to see some Orf gaming. We got Novelist and Orf, bro. Or, uh, no Novelist and uh, Novelist Melly and Corner. I guess I, I like watching all three of these characters. Mercenaries are also there. <laughs> oh boy. But who who do they pick here? They need a 4K. <laughs> It would be really funny if Coordinator shot the bees also. If Coordinator shoots the bees with her gun, that'd be really funny. I would actually laugh. Because it was post. He was, the thing is, it, this, it wasn't like that any other time I've seen him come out. He looks normal. It's just in this one, he's just like misplaced slightly. It is the wheel. It's the Will Brothers. Oh, he's like, uh-uh-uh. You thought you'd win? Uh-uh. Talk to the hand. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Look at that, dude. Oh, he's so sassy. What the heck? <laughs> All right, hold on. He needs a 4K. He needs a 4K to continue the set. Let's see. 
That this is definitely where you play wheel. This is definitely where you play wheel, the all or nothing. And he can do it. The thing is, they, they might be expecting it, though. They know he needs a 4K, so they might start bringing flywheel and whatnot. I'm surprised. I don't know. Was, I forget if Embalmer was uh, global banned. Oh, he was. That's why they didn't pick Embalmer. Yeah, I, I feel like they definitely would have played Embalmer here if it wasn't global banned. But they global banned him round one. Yeah, 4, 4K or literally anything but... He needs a 4K. He needs to pressure on these ciphers. And the thing is, like novelist, novelist is a good pick against the uh, the Will Brothers because we have seen novelist can cancel cancel the full presence. We've seen him swap with Wheel when he's at full pres and cancel it. It's basically works like flywheel. So not novelist is super good against Wheel, especially at full pres. I feel like this is not going to be easy. At, in in oh excitement. Wait, excitement for both? Hold on. This could cook. This actually might be the time to bring excitement. Okay, excitement, trump card, insolence, and then, uh, no flywheel. Really? Not a single flywheel from this? You're not, not even a single person? What the heck? Okay, I think I saw the Shoichi, uh, the Shoichi, no yeah, he's gonna chase the novelist first. Um... Look at that build. That looks so jank. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, the thing is, like, I just, I just don't think. Yeah. Novice is not really the, the right play. Maybe, maybe the, the coordinator actually could be good because you can get rid of her gun early, use the excitement. Um. But you're gonna have to get these spikes like right now. He's not off to a great start. He needs to get these spikes like right now. Excitement is already ready. There's the first spike. Options just get out. Okay. Hold on. Maybe he wants to. Maybe he wants to just get this gun out of here. Uh, there's a gun. Excitement? I would have excitement the second I saw it. What the heck? That's a little bit of a late reaction. Well, now they know he has excitement. So they have nothing to worry about with blink or anything. And yeah, that's actually fine because now he just gets one more spike with extended spikes and snap downs the coordinator. So this should be not the fastest down of all time, but it's it's the momentum that you build up with this character. Um, she should not be able to get on tram, right? He snap downs. <laughs> he doesn't even need to use snap. He doesn't even need to. Yep, get a little extra presence there, Wheel. Oh my goodness, the tram, bro. Oh, the tram is so goofy. That's so goofy. Okay, he is... I don't know if he is one hit away from full pres yet. I actually don't know. Oh, we do see that the, the melee is prof melee. I love to see prof melee. He's going to go pressure down some ciphers, maybe. That's almost a three cipher kite, though, but... We well, you know it's it's especially like such a snowball with this character. He's gonna need to like kill them as quickly as possible. Although he can't even find somebody. He's kind of lost right now. You can't afford to camp. You cannot afford to camp. You cannot afford to camp. You need to pressure down the ciphers. Pressure down the ciphers. Come on. There we go. What the? Stop going back. You gotta pressure the ciphers. You need a 4K. You have to risk. You can't play so safely. Do not play this safe. You have to pressure down ciphers. Stop going back. What are you doing? They already have three ciphers done. Oh, no, dude. Why are you getting out of wheel form? Oh, my gosh. He really wants his coordinator dead. You need a 4K. Do you know that? Buddy. He just hits the mercenary. There's the tram. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know why you don't just like, like it's after half. You can just go catch up to her. If you, you can't lose track of somebody as a wheel. You just catch up instantly. Okay. Let me just snap. Don't even need to. There's the hit. <laughs> the tram is there. All right. You got to pick her up as quickly as possible before the tram. Okay. You're going to get one down, but the cyphers are almost ready. They're, by the by the time you catch up to somebody, get another down. They're going to be ready. And then you won't have the tension. I, I feel like the mid-game just wasn't it. Like, you, you eliminate one person. But the ciphers. I don't know how he does this comeback. And now he's chasing the novice. That's the last person you want to chase. You want to chase somebody like Melly, probably. He does spot out the novelist. And misses the extended spike. So unfortunate. It's over, dude. It's actually over. Oh, it's over for the Will Brothers. It's so over, dude. They even have, they were setting up a six cypher, dude. It's so over. It's actually over. Oh, it's so over, dude. The window, he's memeing on him with the window. Okay, extended spikes, there we go. He dodges full pres with the freaking, oh no, dude, it's so over. 
It's actually so over. Oh boy. Look at the ciphers, man. Look at the ciphers. Mally! Oh dear. Okay. He might be able to get Melly down here. His full prize thingy isn't ready yet, I'm pretty sure, so he has to get another spike here. But she's in a really good area. Yeah, I think it's just over. Like, he, the, th the only way he wins this is if he, like, when he hits endgame, if he slugs it out. Everybody has some spikes then. There's the swap. Yep, swaps the full prez. Yup. That's the second time he was unable to use full prez, and it was not even due to flywheel, dude. It was just due to their abilities. Goes back onto Ento. Oh, Melly. Uh, she's she's cutting too well. I love watching Melly, but man, I want this wheel to have something, dude. Just a chance at a 4K. He's taking his sweet time just getting in there. Okay. Yeah. No full prez, but it's okay if she gets trapped. Uh, but the Cypher is ready at this point. Misses the trap. Gonna die in a corner-ish. Eh, there's the hit. Pop. There we go. All right, he's gonna have to, like... They're already on a gate, too. And he's chasing me. He's not even chasing the person on the gate. Oh, no. It's so over, dude. It's so over. He needs to not chase the person out in the open. He's just going to get the draw. Mm. All right. Well, that's it. That's it. That is it. Oh, boy. The teleport? Ah, uh, teleport wheel, huh? Like, I feel like it was best to go onto the door first and find the... Uh, yeah, see, one person already escaped. That's the guaranteed win. Yeah. He's literally just chilling on the exit gate. He's like, I'm not going anywhere, bro. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, that's funny. You know, it's actually really funny. Is he probably 3Ks this too. Oh, boy. If only he just had a little bit more pressure. Just a little bit. Melee's trying to protect him with the bees. Oh, my gosh. The bees, dude. The bees. And the dungeon is there. Drops pallet. I don't know if he makes it to dungeon, because I don't think Melee dies in time. And he does get spiked. That's a 3k, but again, they needed, they needed a 4k. He needed a 4k. Oh, poor wheel. Poor wheel. One kill away, dude. One kill away. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like by the time you get on... Yeah. I feel like by the time you get to the person on the gate, you're gonna kill them somewhat fast. But And you, like, drop a peeper. But then by by that time, Meli and Mercenary already get out, I think. It's because the X gates open so fast. They open in 20 seconds, dude. That's so fast. The thing is, even if you get somebody down, you have to go through attack recovery, picking them up, putting them on the chair. Like, that's a lot of animation time. <laughs> Cypher Rush goes hard. It definitely does. I feel like he, did, he just played it safe when he could. He didn't have the... He should not have played it safe there, and yet did. He played it so safe. Which was so weird. I don't know why he decided to play it that safe. Like when he got coordinator down, there was a chance still, but he just kept like patrolling and camping when he should have just pressured down ciphers. Like he saw Melly like two different times, I'm pretty sure, and never chased her. That's why I thought it was weird. I don't know. That's just so odd. Okay, well that's the first set. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. And the winner was T.E. Yeah. It's funny that they were actually one kill away, so that was technically a close... It, it was a close set, and yet it somehow did not feel like a close set. It really didn't feel like one. And yet it was. Okay, our next set, though, is um, WBG versus TWT. And I already messed up my freaking notes. Hold on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we'll be able to do duos today, because I don't know how long they spend in between sets. Um... Okay, yeah. No, the side the cyphers are just moving way too fast. He definitely had a chance, but they just moved way too fast, man. He just didn't pressure them down when he needed to, I feel like. What is the wheel's full pre Okay, at, at full presence, what wheel gets is a is a spike whenever he loses whenever he gets out of wheel form. 
So basically what wheels want to do is at low presence, they want to get two spikes on you, hit you with a trap and then immediately hit you. Cause uh, if you have a spike in you, if wheel hits you with a basic hit, it gives uh, 0.25 more health basically. Um, and so once he has two chips in you or uh, two spikes in you, he hits you and it's a, it's a down for, from one basic hit. Um, but at full presence, uh, he gets a spike whenever, whenever he leaves uh, wheel form. It's on a cooldown as well. But whenever he leaves wheel form, there's a range where he, he adds a spike, which allows him to basically hit you one time with like extended spikes, the first presence ability. And then he'll just use his snap. And when he uses snap, even if you're in range, the only way you can dodge snap or full presence is by using an ability that gets you out of the range or by flywheeling it. That's why flywheel like actually killed this character. I shouldn't say kill, but it's like super good against him. And uh... Yeah, I, I, basically a full present. It just makes him. It makes it easier to uh, start sweeping. Cause they're, they're, like, if you don't have flywheel or any good abilities, you kind of just like get destroyed by a wheel in like open areas. You kind of have to rely on like the first kite taking a long time. But I really like the character because he's just so aggressive and fast, and um, he's kind of unorthodox, right? He's kind of unorthodox. Because, like, all, all the other hunters, they kind of just have, like, similar game plans, right? Where it's just, like, kill one person, tunnel cipher, or, or tunnel person, camp, etc. Whereas this, this, like, wheel just, like, just flies all over the place all the time. Which is why I just find it to be so exciting. But there's also, like, established counterplay as well. Okay, we actually do have some time. We could probably set up a, a duo hunters. It's not a lot of time, but we can probably do one match. And if we can't do it, I'll just surrender. Okay, let's go on town. I think there's some free survivors I can play today. Here we go. Um, E. My super creative names. Okay, let me set up my notes here. Then we'll be, we'll be good. And there we go. Awesome. Has Axe Boy appeared in this Koa yet? He has appeared um, in the uh, Chinese uh, Hong Kong Macau Taiwan division, I believe. He was picked in round one over Opera Singer, and I forget how he did. I don't. I don't know if he did well. Okay, we need two more people. But there was. I think that was the only Axe Boy I've seen. Unfortunately, it's weird. I've seen more Axe Boy bands than I have Axe Boy. Which is sad. I want to watch more Axe Boy. Alright, I think we can get one more person. I know it is like 3 in the morning, so not as many people are online, but whatever. And we lost somebody. Well... <laughs> Just open it back up again. Here we go. E, beautiful. It doesn't show up for you? Really? That's odd. It should. Also, look at look at all our tiers down, dude. All of our tiers have fallen down. I did see a Manti 3, which means that they're probably secretly, like, actually an Evil Dragon. Because Evil Dragon, I'm pretty sure, drops down to Manti 3. Um, I think? I'm actually not sure. Okay. Oh, I should... <laughs> I should show you my freaking match history, dude. So, yesterday, for, like, six hours in a row, I played, just like, six to seven hours of Joseph. I literally played six to seven hours of Joseph yesterday. Um, and wh why I did that was so that I can make the uh, like make, make it so I didn't have to try that hard uh, and to get a ton of points. Cause I was, I, was just, I was only doing it to get all the points, right? The, the weekly points. Um, so what I did, I played six to seven hours of Joseph, but I used no cameras, no persona web. Um, listen. <laughs> Um, and I had, anytime I reached full presence, I had to walk backwards. <laughs> I did that for like 50 matches straight. No cameras. Uh, <laughs> no persona. <laughs> Listen. And walked backwards at full, was I insane? Yes. And what's so funny is I actually got some 4Ks. <laughs> The funniest part is that most of my matches were draws. It was insane, dude. 
But it was because I was doing other things and like Duel Hunters wasn't open, Hide and Seek wasn't open. And Hunter Hunter has the fastest matches, and I didn't feel like playing a ton of matches of Hunter and like sweating it out. So I just did I just played like a bunch of memes. Why are we playing Opera Singer? I just um I just did like a bunch of meme Joseph matches. And uh it was actually pretty fun. Anyway, um, here, here's my standard, uh, what I do when I play Gardener. So if I play this like any other, uh, Duel Hunters match, what I do is I just kind of, like, tap on Cyphers, tap on Cyphers a little bit. And once I get to 2,000 points, I buy a bot, put it in a safe area, and then I deco with bot while also breaking, like, the best chairs on the map. Ah, uh, that was my lag. Koa is calling. It is so funny, like, so, so many people thought it was just so goofy when they saw my Joseph. They were like, yo, number one Joseph, number one Joseph. And there's even a few people that were like, bro, you know you can, like, use your cameras, right? And I was like, nope. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy. It's so goofy. Okay, now I have enough for a bot. So I put bot at corner house. Hunters don't listen to this. I put bot at corner house. And since most people don't really go to corner house, um, it should be safe there for a while. Until inevitably the hunters hear me talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, Garner can like accumulate points faster than like any other person because whenever she breaks a chair, she gets 250 points. So I can get the bot faster than anybody else and also not be mechanic. Very cool. But you kind of, it also relies on your teammates not kiting on the bot cipher, which half the time they also end up doing. Oh, did they just get double team, bruh? That's unfortunate. Am I clipped? Where is the mirror? Oh, it's like all the way. Bruh. Not my bot. Bruh. Remember that time I said don't kite on my cypher? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, come down here. Come down here. Waste all the time. Come down here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Bruh. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> the Will Brothers. Only, only basic attack. That, okay. Huh. <laughs> that that's definitely a challenge, that's for sure. Hey, she found my bot? No shot, she saw it. What? I mean, I guess she knew it went down there. Now nah, I got this, bro. I got this. Go focus on the coding. I have bubble. I can do it safely. Why are you doing it? I got it. I got it, dude. I got bubble. I got bubble. <laughs> bro, I suck. <laughs> Okay, at least she's not coming back for me. I mean, what? No, I'm not scared. Okay, we are losing this. Opera singer, bro? That's crazy. You weren't listening about being, my bot being right there? It's okay. The hunters can also hear that my bot is there. So, you know. Okay, well, um, now I kind of just have to take a hit to rest you. Hello, op, 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 opera singer. Oh, no, pro, prof's got it. Prof, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. Yeah, you got it, prof. You got it, Prof. I believe. I have faith in you, buddy. I have faith in you. And if they die on that chair, when they die. Where is Prisoner? Oh, he's down in Basin, isn't he? And nobody's rescuing him. Rest in peace. Sorry, Priz. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna need to pull out another bot. I need to use bot, bro. Bot broken! Two bot gaming! Two bot gaming! Back on. Double bot gaming. This is another safe-ish cipher over here. I can drop off bot. And bot died, so now I only have one bot. Go bot! <laughs> bot gaming! Woo, bot gaming! Okay, then I'm gonna probably go work on center cypher with composer. Uh, no ops over there. Oh boy. Dang, my bot's getting a lot of calibrations today, huh? Yeah, we're not winning this. No one rescue you, your heart is broken. You were in basement, to be fair. Most duo hunters matches end when somebody gets shared in basement and people rescue. Who killed the bot? Stop killing my bot. Who even was it? Nobody was even over there. Who actually killed my bot? It must have been Mary. She's gonna kill my bot. Again. Stop killing my bot! Oh my gosh, let me have fun. Jeez. People literally cut it on my bot so many times. Why does this keep happening to me? All right, can I just surrender? Like it's actually over. Like there's no way to come back from this. There's actually no way to come back from this. Oh, but oh, composer struggled free. Yeah, let's go. I'm not getting hit by that. I'm not getting hit by that. I got you, bro. I totally don't got you. Chair still broken. That chair is. Is that chair broken? It's not. I should probably break this chair. 
in case he dies again. There we go. He does die. Oh, she's gonna chair him in over there. Yeah, Gardener Gaming. I'm messing up. <laughs> I ran against the wall, dude. All right, well, we, like I said, we just lose. We actually just lose. There's no coming back from this. Not with an opera singer, bro. Not with an opera singer. Uh, I guess we can try and get dungeon. Hello. This Mary is evil. She keeps killing my bot. My, usually, usually, usually I can get bots off. And they usually do things. But uh, not this time, apparently. Not this time. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, attention pill. Why did I get that? There's actually no reason for that because we have to we have to play for dungeon. Eh, whatever. Yeah, we kind of have to play for dungeon. Uh, I'm gonna break this. Should have broken that earlier so I can go get the drink heal. Uh, I guess there's a chance. There's a very small chance. Um, mm, it's not likely though. It's not likely. We go for a drink. Is anybody okay somebody is on that cypher with attention pill i can actually rush this cypher kind of fast hmm because will finish that okay there's a chance there's a chance but we also give them access attention it's probably still a loss it's probably still a loss yeah it's only his first chair who's oh jeez. okay mary is here and I don't have speed pill, because I'm built different. If I got terror shock, I'm crying. Oh, jeez. Knee jerk, full kite build. I mean, no, I totally have borrowed time. I totally have borrowed time. I totally have borrowed time. Okay. <laughs> okay, now she just mirrors. Oh, she didn't even mirror. I thought she was just gonna mirror. Use your mirror. Use it. Yeah, I'm just not gonna get on tram. She doesn't know that though. Never mind, she knows it. She figured out my secret tricks. Dang, you're fast. I make it to this pallet. Why would you? Why would you do that? She has pills, bro. She has pills. All right, well now I just die. It's over for me. My precious little bubble is not available. Hi. Your mirror should be up by now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Bruh, I tried. I was kind of just trapped. <laughs> I was kind of just trapped, dude. I was kind of just trapped. There wasn't much I could do. There wasn't much I could do. I, I did have flywheel, but there was just no way. Yeah, broken chair. No, I hate this chair. The, like the unreboundable chair, bro. I love going into open areas to try to rebound. <laughs> Oh boy, bruh, how you actually win against Opera? Was that abnormal? I swear, I, I swear, I got abnormal. What the heck? Anyway, bots are broken if people don't kite on them, because it's literally just another person. Bots are broken. Trust. This is a bad example because like people kited on them, and they also could hear me, or I dropped my bots. But like in Duel Hunters, bot is broken. Which is why you should buy bot and not perfume. Whoa, is that a gun? Hi, they can see you. <laughs> they can definitely see you. <laughs> All right, I've got bubble, flywheel, and a dream. Okay. Who flittered? Oh, Mary did. Can I please move? <laughs> not yet. Okay, that mirror is not on me. Oh, best friends? <gasps> best friends, yes. Yes. We're still not winning this. Opera's right there. Okay, well now somebody just needs to get the dungeon. I have enough for self-preservation to not die. Potentially. Oh, bubble, please! Let's go! No, stop, stop littering! Dude, both of them just walk through pallets. What is this? No respect at all. Oh, not basement, bro. You're kidding. 
Oh my gosh. Littering and disrespecting for pallets, my goodness. What is your country? What, what, what do you even contribute to society? You litter, you disrespect. Composer, careful, bro. Careful, bro. Oh, wait, I thought that was Composer, not Seer. All right, we move. Don't have excitement, I'm crying. All right, Um, somebody already died in here? That doesn't hit me. Oh, you have speed pill, yes it does. <laughs> yeah, you have speed pill. Okay, well, rip. Sorry that I'm built different, I don't buy speed pill for free kites. Oh boy. Well, that was unfortunate. What am I supposed to do against Opera, bro? What am I supposed to do against Op? Now nah, we lost. Well, rest in peace. Anyways, buy bots. Bot better. Bot better than perfume. Buy bot over perfume every time. Bot broken. Perfume cringe. I'm watering my plant. Yes. Funny. Are you growing yet? <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. It's evolving. Yes. Funny. Funny is large. Yes. And now how many how many more days? We still need a lot more time before you become young plant instead of just seedling. But we're getting there, dude. Funny is growing. I'm glad. All right, we're we're doing stats right now, I'm pretty sure. So we don't we don't have enough time for another one, unfortunately. Not quite yet. I did I I did name it funny. Yes. <laughs> I literally just named it funny. I didn't have any better ideas, so I just said funny. Funny plant. I'll probably get rid of it. I'll probably move Funny to like my other room eventually, but I want to at least watch Funny grow over the videos because it usually shows up at like when I do my intros, I usually do them in this room. Um, so like uh, throughout the intros, I can see the, the plant just like get larger and larger until it's reached the maximum plant height and then I'll just move it away. But it's funny because I just have like the base regular furniture build or whatever as I, I haven't I haven't bothered like decorating much. Especially not with Alice's apartment, because I feel like it's fine already. Like, it, it's fine. Um, but the other rooms, they don't really have much in them already. So, <laughs> Melly Jr. I would name, like, a bug Melly Jr., maybe not a plant. But Funny, Funny is already fine. Funny is a fine name, I think. If you have time for another duo sometime later in the stream, you're stealing your friend's account? Oh, for Sophia Melly? I'm down for that. I, I'm, I'm down for that. If I get another plant, it would be not funny. <laughs> not funny the plant. Can I even like take make it go backwards? I don't even know if you can. I don't think I want to though. I want I want large plant. Okay. Got my notes set up. They are still doing stats. How long have they been doing stats? Not for that long, right? Oh yeah, not not for too long. Not for too long. Okay. So we got a few minutes before they start the next one. Um I guess I can do my stupid Joseph to show- Oh wait, no, I was gonna show you my history. It's, it's not there as much because I do a lot of Gardener ones. I, I did a few more earlier today. <laughs> but uh, I did like a lot of Gardener and duos, but look at look at all these Josephs. Look at all these Joseph matches. <laughs> Lots of defeats, but like there are a few vic like a few victories that I actually saved, which were so goofy, dude. This is, this is no persona, no cameras, listen, only backwards walking Joseph when I get to full prez. It's so funny. It is so goofy. Like, look, look at all this. It's so dumb. And one of the matches was actually like 25 minutes because people wouldn't leave. And they kept memeing on my backwards walking, no persona, no camera Joseph. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, yeah, yeah, there it is. It's already posted up, bro. It's already posted up. The no persona, listen, Joseph, bro. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wait, I don't even know if I'll be able to play it because it looks like they're actually gonna start the next match. I thought they still had stats to do. They didn't go through WBG's stats. What the heck? I'm pretty sure they didn't. Yeah, you still got more stats to do, bro. Let me do my Joseph thing. This is an intervention. I hope you know, like, when I have free time later... Oh my gosh, they're actually already starting picks. This is terrible. I don't want to get penalized, or else I won't get my 100 clues, bro. I won't get my 100 clues. It's fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. We'll just, we can just be like a minute behind. Anyways. <laughs> no cameras. No persona. Listen, Jojo. Here we go. It usually doesn't do great, but sometimes I can secure wins for no reason. Wait, the music's gonna... There we go. Yeah, we found Nort. Hey, buddy. Were you busy hiding? Oh, there's two Norts. He's already throwing his magnet. That's funny. All right, now cancel my attack recovery, please. What if I go after this one? Oh, I broke the magnet, I think. I actually think I broke the magnet. That's good. You have one less magnet to work with. Wee, Dankwoods Jojo. Where are we going? Back over here, okay. Uh, straight chase only, dude. This is so goofy. Uh, he canceled my attack recovery. Let's go. Yes, this is what we want. This is the Joseph gameplay we need, bro. This is what we're looking for. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude. It's, it's, it's most of the victories are from survivor mistakes. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> like, it's just like, all I can think about is like, huh. I wonder what's running through these survivors' heads when they're like, see me use listen, no cameras. Oh, here we go. I see the other prospector. Catch my attack recovery! Thank you! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. He's gonna have fly with I feel it. Boom. There we go. Alright, Dream Witch, can you come out already? Can you come out already? We got a feast for you. Doesn't she come out here? Is it when they die? I forget exactly when it is. All right, let me actually just listen to see where they're coming from this time. Cheerleader. Okay, cheerleader's coming from over there. All right. Cool, we're doing well. Why is this working? Because, yeah, I don't know. Because Prospector. Because Survivor Error. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's gonna be able to get the rescue. Somebody did die. And now she's gonna, yep, there, there's, there's Meme Witch. Okay, I do miss. That's fine. All right, let's see if we can cancel my attack recovery again. That was pretty funny. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it. Again. Bring me closer to you, actually. That'll be funny. Oh, good repel. Good repel. Okay, he didn't cancel my attack recovery. That's not what we want out here. That's not what we want. Dang, he's fast. Oh, he had the he had the boost. He had the boost. I knew you had flywheel. Why didn't you use it earlier? And see ya. <laughs> and I don't know if you were rescued before half. I'm not sure. What's happening? Uh, no persona. Backwards moonwalking Joseph. Now I have to play the rest of the match by moonwalking. I can look at people, try to find them, but I have to play the rest of the match while walking backwards. I don't know where they are. And there she is. Oh, I actually hit cheerleader. Okay. Well, now this is where things get difficult because I have to walk backwards. So, uh, I'm going the right way. Let's see. Oh, I found his trail. There he is. Okay, I got rid of the magnet. I'm still looking backwards. I can't. I can't walk backwards when I'm looking backwards. Okay. Oh, he's over here. He's over here. Let's follow the trail. Let's follow the trail. Okay. Okay, he's around here somewhere. He's over here now. I'm gonna break this. <laughs> oh boy, this is where the hard part comes in because I have to walk backwards. <laughs> oh hi! <laughs> cool. I'll take that. Come here. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, now we find them and we we stalk them. Over there? Hmm, that's Priestess. Hi. You're gonna try this trick? Trust me, you're not gonna have fun. <laughs> I think this, you have to have like, oh wait, somebody is over here. It might be the Priestess. Yup. Okay, well, I'm, no, I can't look. I can't walk backwards, so 
That counts. That counts. That counts. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. This is what I. This is what I was doing, for just hours upon hours upon hours, just backwards walking, no persona, no cameras, Joseph. For so long, dude. Okay. Where the heck is Tinnitus? I thought somebody was coming over here. Oh, they're healing. I see. Okay. The chiller will probably come in. I know it's like over here. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, I'm walking backwards again. Okay. Is Chair the one dead on chair? No, it's Prosser the one who's dead on chair. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, like I said, this is where the hard part comes in. Where are you? Oh, not the Priestess Portal. Not another Priestess Portal. I gotta, I gotta go through this. There you are. <laughs> like I said, this is where it gets hard. Sometimes I gotta take little peeks to uh, to catch up to them all. Yep, there they are. <laughs> the, like, how it, like, it's, it's so funny, like sometimes I just like actually do somewhat well, but it's the fact that I have to hardcore nerf myself when I start walking backwards, bro. Okay, I know the prod's like right around here. There it is. Like, and it's so funny because I've, I've run into so many try hard teams that are like actually stunning me trying to pallet stun when I'm clearly like 10 times nerfed. And yet I still win sometimes. Okay, they're over here now. Okay, just pop the cypher, please. Like, I know you're gonna... Oh. Alright, pop it. This is when you pop it. This is when you pop it. That's funny. Pop it. Pop it. Alright, if not, I'm just gonna chair her. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not friendly. I'm just... I'm just... I'm backwards walking Joseph. You gotta take me seriously. <laughs> oh boy. There you are. Just wondering where you were. Gotcha. Pop it. Pop it. Okay. Or not. She's not struggling. There's the pop. Okay. She's not struggling for some reason. All right, well, get in there. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know where you are, Norton, but if you're at the gate, I'm coming to you, buddy. Oh, the tinnitus is gone. I don't think I don't think bro's at the gate. I don't think bro's at the gate. Wait, I have tinnitus again. <laughs> uh, walk backwards. No, I should chair first. He can have dungeon. Oh, it's so goofy. That's so goofy, dude. Okay, now I can walk backwards. All right, you can have dungeon, bro. You can have dungeon. Where'd you go? Oh, I gotta use listen to find you. Where are you, bro? Get on a gate or go to dungeon. Why are you actually counterplaying my listen? You're gonna have crows soon. Surely. All right, I predict he's going for the other gate. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Oopsies. Whoops. Okay, are we back over? Is the dungeon over here? I don't know if there's a dungeon over here. <laughs> oh, I found him! I found his trail! I found his trail! <laughs> He's somewhere around here. There you are. Oh, there he was. Oh, he probably went into the house. Or is he right there? I don't know where he went, bro. It's so hard to find people. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find people when you're walking backwards. They always say look behind you when you kite, but what about when you chase? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't know where he went. I actually have no idea. Wait, what if I... Okay. Where'd bro go? Get to, like, the dungeon already. Where are you? How are you all the way over there? Okay, hold on. We'll make our way over there. Oh boy. Okay, he's still over there. I gotta take a little peeks sometimes, so I don't run into walls. Okay, he found dungeon. There we go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Find the dungeon. I know there's a dungeon location like right here. 
It's not even over here? Are you serious? Then why were you here? Okay. Why is he here if his... Okay, there you are. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you are. How many matches do you even have, bro? This is what I mean when matches will go on forever, because they just... <laughs> they just keep doing this kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not giving in, though. Okay. There you are. Alrighty, alrighty. We're surely gonna hop in here, right? We didn't even go in the, the, the room. <laughs> so dumb, bro. <laughs> I literally did this for hours. For hours, bro. I don't even know why he's, like, not leaving. <laughs> you waited so long that the dungeon's gonna be refreshed, bro. Come on, just leave. I clearly can't seem to catch up to- there we go. He finally left. Woo! Wow, thank you for indulging me, Prospector. Anyways. Like I said, light work. <laughs> Alright, I know we totally just missed the first match, but it was worth it to show you that, Joseph. Okay. Now, now we gotta go back and watch it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's just so dumb, bro. It's just so dumb. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got we got coordinator, we got Vera, we got uh cheerleader, and we got mercenary. Then patient, anti Charles, and officer. It's gonna be opera, it's 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 round one cops. Yep. It's opera time. Tis opera time. Gonna use the moonwalk strat when now from now on I'm playing Joseph. I guarantee you most people will get bored of it within 10 seconds. But I literally did it for six hours. My goodness. <laughs> it's just so goofy. Speak to a mod. I think a lot of our mods are asleep right now. Zagrillo's at school. Noel's probably asleep because I didn't know I was going to stream today. It is going to be opera. Here we go. Why is her like eyes so weird? Oh. I think, she, I think she had the mask on. Oh, she did. That's how I was like, what the heck? Why does she look so weird? It was the mask. My goodness. It's a bot? What's a bot? Like, if there's a bot, I'll just delete it. Uh huh. I can't tell if it's a bot. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't seen much of. Uh, whatever. The Elijah is a bot. How do you know? I don't get many bots in live streams. So I don't know if you can tell. I mean, I haven't really seen too many messages from them. <laughs> it's giving AI response vibes? I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'll just ignore it for now. If it gets worse, I'll just get rid of it. They're not a bot, they're just weird. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm just going to focus on the match. We got Opera. Round one. Here we go. And they're already starting round two, but it's fine. They speed through these matches quick enough. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up. We'll catch up. We'll catch up very fast. Very, very fast. Handshake. Here we go. All right. Opera with excitement for the coordinator. Interesting. Excitement, detention, trump card. We've got uh, borrowed time knee jerk on um, coordinator and perfumer. And then borrowed time tied on cheerleader and mercenary. Okay. Leo's memory time. No snowballs to be seen. I wish you get those snowballs. In tournament, it'd be so funny. It would be so funny. Okay. Yeah, Elijah, explain the uh, explain the opera singer's uh, kit. Dang, that's an early gun and already it's gone. Nah, nice excitement. Nice excitement. Yeah, nice excitement. What you gonna use it for now? Nice excitement. That's why you shouldn't ever bring excitement on opera. Literally ever. Literally ever. The immediate gun into immediate counterplay into buff coordinator, please. <laughs> Please, buff coordinator. Oh my gosh. I know she's already... If you didn't have that fast vaulting, you were dead. You were dead. Martha! Stop! You're giving me a heart attack over here. Your heart rate's only at 125. Mine's got to be on the 200s at this point. 
How are you doing this? Okay, you're a bot. You're a bot. You're a bot. You can't just keep vaulting the same palette and expect the same result. My goodness. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> she literally vaulted it, got away with it like three or four times, but not the fourth or fifth time. My goodness. Yeah, how's that excitement looking, Opera Singer? How's that excitement looking? Yeah, how's that excitement looking? Man, I love bringing excitement versus Opera Singer when you can literally catch up instantly and kill with Blink instead. I just don't understand why they bring excitement, dude. There's actually no reason for an opera to ever have excitement. Except Peter did cook that one time against Novelist, so maybe. But like, I feel like 99% of the time you don't need to bring it. Like, the, the trait is actually useless now because you just walk into a wall instead. Plus, I hate Leo's memory because there's a thousand things to get in the way. All right, Martha, let's see. Well, you vault the same window 10,000 times and eventually... Yup, here we go. I mean, to be fair, this time you don't really have much of an option. But the other time you were at full health, so you got just so greedy at full health. If you're at half health, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can be that risky at half health, but when you're at full health, then it's like, nah. Just take the hit. Just take the hit. Okay, pallet. Oh my gosh, we're doing it again. We're going again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, sure would be nice to have Blink, huh? Oh, she's dead. No! Oh my gosh! Can you stop? I can't take this! This is so crazy! One pallet, dude, one pallet. Man, that Blink sure would be real nice, huh, Opera? That Blink sure would be real nice. How is she doing this? I know you have fast vaulting, but still. How are you doing this? Like, literally, how? Like, all you need- Okay, I guess you only need a single window versus Opera Singer, my bad. <laughs> huh, where's that- where's that blink at, Opera? Where's that blink at? <laughs> oh boy, this is why you do not bring excitement as Opera. Look at that! Look at the ciphers! Look at the ciphers! Dude, this card cooked! She cooked so hard! My goodness! She cooked so hard! With like three pallets in a window, that's it. Two pallets in a window. That was like a minute and a half kite with just two pallets in a window. Now do it again. <laughs> now do it again. <laughs> do it again with one pallet, come on. Do it again, Martha, I believe. All right, Lily is here. Here comes the second tide. She is slow, but that's okay. Opera didn't spot her out. There we go. Are we going to see any cheers? Do it again. Do it again, Martha. Ah, oh, rip. Rest in peace. Um, I'm pretty sure they can't pop into... Yeah, no, they can't pop that in time. No way. If they had three people on it, maybe. But no, she is going to die. Okay, this is looking like a draw. This is looking like a draw. Arpa got Cypher rushed by just getting memed on because she didn't have Blink. This is why you bring Blink. Don't bring excitement for a coordinator. Even as, even if you're not an opera, just don't bring excitement for a coordinator. Just don't. Just never bring excitement for coordinator. It's just not worth it. Like, yeah, she shoots the gun and, like, half the meta can catch up, like, within two seconds. Unless you're, like, Hellumber. Even then he could throw a puppet. Who can't catch? Antonio. Unless you're Antonio, then maybe. <laughs> like, most hunters have speed boosts or, like, ways to catch up. My goodness, dude. Like, the, the gun is best used. Dang! Oh, she used the perfect. Yeah, the, the, the safe perfume strat. Yeah, that, that that's good. That's good. Use the perfume. If you miss the pallet sign, at least you can just, you know, trade or force a tower recovery and then go back. Um, yeah, this is, this is just a draw, though. This should just be a draw. Lily is here. Drops the pallet. All right, can you be like Martha, though? Can you be like, can you be like Cord and just vault the same pallet 10,000 times? Oh, we're going to beep beep instead. Okay, beep beep in, beep beep out. <laughs> the cypher is basically ready. Okay, no, it's basically primed. Yeah, it's basically primed at this point. She kind of slow. Break pallet. And pallet stun maybe? Oh, dies. Pop it. Drop that pallet. Beautiful. Okay, now she refreshes herself. She's moving. She's moving. She still has a beep beep. It should, yeah, this should just be a draw. Oh, she's teleporting. Never mind. Teleporting, teleporting, teleporting. Oh, Wait. Mercenary, he's trying to... Mercenary said he's, he's officer right now. <laughs> Just buying some time. Wait. The dungeon is here. Oh, she's literally just waiting. Ah, rip. Rip, 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 rip. If, if he could have kited over here, dropped the double pallet, stalled, he could have actually potentially got dungeon. It wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna be uh, easy, but there was a chance. He's just like, yeah, I'm dead anyway, bro. The terror shock. Oh boy, this is a goofy match. This is a very goofy match, but it is a draw. And that's what you need. If you can get draws, you're doing well. That's very solid. Draw right from the start. Good work. Good work from Team WBG.
この2対2っていうのはサバイバーとしてはよく取ったよく取りました、ね、コーディネーター absolutely cooked like where are the stats contained for almost two minutes almost two minutes that's insane dude that is actually insane my goodness all right let's uh let's skip on toward the next match here since we are a little bit behind we're gonna see um, it's gonna be opera but it's gonna be charles painter officer mike and we know it's gonna be opera yep it's opera okay let's just get into it let's just get into it i don't want to fall too far behind the live uh, only only one that was uh acceptable to go far behind was the uh because i was moonwalking with joseph bro i had to i just had to so did, did we find out if the bot was actually a bot do we do we find it out i don't know <laughs> oh you broke elijah i'm gonna i'm gonna feel sad if that wasn't even a bot i'm gonna feel sad if that was just like a very like you know polite person that just maybe talked a bit awkwardly i didn't even see any of the messages but from what everybody else is saying <laughs> anyway Blink Detention Trump Card Opera. We got uh, Borrow Time Knee Jerk on Painter. Same with Mike. Then we got Borrow Time Tied on Officer. And then Tied Knee Jerk on uh, Aeroplanist. So no, no, no BT on the Aeroplanist. Let's see how we do. Let's see. Okay, I didn't get a good look at the skins, but that's fine. Who's taking first kite here? It's going to be... Oh, is that Mike? I'm pretty sure that's uh, Persona 5 Mike. It is indeed Mike. Yep, it's Joker Persona 5. Let's see. All right, bro. Oh, bro's not Martha. Bro's not Martha. He's not. I'm not. I'm not vaulting the pallet ten times. No way. No way, bro. I'll get terror shock. <laughs> Coordinator be like, who? Terror shock? Who's that? What's that? Doom shock? Never heard of it. That's not a thing. Call me lawyer. I can't get terror shocked. Although she did get terror shock, but you know it's fine. <laughs> she she still she rebounded with all that all that freaking uh. Oh. Oh, nice! Beautiful work, beautiful. Work. See, see, like, look. How did how did Coordinator do that without the bomb? How did she? I mean, I know she has ten percent increase in vaulting, but still, like, that shouldn't be enough. Actress is dead here. He's actually just dead. Cord kited longer by missing her gun. That's crazy. I mean, maybe maybe it was slightly hunter error as well. Oh, is it basement? Are we really basementing? We are gonna basement. Okay, it is gonna be basement. They might actually just choose to sell here. I know they have double rescuer, but they might choose to... There's a chance they might sell. Their ciphers are a little behind. I mean, you do want to use double tide, but it's easier to double down at the same time. If they rescue, it's probably going to be after half. She still has trait as well. Hmm. To be fair, to be fair, Martha would have gone down a lot sooner if the hunter didn't bring excitement. Oh, oh, oh. Spot it out, spot it out. Oh, hover. Yes, Charles Gaming. Let's go. Oh, but it's, he's going to rescue at like 60. Oh. Bro. Oh, she missed blink drop down. She missed blink drop down. That's actually good. Yep. Now, Aeroplanist stays down in basement while, uh, while Mike runs away. Okay, standard, yeah, standard rescuing stuff. Swings there for some reason. I guess maybe just to uh, not lose the dash. Doesn't really matter, though. Doesn't really... Did Upper feel kind of slow there? Was that just me? There's no way she's lagging, right? Okay, now, now she looks faster. I swear she looks slow for a second. Okay. Well, now we can share uh, Acrobat, and he is dead. He was rescued after half. Charles did make it out of the basement. But that's 1k. I feel like this is looking better for WBG here. Next target is going to be the Painter, I think. Yep, that's going to be Painter. Yup. Bungo Stray Dogs Painter. And at this point, he should have the... Yeah, he can start painting now. He should be able to start painting. Yep, there's the painting. Uh, painter, uh, as a reminder that the buffs have not taken place in tournament yet. So Painter um, cannot put down the painting early nor start early. Uh, and he just dies. See that? If Painter had the buff, if Painter had the buff, he might have lived there. With the Painter buff, that's what I mean, dude. That's what I mean. If you're Painter and you can't get the, the painting off in time because it takes too long, that's where the buff would have helped right there. In a situation exactly like that, when there's just too much pressure onto you, if you just put that painting down, even if they, even if they like, can counterplay it, at least you can, like, play around the painting, force them to go back into it or something. My goodness. That was not a great kite. I mean, it is full prez opera, and, you know, opera's broken. But it's usually better for a painter to take first kite against opera singer. 
Uh, yeah, Opera also got nerfed, but the, the, the nerfs have not taken effect either. I'm pretty sure, to my knowledge. Okay, Officer has the watch. He's got his tide going. But they are, they have two cybers at 50, and Charles is on one of them. Okay, he wasn't on one of them just a second ago. Yeah, you gotta buy as much time as possible. It, it, again, it is Painter, so you can choose to rescue him whenever you want. Um, so when he gets back on the chair, you could potentially instant rescue him. I don't even feel like he's been on that chair for very long. Does she have excited chair time in the Persona? I don't think she did. Uh, let's see, is this Painter? No, that's Officer, okay. Wait, there's gonna be a double down potentially. Never mind, just teleporting to the Cypher. Okay. I mean, that's actually probably the better thing. Officer dies. Charles at half health. Dies from window hit. Wow. Dies getting hit through the window. Yeah, that's it. That's that. I'm pretty sure that's it. He couldn't. If he if he could have finished that cipher, then maybe. But nah, that's gotta be it. Surely, that's gotta be 4K. Like yeah, Painter still has uh two paintings. Officer still has a watch. But at this point, I think it's just 4K. If both ciphers were 85, then maybe there was a chance, but it's just not going to be enough, I don't think. Uh, oh, officer does use his self heal, and he's back on the he's back on the cipher. No TP is up. Here's Painter. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna need to see uh, like a clutch painting here. If you want to get this save, you have to have to get like a clutch painting. Painting, painting. Beautiful. And he's actually opting to not even rescue. He can't. He can't. He can't make it in time. She knows the cypher's being worked on. Drops pallet. Not going to push two-story? Really? I guess she does have cape. She does have cape. And it's, 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 it's easier at full. It's easier at first presence to, uh, to run away from opera there. And the cypher will be just barely done. Watch, 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 watch. It's at 99. He couldn't even finish it. Oh, he couldn't even finish it. That's unfortunate. Okay, now he can finish it? No? Oh, but he... Oh, wait. He taps it. He taps it. He finishes the Cypher. Is it going to be enough? I think pa Painter is... Isn't he near the Cypher? He's near... Okay, he's getting on Charles' Cypher. The last bit of the watch. Will it be enough? Can he stall for enough time? They could get a one escape. Oh! 94, 95, 96. They can pop. They can pop. They can pop. Yup. There's a chance. But Officer also has no self-heal and teleport is up. He has to he has to kite out like and painter's not near the gate either. He's not near the gate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yes, Officer has to kite it out. He has to kite it out. He has to kite like 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. 20 seconds. Is he on a gate yet? He's not even on a gate. Okay, painter could drop painting. It's not enough. It's not enough. He knows she knows he has no self heal. She teleports. It's not enough. It's not enough. He could put down painting, but officer needed to kite ever so slightly longer. Yup. You have painting into pallet stun here. You do have painting into pallet stun. Oh, never mind. The pallet's already dropped. Never mind. The pallet has already been dropped. My bad. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 it. That's it. He needed to kite just a little longer. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's 4K. That's 4K. I want I wanted to see a one escape there. That would have been clutch if Officer kited long enough for the one escape. But it's freaking opera singer, dude. Especially with no items. Like he got a clutch pallet stun, but. Yeah, if painter if the cipher was closer to the gate then maybe cuz he could have just he could have dropped painting at gate. Uh does she not know he has self heal? Or doesn't have self heal? He doesn't have self heal. Um I guess he's just going to play it safe. Oh, the dungeon, that's why. Wait. Wait, why? Wait, 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 wait. Don't share the painter. Don't share the pa Huh? What are you doing? Don't chair him. Don't chair him. What are you... Oh, forcing him to struggle free. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, we're doing this strategy. Oh, boy. I I get it. I get it. Okay, so now that his thing has been reset, are you going to pick him up and walk him all the way back to officer? Yup. Okay, we're doing this strategy. What are you doing? Uh, she's gonna drop him all the way in the corner so he, she knows where dungeon is he'll have no chance of getting that he's gonna struggle free in the what why what are we doing okay he dies what are you doing what what are you doing 
This isn't the strat. What? Are you serious? I know what she's doing. She's waiting for Officer to bleed out. She's actually just gonna wait for Officer to bleed out and constantly stay on the painter. So he's like keep it, keeping him away from dungeon. Are you serious? This is like dummy safe. She's not even. Gonna, she's not gonna let himself heal. She's not gonna give him a chance. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so goofy. Cause she knows Painter's gonna die on chair if she chairs him. And doesn't she's making so, sure Painter doesn't bleed out first, so the officer could get dungeon. But then why not just chair officer? Painter wasn't near dungeon. I, I guess this is the one hundred percent. You never like. I guess there is a theoretical possibility that he can kite it out and get to dungeon. But this way, it's a hundred percent secure. I don't like games that end like this. I know it's tournament, man. Oh boy. It's not petty. It's a tournament setting that one hundred percent secures. Cause the thing is, there's a there's a universe where Painter kites it to dungeon if she uh, if she chaired officer, and if she chairs Painter, Painter's about to die. Right? We saw his chair time was pretty close. Uh, so Painter would have died, and then she maybe would not have been able to make it to officer, who is at the dungeon. Yeah. So they just surrender. They just surrender. Oh boy, it's it's kind of lame. It's kind of lame, but it's it's like for for people who absolutely one hundred percent want to secure. Like that is the only way to one hundred percent secure. Because there have been times where people have you know struggled free, clutch it out, got to dungeon, and if you're playing in a tournament setting, you don't want that to happen. You absolutely don't want that to happen. It's evil, but it one hundred percent guarantees it. And in a tournament setting like Koa, you absolutely want the hundred percent. You do not take the one percent risk. It's not, I wouldn't call it unnecessary, it's more just like preventing the 1%. That's, that's literally what it is. It's preventing the 1%. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm not the biggest fan of it either. Okay. And now? We don't have to wait! <laughs> Round 2, first half is here. Um, WBG does have the lead. They got a 4k and a TW, or sorry. No, yeah, B, B, WBG has a lead, TWT only got a draw. Um... Or so, yeah, only got a draw with their hunter. That is. So we got. We're seeing dancer. I saw two Freddies, bro. We're seeing dancer, lawyer, officer, antiquarian. Love seeing some antique dealer gameplay. Priestess, gardener, seer, mercenary, band, standard stuff. But they don't have access to opera. Says opera is banned. Oh no, we see. No, we see some dancer drip. Okay. I guess maybe they haven't rented it for some characters. But I saw a dancer with some drip over there. Hmm. Okay. No, it's it's that strategy is not. I would not call that toxic at all. It's just it's it's boring to watch from a spectator perspective. That's all it is. It's just from a from a spectator perspective, it's boring as heck. And I'm sure for the survivors, it's really annoying as well. But again, in a tournament setting, it's 100% justifiable. I 100% understand it. I'm not a fan of it, but I get it. I get why they do it. No, it's it's 100% not toxic. It's just it's just kind of a little cheap, a little cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> but in a tournament setting, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't blame them at all for doing it. If I wasn't, if, if I was in a tournament, I would do it too. If I was in a tournament, I would actually do it too. Like I'm sure if if there were like, cause think think of oh, it's the Bainster. Hold on, more Bane gaming. Yo, CN mainland is all about the Bainster. Um, but yeah, like imagine, cause the thing is, you have to work so hard to get into this tournament in such like a highly competitive atmosphere, like. You're not gonna throw. You're not gonna like. If you have a 99% chance or a 100% chance to win the set, what are you gonna take? You're gonna take the 100% chance. You're gonna take it. But yeah, I love to see the ban. Here we go. It's time. Gamekeeper gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Can he get the 4K? Let's see. Uh, they already have the lead, so he only really has to play for a draw. Thought it would be Ann. Uh, they could go Ann, but I guess I guess Bane and Sienna is just really really strong right now. They they I think that like it seemed when I was watching like the. Uh, the NAEU and the uh, South Korea Banes, they just, they seem like they were good, but it didn't seem like they were as strong as these CN Banes. Like, like the first Bane that we watched seemed like it was on another level, dude. I don't know. It just felt so clean. It felt like he was knowing what he was doing at all times. He never felt lost at all. 
All right, here we go. Blink detention trump card on the Bainster. We've got uh, borrow time knee jerk on the lawyer, borrow time flywheel on both dancer and antiquary, and then borrow time uh, tied on the officer. Okay, interesting stuff. I wonder how the dang. Oh, messes up the hook, rip. Uh, is it going to be Antique Dealer? Oh, it is. That's a... Oh, my gosh. I'm learning so many broken spots for, like, traps. Put a trap here? Oh, no, right right here, right here, right here. No? Uh, I know Antiquarian got, like, shadow nerfed, where she cannot, like, use the flute to get rid of uh, stuff like Bane Traps, Bon Bon Bombs, Tentacle, Feaster Tentacles, and stuff like that. Oh, we got some, we got some boxes posted up. Looks like a fast box and a slow box. Okay. And even then, it's not a... Oh, she swung! She swung! She swung but missed! Oh, that's unfortunate for Antiquarian. Swung but missed. Why would you kite back over here? You know he's over here. Oh, boy. She's dead. Oh, she's dead. Flywheel? But why wouldn't you flywheel after? Uh, I guess maybe flywheeling the hook is a little bit better. Yeah, that's, that's one of the buffs that he got, where the flywheel doesn't cancel the hook anymore. Which high key it still should. High key it still should. Okay, there's another there's another flute, but look at almost out of flute. Almost out. And she's dead. She's just dead. Best survivor in the game, everybody. Best survivor in the game. Powerless against Bane. Used up like all her resources for a for a low a, eh, a below average kite, honestly. For a below average kite. My goodness. Yeah, I, I still I still think Flywheel should cancel Hook, because like fly, you only get Flywheel every two minutes. Like, it should still cancel Hook, high key. It's Flywheel, bro. Anyway, Officer is here, gets hit by Hook. And that's it. <laughs> just gets hit. Just, oh, there's the basic. Oh, jeez, so scary. I thought he was going to maybe try and go for, like, a Terror Shock or something. My goodness. And we're going to see... Are we body blocking? Uh... Hits the officer. Okay, giving Antiquarian a chance to rebound. Gets full presence off another hook. Let's see. Bro, it's so weird. It's so jank seeing all these boxes. All these... Bruh! Why would you... Huh? Wait, what happened? Oh, 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 I see. Wait, that was smart from the officer. He vaulted into the trap since he had... Oh my gosh, the support is crazy. The dancer's support is crazy. But he vaulted into the trap to get rid of it because he was going to die anyway, so it didn't matter. So he's like, well, might as well vault into the trap and then just die. And it looks like somebody actually did break that trap, um, which is really good because that actually gives Antiquarian a chance to get into Corner House. She would not have been able to... Uh, yeah, because I think she already used the, the flute, and she's going to die right here. Yep, there she goes. They're somehow still pushing Cypher Rush, and that's because the lawyer. The lawyer is still pushing the Cypher Rush. My goodness. Like, it feels like the Bane's been cooking so hard, but the, the Cypher Rush is somehow still happening. It is somehow still happening. And the rescue was before half. This is actually looking more like a draw. Oh, oh, he's preparing for endgame now. Yep. Bro is setting up for endgame. But with the double flyout, maybe they were expecting the Bainster. Are we going to start seeing some boxes? Yeah, now we're going to start breaking these boxes. Yeah, that, that rebound was only possible thanks to all that support and all those boxes. Officer does have watch. He does have five seconds of Tide. So, wait, he can't make that. He can't make that. He definitely can't make that. I mean, to be fair, Antiquary had nothing to rebound with. She had flywheel and that's it. And she's at Corner House, so there wasn't really much that she could do there. There was also a there was also a trap at Corner House, too. Okay. Gonna waste some time cleaning up these pallets. Or clean up these pallets. Because, yeah, okay. Break the, break the box. Break the box. You don't have to break the, the fast box. Yeah, just break the slow box. The slow box will be definitely annoying, especially in potential endgame situations. Um, there's still... Ooh, messes up the dash. But it doesn't really matter. The hook, rather. But again, it doesn't matter because it's always... It's, like, always available. Literally always available. My goodness. Flywheels, yep. See, the thing is, I think I think why... Okay, so so many people say flywheel uh, after the hook, right? So many people say flywheel after the hook. But I see the top players because the thing is, Bane's is going to wait for flywheel anyway. So it doesn't matter. So you flywheel at hook at top level. At mid-level, you just use flywheel because they don't know if you have flywheel. But at top level, they're always going to wait. Like, they're going to wait every time. So it's always better to just flywheel the hook, get the extra distance. That, that, that's, that's at least what I'm seeing. Okay, Oster used another watch. He didn't use the watch at the first rescue, so he's kind of just buying time here. Lawyer is... Where is Lawyer? Where is he going? Oh, he got the rescue. Okay. Okay, he rescued the dancer who does have a perfume at half health. Yay. <laughs> uh, perfume actually might be good if she gets hooked. 
But now Officer is taking the kite. Doesn't really have much watch to use anymore. Ooh. Do does actually dodge the hook, but... He just blink downs. He just blink downs and instant trade swaps. My goodness. And, yeah, more traps. More <laughs> traps, dude. Oh, boy. Are we base hunting here? Oh, no, base is not even here. I'm a doofus. Okay, we're, we're trying over here. Dude, look at all the traps. There's so many traps that are still set up. Huh? What? Why not chair? What? The cipher is primed. Why not? Uh? What? Watch the... Mm. Okay. I don't understand what the... I don't understand what the strategy is there. I know he goes down He goes down to a hook hit, but like... Is, this, oh, is it the strategy just to push him away? I actually don't know. He hooks him, he hits him away. Is he still going for it? There's a trap! There's a trap! There's a... Where'd the trap go? Wasn't there a trap there? Am I a doofus? Bro, I feel like I can't keep track of all this stuff. My goodness, I could never fight Bane. <laughs> I could never fight Bane. Oh! Hooks! He still gets the hit! Oh my gosh. The trap goes away because of the chair. Wait, was it really? The trap disappeared. Oh, it disappeared because of the chair? Wait. I didn't know that. I didn't know it disappears. I thought you could set them up beforehand. Okay. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. I know he I know he can't set down traps near chairs, but I thought I didn't know the trap uh, the traps disappeared at the chairs. Okay. Huh. I guess that would be a little OP then. Well, that's a one escape. That's a, that's a, that's a 3k for the Bainster. Good good work from the Bainster. My goodness. Yeah, I, I didn't know about that, huh? I actually didn't know traps disappeared. I know the range is like decently big where you can't set down traps, but I thought you could set them down beforehand. Interesting. Who is Elijah? There was somebody who was in chat for like 10 minutes and then I think got bullied off because people thought they were a bot. I don't even know if they were a bot. I didn't. I saw like three of their messages, but um, allegedly they were a bot. So yeah. Okay. Now now we are we now we're caught up with the live. We're caught up with the live this time. No no mo no more backtracking. No more backtracking. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure if they were a bot. S1 Mad Eye is not a bot, really. <laughs> no, I don't like bullying, but people thought that they were a bot. I hope they weren't though. I would feel really bad. I just didn't see any of their messages. I saw like three messages from them, so I couldn't tell if they were a bot or not. What happened to one of the commentators? Were they laughing too hard? What the heck? I like their glasses. They have like little blue shades. I mean, that's probably, that's probably not the shades. It's probably just reflective lighting. Yeah, whatever. Look at the kite times. Not very long kite times. That's crazy. Dude, the, the rise of Bane is so fascinating to me. Did we get a nightmare match yet? Uh, no, and I highly doubt that we ever will. <laughs> unless, unless like a team is like gonna lose anyway. I highly doubt we'll ever see a nightmare match. Because Nightmare is garbage. I love Nightmare, but he's so bad. He's so bad. Like his 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 pursuit is so bad. Like you, he gets tight cutted into oblivion and gets stuck on the randomest things. Like he will literally get stuck on a random pebble that's barely sticking out. Like Nightmare is just not great. <laughs> and it's funny because I'm still not super good against Nightmare. If I'm in a good area, I can I can do pretty good against Nightmare. But if I'm like in a, uh, an area I'm kind of unfamiliar with, I'm so bad as I'm so bad against Nightmare. Which is funny because when I play Nightmare, um, in the bad areas I'm like super bad, but everywhere else I'm just regular bad. Nah, but yeah, Night Nightmare is just not great. He is just not great. And I hate to say it because like they're not adjusting him like at all. And his endgame is strong. His endgame is strong. But why the heck? Why the heck? Let me look at this. Why the heck does Nightmare wherever he is? Why the heck did they give Nightmare a 50 second cooldown on his teleport? By the way, he can only teleport to like any cipher or whatever at one time. And then they're just like, oh yeah, by the way, Ivy? 
Yeah, she can have like a tons of different places to teleport to. And she can just, just do it whatever. Oh, there's a teleport. Yeah, this. You can just go to anyone whenever they want. Obviously, each each teleport location has a 45 second cooldown, but that's less than nightmares. And she can do it multiple times. Multiple times. And to any of the stones, she can just be like, yeah, I'll just go to this one. Actually, I messed up. Let me go to that one. Let me, let me just go to that one. So why is it that, that nightmares main gimmick is just like worse than ivy's i mean obviously i know you can break ivy's stones but she can just keep setting up stones and keep setting up stones and keep setting up stones like it's so it's so funny how like she can just warp like crazy and then nightmare who like his biggest strength is his warping only gets it every 50 seconds <laughs> I don't know, dude. I know it's like more guaranteed than Ivy's because you can't necessarily break it. But even then, you can dodge his birds. And he can set up at the exit gates, but like, you can also just, I don't know. I feel like there's just more consistent counterplay to Nightmare. And like, he just, he needs something to make him better. I don't know how you make Nightmare better without making him like dummy warpy broken. But like, I just feel like they need to do something to make him better. I don't know what it is. Like, may okay, high key, this might not be like super good, but high key swap first and last presence. <laughs> high key, I think I, I think I would do that. Because that, that way, high, high, you could, you could, you know, get better, you could get better pursuit mid game, and then late game, you could get better warping. But even then, yeah, he's just not great. Because you're supposed to get your best ability last. Oh my gosh, cheese. It's cheese. It's Gravekeeper. Huh. Wait, are they choosing him because of Bane? Is that why? Is Grave good against Bane? How does the hook interact with... Wait, can can he get hit by a hook when he's in the ground? Or does hook cancel it? No, because hook is a chip hit. How does hook work versus Grave? I wonder. Maybe, maybe it's because he can get to the trap. Maybe he can get to the chair safely. If they're just going to be playing Banester... Maybe that's the way. And we're going to see Embalmer. Okay, this is a pretty safe team. Besides Antiquarian. Antiquarian's... Well, I mean, she's safe, but she's also cool. Safe doesn't necessarily mean uncool. I like Cheese. He's cool. But yeah, Psych, Sy Anti, Grave, and Embalmer. Banning Seer, Priestess, Merc, Charles. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Are we just going to see another Bane? Is CN mainland just all about Bane? Like, I knew, I knew there was Bane a lot in CN, but... It's just been, like, so much Bane. You think he gets great? You really think he gets grabbed out of his shovel? It's only a chip it though. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Hook knocks Gravekeeper out of shovel, even if it's a chip. Really? Dang. So it's kind of it's kind of like wildling boar at that point then, where it knocks him off boar. That's crazy. Dang, Bane is OP, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then what well, i guess the point i guess you can probably ease your dodge though because you move faster in the ground it's probably harder to hit him because the target is also harder to see my goodness hermit's charges don't work against graves so why does hook i don't know i couldn't tell you i guess i wanted to see the rise of bane dude they really wanted the rise of bane you need two chip damage to get him out of the ground? Is that really? I mean, we, we could, we might see it in this game. We might just see it in this game. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be if, if it's Gamekeeper versus Gravekeeper, that'll be funny. Anyway, TWT is up. They're gonna need like a 4K to catch up. They need a 4K. They're gonna need a 4K and then like another 4K or something. Depending on how uh, WBG does in the next round, but they, they need like a 4K here. Bane could be the way if CN lo loves Bane, but there are other options as well. You have Wax. I hate to say it, you have Wax. Wheel might not be necessary this early, maybe round three, because that is pretty risky. Um, let's see. The thing is, they have Embalmer, which is just so safe. Embalmer almost guarantees a one escape. I thought, oh, it's Nightwatch! Okay! Nightwatch, huh? I don't know if I agree with Nightwatch here. I feel like this team does really good against Nightwatch. So like, Antiquarian just be like, boop, 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 boop. You don't have any abilities that can hit me, so I just stun you. Gravekeeper just hops in shovel, eats two hits for free. The biggest weakness of Nightwatch is that he, like, his pursuit is fast, yes, but he's just a basic hit hunter. 
Like, as much as I really, really love Nightwatch, he's just worse opera singer. He's literally just worse opera singer. Like, opera, like Nightwatch is like the more balanced version of opera singer. Like, what we thought Nightwatch was like so, super broken and fast, and then they released opera singer, and they're like, wow, this is just better Nightwatch. I still love Nightwatch, though. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is it time? I almost spelled his name wrong. The time for the Ithaqua 4K. I kind of want to see. I, they need to catch up here if we want to continue the set. I don't know if they lose outright. They can actually, I think they could lose outright right here. If they get, if they perform really badly, which I hate to say it, there is a chance. Nightwatch is pretty good on this map, but like... I don't know how I feel about these survivors because Psych tanks damage, Anti just bullies him. Grave can just hop into shovel, eat two hits. And then Embalmer is just cheese. The more I see Embalmer, the less excited I am about Embalmer. Like, I think I put Embalmer, like, what, in my height tier list? I put him at, like, mid level. Like, he's just been dropping more and more just for how safe and secure he is. And he's actually been, he's been appearing in my matches so much more recently. And it's just been more and more annoying. It's weird. It's, it's, I still consider him balanced, but he's just annoying, man. Morningstar? It's not going to be Morningstar. It's going to be default Nightwatch. Okay. Default Nightwatch, we got Blink. Let it, that's, that's Blink Detention Trump card. Um, so a decently standard build. We see a lot of Insolence Nightwatch these days, but no no Insolence this time. And we're going to see Borrow Time Knee Jerk on Psyche. We see Borrow Time Flywheel on Antiquarian. Borrow Time Tide on... Uh, Gravekeeper, and then Embalmer with full kite build. Gotcha. Break that pallet. Beautiful. And yeah, Psyche is actually taking the first uh, kite here, which is probably the the best first kite you can take here. I would have looped that area. I would have gone back into the window. I would have just gone back into the window until he broke a pallet. Okay, Tram is here. Tram is here, but he now he knows. This gives him a free hit, basically. I would have just looped that window. You definitely could have. You definitely could have looped that window, I'm pretty sure. Blink is going to be here. I mean, the thing is, she eats She eats extra hits. She eats extra hits. So, this actually might even be better for the Night Watch, because, like, now, now the stress is going to be gone by the time he wants the next hit. I don't know if I agree with this. I don't know. Okay. But again, this is Psychologist. Uh, stress is gone. There's the Blink, and... Maybe waiting for a Flywheel or something there. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay, so she didn't buy that much extra time with the stress. Uh, that's a pretty standard down. Pretty standard down. Yeah, at, at this point, unless he cooks, it's a, it's a draw. At, at this point, it, it's it's a draw. Like I've been in, I've been in a position similar to this like last night, watched a thousand times, and uh, unless you can like really cook in the mid game pretty hard, it's just gonna be a draw. Cause you you want to camp it out, cause you don't want them to escape and heal up. But at the same time, you want to get aggressive and pressure on Cyphers, which is... Can't really do that. And Gravekeeper actually appears out of nowhere. Just back to our rescue. No shovel needed. And uh, hits the Gravekeeper instead. Not even hitting the Psychologist. Hit him after the rescue. Okay. She does go down. Okay, hits him with the very edge of the hitbox. And uh, they are just going to let her go die off. Doesn't really need to harass right now. Probably will harass when there's uh, when she when she's going to be dead on chair. Um... Gonna chair on this one right over here. Okay, now I can go and break that pallet. Anti is coming in. Okay, that was a decently fast down. But again, it still is probably a draw. Because uh, Antiquarian doesn't get Terra Shocked here. Let's see. Okay, he just he just hits. He just hits. He doesn't want to waste the time. And now we need some rest at one and two. There we go. At this point, Antiquarian should just play a body block. Actually, it's, they don't really need to. Yeah, she goes down, but now Antiquarian is here. Um, yep, she's here. She's here. Oh, flute. Oh, misses it. Mess it up. Mess it up. Flywheel, beautiful. But she doesn't. She has nothing. She has nothing. She's dead. She messes up. She messed up. She messed up the uh, the flute there. Unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. But again, they they only need like a draw. They still have their embalmer. They they only really need the uh, the draw. Like the, the WBG is chilling. They are chilling. And Antiquarian drops pallet. He doesn't have any, he does not have any wind right now. No wind charges to work with. Strong wind. Oh, probably should have run around the corner. I think she could have made it to the corner. Probably should have run around the corner then. Maybe come back to a uh, vault the pallet. I'm not sure. Antiquarian does just go down there though. And nobody's on a cypher. No, okay, somebody is still on a cypher. Oh, tearing on the cypher. Wait a minute. Hold on. Nightwatch. Nightwatch. Wait a minute. 
Wait just a second. Great Gravekeeper can't really rescue here. Unless he gets hit out of shovel. I would have broken that pallet. I hate that pallet. That pallet's annoying. <laughs> That's such a good pallet. Okay. A terror shot could change this game. Come on, Night Watch. Just hitting, just hitting, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he knows he's gonna stall it out right there. Okay, Antiquarian, here we go. Swings at nothing? Oh, the blink! Okay. Saw the TP. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I guess that is the cipher, huh? I was about to say, why are you getting so aggressive? Oh, that's a down. Waited for the flywheel. Base the flywheel. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Okay, now now he now he goes back for Antiquarian. Put her on there. And since he's not using his coffin, he's not at risk. He's not, he's not at risk of anything. He can't teleport or anything. Oh boy, does he chair now? He's going to opt the chair. Gravekeeper's coming on in. You can waste coffin like this, so there'll be no coffin for any. Oh wait! No, co yeah, no, no, okay, he's too far away, too far away. Yeah, just, just chair him. Does he coffin? Does he coffin? He. Oh, I, I know it. I hate that spot. See, even top players, I hate that stinking spot, dude. That spot is so annoying. That spot is so annoying for Night Watch. Oh my gosh, I'm glad top players mess up there too. I hate that freaking wheelbarrow. All right, that's the last bit of the flute, though. Last bit of the flute. Okay. Okay. Oh, she just waited. <laughs> just waits, just waits. And hits her down, hits her down, but nobody's on the cipher. And Bomber's on a whole other cipher. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. And Antiquan is dead here. She is dead. Gravekeeper could self heal in his face and use shovel. Wait, he actually get 4k? He's forced to chair grave. He's forced to chair grave. Because if he lets grave go, then they self heal. Um. Yeah, chair grave here. Yeah, so there's a chance for Embalmer to get dungeon, but it's not very good. It's not a high chance. I think this is actually 4k. I can't believe it. All because of Antiquarian kind of messing up the harassment and then not having a strong kite. He actually brought this back. I mean, they probably didn't want Psyche to take the kite. They probably wanted Embalmer or something to take the kite. But he went after the Psyche. Alright, spot him out now. Come on, Ithaqua. Oh, oh! Hey, there we go! 4K! Alright, this is what this is what they need. This is what TWT needs. They get the 4K and now they're kind of back in it. Not necessarily. Not necessarily back in it. But it's it's a start. It's a start. It is a start. He actually came back from that. I think I think that I think definitely where the where the match started falling apart for the survivors was when the antiquarian came in. Like, she failed the harassment, let the psychologist die, and then didn't really kite very long. And, um... Also, Nightwatch chairing on the Cypher, too. That was really good. If he, did, if he didn't chair on the Cypher, that would have been just a draw. But because he, he's chaired on the Cypher, he was able to get the draw. That's good. That is good. So now, the lead isn't that strong now. It is not that strong. And we're lagging. <laughs> yeah, Ada, Ada, okay. Ada, I don't know if her routing was the best either. I would have, the thing is, a Night Watch, you can loop him around that area until he breaks that pallet. I would know because he will do it to me all the time. And she had knee jerk too, so she was definitely making that. Yeah, the, the first kite. 75 seconds isn't bad, but as an Ada, I don't know. And it says Antiquarians was long, but that's also because she was like providing harassing and rescuing and whatnot. Um, and there was also Tide, I'm pretty sure. No, Tide was from Grave earlier. I don't know. I don't know. In fact, maybe the Cypher could have been a little bit stronger too. I'm not really sure. Wait. Ada, this round says Ada. Is it really? Is it, is it really Ada? I always said Ada. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know the Ada. Okay. I've always thought it was Ada. <laughs> Ada. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's just Ada. Oh, whatever. Good work to the Night Watch. That was a good game. You refuse to call her that? I mean, it's not Ada. I refuse. Uh, that's kind of uh, that's kind of me with a uh, Kreeberg, right? Because it's not actually pronounced Kreeberg, but like Kreeberg just rolls off the tongue so well, and I'm just so used to it that it's so hard for me to break the habit. 
I think it's I think it's more like Cryberg or something, but I don't know. At that point, like, why doesn't this English localization just do better? I don't know why. I don't know if there's any other mispronounced mispronounced uh, names or anything. Can we get some highlights? Dude, they're just not even. Okay, I was about to say they're not yapping at all. <laughs> okay, so that was just so dancer would. That was dancer just so that she would take the uh, take the hook instead of ante right there. Bro. Yo, they are yapping. I understand it though. <laughs> you kind of have to. You kind of have to at points like this. I can't believe he went for that rescue though. And yeah, that was just baiting out a flywheel right there. Just spinning out the flywheel. The back door rescue is solid. Hit, hitting hitting Grave was actually better there because he caught up to Ada, so he actually was able to get some extra damage. Yeah, baiting the fly. This guy was just played really well. He just played so well. Like he he baited out like when people did things. Like that was just so good. It wasn't it wasn't just like little itty bitty things. It was like you know he just made a lot of good plays. Lots of good plays. Matthias is highly likely mispronounced. Frederick, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Frederick Kreeberg, like Kree, it's not pronounced Kreeberg. I know that's not correct. The Will Brothers are mispronounced because they don't use the echo and boosted audio. Exactly, that's the only way to pronounce them. <laughs> Whenever I can afford enough for like a freaking soundboard ever, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that freaking uh, effect so I can just yell the Will Brothers every time. As the Will Brothers with the freaking effect. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed the Woo Orb too. I don't know where the Woo Orb is at. I'm not sure. <laughs> Ada does sound like Anna. Well, it's fun. I guess maybe maybe I guess it could be pronounced either way because I know Anna is one way to say Anna, but in the freaking Frozen movie they say Anna and it's spelled the exact same. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce Dancer's name either. I don't know if it's Margarita. I mean, that's why people just say like Margie or something because it's easier. I just wait for somebody else to say it and copy them. Anyway, here we go. Game three, first half. It's time. What? Ethan? What? Okay, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Anyway, Opera in Bainster Band is like the pretty standard bands we're seeing in CN, I suppose. Interesting stuff. Okay, we got Priestess Gardener Band, Merc Lawyer. I guess that's fine to global ban them on round three. Um, but TWT. They're still slightly behind. If they can get one more K than who, whatever, uh, if, they, if WBG gets like a draw and they get like a 3K here, they actually continue the set. They need they need one more kill or one more escape or something. They need like a slight lead to draw it out in this set. Okay. Seer ban makes sense. <laughs> the Freddy Riley hate bro. Best decoder, best decoder. We're gonna see Lily. It's cheer time. Okay, pretty pretty solid lineup of characters so far. Potential Nightwatch. I mean, uh, I don't really like Nightwatch on Moonlit. I'm not the biggest fan of Nightwatch on Moonlit. There's a lot of there's a lot of areas I just I don't know. It's also just a big map. I'm also just bad on big maps and in general because like there's just they take so much time to cross both the survivor and hunter Like I see the advantages of it, but I also just not as common and we got Mike gaming as the last one banning patient Okay, this, that, that makes sense banning patient then you pick Mike and if you pick if you ban Mike then you just pick patient <laughs> It's a, it's a standard very solid characters that are good on moonlit um, And ideally you want to chase the lawyer here first, but you can't if he rotates so you might just see a standard, I'm gonna chase Akuma to four stop time for the, like the 50th thing in the game. <laughs> hmm. Alex is the best wheel. Oh, are they? Hmm. That's the case. A wheel here could be interesting, but they don't need a wheel necessarily. 
Uh, unless I like really want to end it here, but that's kind of risky. Because you, you don't want to play a risky character here. You want to play something that can like at least guarantee secure a draw. Because if they both draw here, then WBG takes it. And if you 4K, then that's just it. I'm pretty sure. If you, if you 4K, they, they can't come back. And if you 3K, I think they can get a 4K in return. But D WBG... Um, Needs a 4K to just, uh, just immediately end the set right there. What's the hunter gonna be? It could be. Oh, it's wheel. It is wheel. Wait, but that's kind of risky though. Well, I mean, I guess if you're a wheel main, you're fine with it. But it's the wheel brothers. It is a little risky. I mean, the 4K. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I guess. I guess they just go for the 4K here and try to end the set right here. But the thing is, you could also throw it away here too. I mean, if they are the best wheel, then maybe. But if they're ready for it, this might not be good. I feel like this goes either way. This could definitely go either way. But if they get the 4K, that's the set. Here we go. The Will Brothers. And it looks like, yeah, Mike's at fourth. Merc's at Cypher Bridge. Lawyer's at Tent or Two Story. And Wheel is at first hop. And Wheel. Spot, wait, Wheel spots it first? What the? That's jank. Okay, I'm, that, I'm pretty sure that's what the map was, unless it's upside down. I'm pretty sure that's what the map was. <laughs> oh, but I wish it would actually show us like the thing and not just like the little VR version of it. Okay. Blink Detention Trump card? Detention is interesting. You don't get to fa uh, full prez as fast. We're going to see uh, Borrowed Time Knee Jerk on Freddy. We see... Oh, Flywheel Tied on Cheerleader. Okay. Interesting. Mercenary Borrowed Time Tied, of course, as always. And then we have... Um, we have Flywheel Borrowed Time on Acrobat, I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, he didn't even get a spike onto the Cheerleader. This is a little odd. No insolence and already getting enough wheel form. Uh, I don't know if I agree. Okay, we're going... Oh, that was scary. That honestly could have been a Terra Shock too. But with how often this game likes to Terra Shock like at the very edge. Okay, she dropped the, she dropped the pallet, but she has a slightly open area to work with here. But isn't also in a corner. Getting out of wheel form again. What? Hello? I don't understand. Why do we keep getting out of wheel form? Uh-huh. Okay, he's like, he's like swapping between... Oh, finds the lawyer. Find, oh, that's a better target. Better target, better target. Yep. Gets a spike on Laura. No, yeah, yeah, that's 100% switch target right there. Now you switch targets. But look at the ciphers. Look how far the ciphers are already. Okay, he gets two things on the lawyer, though. The two that are cutting him out, but the lawyer... He has blink. He has blink. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. No flywheel on lawyer. No flywheel on lawyer. Nope, no flywheel. No flywheel on the lawyer. That's a down. My goodness. That was a very short kite from the lawyer. Beautiful kite from the cheerleader. But um, poor Freddy Riley didn't do much there. And they lost their decoder too. Lily's in the area. We got extended spikes. Finally hits Lily. Um, he'll be able to extend his spikes, maybe blink down. Actually, this could be really bad here. She beep beeps. Does she get to the chair quick enough? She flywheels toward the chair. What the heck? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, giving lawyer a chance to get to coaster, maybe. Um, he's not a full press, but he has blink though. And he has a, he has, he's, oh boy. You just blink him here. Oh, he, no, he just died. Okay, so Lily got hit for no reason there. She actually took the hit for no reason. Wait, he's actually kind of coming back from this, all because the lawyer's not a great kite, honestly. Like, Chilly did so well, the Cyphers were climbing, and then he found the lawyer, and then that, that, that's just it. I don't know, dude. I know you can't take the coast through a tide, but like he could have just, he could have maybe waited out and tried to get up there, but he also had blinks. I don't know. Mercenary is going to get the rescue. There's the tide. This is looking pretty good for the wheel. I mean, he does need a 4K to eliminate, and then there's full prez. Boop, you snap down. See ya. That's it. Now you die in a corner. That's it. That's actually just it. Okay, now they has got a cypher rush. They just got a cypher rush right now. They need to push this cypher rush as hard as possible. He still has his trait. He literally still has trait. 
Didn't even need insolence. My goodness. I can't help but envision a world where the cheaters are still kiting right now. Okay, they are back all at full health. But, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, 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 the this two-story cipher is the one at 80 as well. And he does not want this thing to get done. He knows they're hiding up here. Yo, why is the third person not on a cipher? Mike, what are you doing? Get on a cipher, buddy. Okay, it looks like he's finally getting on a cipher. Oh, and the wheels, the wheels gonna, yup, spots him out, spots him out. Knows he's in the air. I feel like this is a good area to kite wheel though. Lots of windows, lots of walls. Yup, there we go. Beautiful. There's one bomb. Oh, wait, he got hit. Oh, oh. He missed the flywheel! He missed the flywheel! He missed the flywheel! He missed the flywheel on the full prez! And now he slugs! And now he just slugs! Oh boy. This is risky, but... If he gets the slug... Then, then it's just over. They gotta start up a whole new cypher and somehow finish it. There's a chance he 4k's this. There is a chance. The ciphers aren't cipher locked at all, but it is a wheel. Acrobat self heals, and now he's on the mercenary who still has three elbow pads. There's one. He can full. He can. He can use elbow pad away from full prez. Does he get it? He messes it up. He messes it up, and just goes down. Oh, you, 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 mercenary, Merc! What the heck, buddy? Why are you out in the open? You know he's gonna try and full prez you. I feel like you just go on the open, take the spikes, and the second you get a wheel farm, you just elbow pad. You just stay at the wall. Doesn't even matter, you just stay at the wall. It can snap you, but you just stay at the wall. My goodness, okay. Why are we not on a cypher? Okay, somebody's finally on a cypher, there we go. Trying to find the acrobat. Hasn't spotted him out just yet, knows he's in the area, and there he is. Yep, there he is. Okay. Is he really confident in that alone? <gasps> no way! I think Acrobat messed up his bomb! And then that actually got the down! He is gonna opt to chair this time? So why did he slug earlier? Oh, maybe maybe, maybe he thought he was confident enough to start slugging. But yeah, now, now, now at this point, yeah. At this point, the Cypher's gonna be primed. Okay, well they actually were able to decode that in time. Mercenary is coming in. Did use up his self-heal. They actually are running out of self-heals. He actually does have teleport as well. What the heck? Teleport wheel. And it's a, it's a good thing that... Wait. He can snap down him. He snap down him. Wait, you just... Oh! The pop! They just go for the pop right there. I guess they kind of had to. He stuffed him out. No, but they won't escape here. They won't escape. Chiller just goes on door. Chiller goes on door. He has attention though. Mm. Chiller's on door. Chiller's on door. Yeah, you just buy time. You just buy time. You have enough time. It's not a 4K. You have enough time. Cause, oh, he's gonna still pull. Oh, he's still gonna push for it. Yeah, at this point, you you try and get the rescue, just so that you get one person out. If nothing else, so you can get one person out. Cause at least you can continue the set with one person out. But then you have to rely on your hunter getting a 4K. <laughs> I think. Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's a 3K. Tudor should just leave. Yeah, that's that. She just leaves. Okay. That's a 3k, but that, I'm pretty sure that means the uh, the set continues, I think. Yeah, it, it should. It should. <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> oh, that's so goofy. That's so goofy. That is so goofy. Okay. Yeah, so they're gonna need... I think they're gonna need a 4k here. <laughs> right? Let me see. Yeah, they need a 4K. I think? Yeah, they, they actually need a 4K. They need a 4K for them to continue the set. Well, good work from the wheel. That was exciting. I can't I can't believe it wasn't off to a great start, but then he got the lawyer fast so uh, He got down so fast. That was like really fast, dude. My goodness. Now, 3K is still good. 3K is still very good because now, now you're putting a lot of pressure on the TWT Hunter and you, they have to get a 4K just to continue the set, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they'll, they'll show the score in a second, but I'm pretty sure even if they get the 4K, it's not enough for them to win this set. That just ties them the set. Like the set would have ended if Wheel got that 4K right there. So they're still in it. And they might just, you know, answer back with a Wheel as well. <laughs> we could see another Wheel run back. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah, the 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 harp is the yeah, it's that's their heartbeat. They actually have the uh the heart monitors on them. It's pretty cool actually. I do I do like that they have that. It's pretty cool. It just kind of adds like, oh, what are the, what are these players thinking? You know, if your heart's beating fast, that means they're feeling like ah, like they're scared, they're nervous, they're feeling intense, they're in the zone. And if they're beating slowly, it's probably because they're like, eh, whatever, man. <laughs> no, it it is interesting. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So, yeah, at 3k would put them at 14 to uh, to 12. So that wouldn't be enough. A 4k, actually a 4k would win them the set. Never mind. Yeah, because the 4k next to the extra points, I think. Yeah, because a 4k is 5 points. So that would actually win them the set. Yep. Okay. So it actually ends here. There's no. There's no continuing the set. There's no. Pro there's no way to draw. So it's either 4K or they they win. So they, all they have to do is play to get one person out. That's it. WBG plays to get a single person out and they're fine. So this is when we see the extremely safe characters like Embalmer, um, super safe rescuer like First Officer Mercenary. I mean, we picked those characters anyway. But like, we're gonna, like, unless Embalmer's already been global banned, we 100% see, uh, we 100% see Embalmer here. If we see Embalmer, no, we see Embalmer here. Unless he's banned, we see Embalmer. Yeah, Embalmer's not global banned. So I feel like they just pick Embalmer. They only need one person out the gate. You obviously pick Embalmer. You obviously pick Embalmer. Okay, banning Seer and Mert. Really? Okay. Wait, we could see a Bane. They're banning Dream Witch. We definitely see Embalmer. Like, you need one person out to win. You definitely pick Embalmer. Do like Embalmer Officer right here. Embalmer. Yup, 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 yup. Embalmer. Merchant. Okay. Interesting. Wasn't expecting Merchant. Oh, how's it going, Stray? Competitive hunters are a different species to be calm so often. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. I got pallet stunned once and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Now you, I feel like you just you just pick some uh some safe. Oh no, I guess it's ban. Oh, patient ban. Okay, okay. But what do they play here? What do they play? Alice. I feel like Alice is kind of risky. No, cord safe, safe, safe. Yep, safe. Very safe, very safe. I think we could see. Hmm. Oh, well, they're banning Dream Witch. I feel like we could see a Bane. But what characters counter Bane? I don't know. I think his coordinator gun works against everybody, so. All right, now, now, here, now, now, at, at this point, uh, what you gotta do here, bust out the Feaster. Bust out the Mr. Feast! With. Listen. <laughs> the last serve is gonna be. A rescuer, maybe? Officer, potentially? They only need one person out. Maybe just an all-rounder? It's gonna be Grave. Alright, Grave is back up. Cheese time. It's cheese. Okay, okay. This team can do it. This team can definitely do it. Only one de actually two decoding debuffs so somebody's chaired. Hmm. Nah, but with, with Embalmer, Embalmer like almost guarantees, dude. They have two rescue characters, one support, Embalmer who's just free, free. <laughs> actually just free. <laughs> Oh boy. Like anytime a team only needs a one escape, we're almost always gonna see Embalmer, I feel like. We're almost always gonna see Embalmer. No Alice? Yeah, no Alice. I like seeing Alice too. We did get to see Alice come out that one time in NAEU, but I'd like to see her come out a little bit more. We actually see a lot of Grave. I see a lot more Grave in uh, C and then JP. Also, Ban Aeroplan. Aeroplan is banned, makes sense, yeah. Very, very safe character. Hermit? We could maybe see a Hermit. I don't know. Uh, you can pick Wheel, you can pick Wax, you can pick Geisha. You need a 4K though. You need a 4K. You have to pick somebody you can 4K with. It could be Bane. Because Bane, CN Bane just goes crazy. They didn't ban Bane. Okay, it's gonna be another wheel. It's wheel to wheel. Back to back wheels. Uh uh uh. <laughs> you thought you got that 4K? Uh uh uh. I get the 4K. <laughs> All right, answering back with a wheel. 
It's oh, wheels back to bang. The Will Brothers. The Will Brothers. The Will. Bro I actually love how much I'm seeing of the Will Brothers. I must say. But this time you need the 4K. It's not like last time where getting the 4K just nets you the win. And you go to another game. This time they. It's like the 4K determines the game or not. 4K is a win for TWT, and uh, anything but is a WBG win. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, Gra Grave Grave does well here. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to go. This is a pretty safe team. You have a bomber for as like a backup. If you ever like in a pinch, you just coffin. Oh, what's that? Coffin. Let me just get out the chair. Coffin. <laughs> what are these spawns? What the heck? Oh, merchant. Oh, merchant's actually spawning near the slide so she can potentially set up some catapults. Hmm. Nobody's spawning at first and fourth. Interesting. I don't know why they do these jank kind of uh, spawns. Which oh, you can actually like the closer up spawns, but whatever. I was like, we put money into designing this VR system. We gotta use it, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, excitement trump card insolence. No detention this time. Excitement trump card insolence. You get to full pros faster. We're gonna see borrow time tied on both uh on both uh toy merchant and gravekeeper. We've got embalmer with uh borrow time flywheel and then coordinator with borrow time knee jerk. And it looks like Cord is gonna be taking the first kite default cord skin. No way. The actual default cord skin has some has some windows here to play around with. This is the gets the spike really? No shot that hit. No shot. There's no way that hit. My goodness. Um, yeah, at this point, you just play around these windows. Windows are so broken against wheel. Absolutely so broken. Oh, wait, vaulted in. Vaulted into him. Probably should have been a little bit more patient there. Now she has two spikes. Get it away from him. Does she just shoot gun? Shoots gun immediately. Oh, but the excitement. And that's a down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think he was waiting. He was waiting for his excitement to be up. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure he waited until excitement was up before getting in a wheel form. Oh, that was so good. That's a down that early. This is kind of what you need. This is what you need. I mean, Gravekeeper can just get to the... Yeah, he can just kind of... Yup. Yup, it's Gravekeeper. <laughs> he just gets the chair for free, bro. Oh, boy. Buying some time. Swirling around. Yep. He's got all the time in the world until you hit him. He's got to hit this shovel. Nope. Doesn't actually want to hit, have him hit the shovel. He's just chill. He's chilling, bro. He's chilling. <laughs> okay. No terror shock. There's the rescue. Beautiful. Uh, you're just going to get hit here, bud. See ya. All right. That could be a double down now. That's going to be a double down. This is looking good for the wheel. I don't, is he a full press? I think he's like just a little hit. I think he's a little bit away from full press. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out once they get to spike in cord. Here's extended spikes. Misses extended spikes? No, no, he hits it. He hits it. Never mind. Never mind. He does hit it. He does hit it. And he's not. Is he at full press? Let's see. No, he's not at full press yet. It's like the meter you can't tell, but it's not at it yet. Um, he could snap for full press, but I feel like you want to save that. You do still have some some traps here. Throws a trap. Oh no! I'm pretty sure he wanted to throw the trap on the other side. Oh boy, nice to get back into wheel form. Hold on. Extended spikes are back up, but this 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 area is so annoying for wheel, dude. Look at that. oh, that's some really good control, but it's not enough. This area is just too annoying. The pallet's still being here. Does finally get it though. He can just snap down now. Snippity snap, snippity snap. Snippity. There it is. There's a snippity snap. There it is. Okay. The ciphers are climbing though. I don't know if he can do this. I don't know. Especially with Embalmer too. They didn't embalm corner or anything, but with Embalmer, I feel like you can just save it for end game, even if you want to. Okay. Uh, Toy Merchant has a catapult set up. He's not going to use it just yet. Going to just wait out the chair time. Do we see? Nope. Grave's not going to go into a shovel. Now nah, she's flying in. Yep. Here she comes. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> she's just flying around, dude. And just gets the. Oh! Hold on. Waiting, waiting. There's the rescue. There's the rescue. Yep. It's a tie. It's tied again. It's tied. Full press. Snippity snap. Down you go. It's not gonna be enough though. They just the double tied, bro. The double tied. It's just the opera strats at this point. You just double tied, die in a corner, and all this time is being wasted. 
so much time is being wasted here. <laughs> look at the survivor screen. You can see the freaking faces of the Will brothers, and they look so goofy. But yeah, no, this is not a 4K. But this, it was a good start, but double tied the waiting. It was just too much. It was just too much. And Gravekeeper was such a good pick here because he was able to stall so much for the Cypher. Toy Merchant 2, able to just stall. They're on the Embalmer now, but I feel like it's too little too late. I just, I don't see how he... The Flywheel to avoid full prez, misses the trap. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, dude. Okay. That's not a kill, though. That's just damage. That's just damage. He can snap down, but again, too little too late. By the time you down the Embalmer, he, he might just cough in here, honestly. He actually might just cough in. He spikes the Embalmer and heads all the way to the Cypher. Wait, hold on. This might be what you need. Oh, but she just... Oh, my gosh. All these characters who can just avoid his full prez. Oh, boy. If that's the thing, you could have just... You could have... Oh, boy. Okay, he gets... He's just... He's getting spikes in everybody. But they have two Cyphers that they're priming. I think it's just over. I think it's just over. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boop. Snippity snap. Down you go. Does he... Does he... Coffin? Coffin? No coffin. No coffin. But it doesn't matter at this point. He doesn't even need to use it. He can just save it for endgame. Oh, they're just gonna pop. They're just gonna pop right now. Right in front of his face. No? Just pop it. There you go. That's it. Just pop it. What the heck? Okay. That's it, dude. No detention. He does kill Toy Merchant with a hit, but like... He just blinks. He has to slug. It's his only choice. He has to slug. You can't share. You're wasting time by doing this. She's not dead. It's like her first chair. They're already on the gate. You need a 4K. Ah, uh, that's it, dude. That's so it. They just go to two different gates. Somebody stays middle. Yeah, no, it just, it's just, it's too over. It's so over at this point. Yeah, you get over there, but he has coffin. Extendo Spiko. Boop a boop. Snippity snap. Snippity, snappity, and no coffin is used. Does he? Does he? He's going back. Yeah, he's going back. But thing is, Embalmer still has self heal, so he just uses self heal by the time because like, the self heal is gonna be ready by the time he leaves. So it's just there's no chance. He's already lost. He's actually already lost. I hate to say it, but he's already lost. Right, by the time he comes over here to commit, Embalmer self heals at 60. He gets back up, goes on gate, and that's just it. That's game. And even if he dies, he just instant coffins and then walks out the gate. Like, it's actually that easy. Uh, snippity snap, go down. It's not enough, though. Yep, it's not enough. Man, I wanted to see the set continue. Or at least potential 4K for the wheel, but no, that's just a draw. That's a draw, even. That's just a draw. It wasn't even the Embalmer. The Embalmer was just like, there's a backup plan. My goodness. And yeah, they just get out. That's a draw. All right, well, WBG does take the... They, they they take it. They take the set. My goodness. I do like that we saw the wheels, though. Like, answering, like, wheel back to wheel. But, again, all or nothing character, dude. My goodness. Borrowed time shouldn't use up self-heal if the person was down. <sighs> what? I don't think it does. Wait. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't use up self-heal. Oh, should use up. Oh, I see. Oh, wait. Huh. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't know if I agree with that. Because uh, the whole point... Then why would you ever bring borrowed time at that point? If borrowed time wouldn't heal you, like, it'll heal you right then and there, right in front of the hunter. But like that's it. That's all you get. I don't know. I feel like a lot less. We'd see a lot less borrowed time at that point. I'm not sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. Borrowed time is broken, but so is attention. Like the whole point about borrowed time is attention is like they're just polar opposites. Like the survivors heal, get a speed boost, but then detention, like you can just come back and kill. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's probably a way to like better balance. I mean, borrow time is busted. I want, I want like a tide adjustment. I know, I know. Like when I, I did like a poll a while ago, where I was like, hey guys, do you want to see a nerf to tide turner? And nobody said yes. I think, I think tide needs a nerf. I, I don't, I don't. I mean, I know tide is like it's obviously on the persona, uh, persona web. It's a final trait, 
But I personally think Tide Turner used on consecutive characters needs a nerf. Like, let's say, like, if, if, it's, if a person gets Tide Turner twice, I want the second Tide to last half as long. That's all I want. That's the only, like, make the first one still last 20 seconds, but the second one last 10. I don't know. You, even if it's used on a different character, then it stays at 20. But, like, consecutive uses, because it's just, like, we see so much of just Tide, run away in a corner, die. Tide, run away in a corner, die. So, like, if you get rescued two different times with Tide, the second one is half as effective. So, it's still there, but it's, like, it just wastes less time, right? 10 is too much, 15 sounds... 10 is, 10 is enough to at least get away from basement. Because let's say you get hit in basement, you have 10 seconds. I don't know. Plus, that's the second time. That's That'd be the second consecutive. The first time you get 20, the second time would be 10. I don't know. I, I just like... I, th I just find the, the, the double tide strat to be, while effective, kind of universal like it's almost universally like good against every hunter like double tide basically just secures a draw especially with embalmer that's why we just see it come out against opera singer all the time is double tide die in a corner like it, it's basically like a draw secure like, all you gotta do is just get two successful rescues without getting terror shocked and uh, have like an, a, a decently average kite, and then like your d double tide is basically guaranteed to uh, to draw. Mm. Especially if you have a team like Mercenary with Tide, uh, uh, Aeroplane is with Tide, because like you don't really want to chase those characters too often. <laughs> I guess you could chase an Aeroplane, but you know, a lot of time, at least in tournament, we don't see them taking kite too often. Yeah, so it is a win to WBG. That is our second set done. So we have one more set to watch tonight. Um, and it's going to be R or yeah, MRC versus ZS.LIN. Curious to see how this one is going to go. MRC. ZSLIN. Okay. Wow, best adoption for opera, who could have guessed? <laughs> oh boy. Opera singer moment. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have like a little bit of time. We can do a duos match, but I need to grab some water, so I'm probably gonna put on like a, a spectate the pros real fast. Um, let, me, let me get that set up. What the? Oh, is this from my Joseph match? Yeah, dice. Woo! You go, Alice. You're crazy. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized everybody's uh, all their tiers are gonna be so much lower now. Yeah, everybody's tiers are so much lower because everybody dropped tiers. Okay, I'm pretty sure all the Manti threes are like X really, really good hunters. Um, huh. Uh, let's see. People wanted to see Morning Star. We can watch a Morning Star match. Oh, oh, watch, we'll watch this one. We'll watch this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in just a second. Let me put this up. Yeah, I'll be back in like two minutes.
Okay, I am back. Let me get rid of this and drop this down a tad. Okay. How is he doing? How is he doing? Hold on. How's he been doing so far? Seems not great. Yeah. Oh, I know that. I don't think they have a Cypher Prime. Doesn't Terror Shock. Bro. Mercenary. Mercenary, come on. There you go. You don't even need to drop. Just stand in the way, bro. You could have just stood in the way. Oh, barmaid here. Okay, now, now there's the body blocking. There's the body blocking. Yep. It's sometimes hard to body block into Nightwatch because he does have wind. But even then, don't vault that. There you go. Oh, wait. Careful now. Antique dealer. Yep, mercenary takes the hit. Good work. Yo, the freaking support dude is insane. Oh, uh, this happens to... Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, get a chair at instead. <laughs> I think this is to draw at best. It's primed, bro. It's primed. Antiquarian heals, runs away. He's going to be on Antique Dealer. Oh, messes up the dash. Hits Barmaid, rescue, and then next hit they pop. Pop. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Poor Morningstar. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh, Nightwatch. I missed the Kuga era, bro. Bring the Kuga, Kuga era back. And we could easily 4k on hospital. Dang, the terror shock! Well, not even necessary, but you know. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, she's zooming, she's zooming, she got that knee jerk. Uh, he can draw, he can draw. He can definitely draw. He's actually running my Nightwatch build. I say mine as if it's like, oh, I claimed it as mine, but you know, it's the same one I use, I should say. Yeah, no, so no, no blink or anything. Okay, is he... Oh, wait, the dungeon? Why are they spamming the dungeon? Is, oh, is it at mid? Wait, is it? It's not, a, it's not even at mid. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Wait, oh, Barman makes that. Oh, yeah, the Barman makes that. Uh, she makes that, yeah. Yeah, she makes that. Oh, she did that. Okay, she's playing on mobile. That's how you know she's playing on mobile. <laughs> That's how you know she's playing on mobile. Oh, boy. That's so goofy, bro. Uh, that, that's that's how you tell the difference between a mobile player to PC player, is if you drop that pallet. <laughs> that's so goofy, dude. That's so funny. Tournament is required mobile, is it? I'm pretty sure I've seen some hunters play on PC before. Huh. I mean, I know most people play on mobile. That's why. I can, oh, that's another reason why I can never be a pro player because i only play on pc i cannot play on mobile for the life of me dude you got i should maybe make a video where i play on mobile i play like garbage bro i play like a worker bee like i already play like a worker bee now but like at least i have my moments right i don't even have my ones on mobile on mobile i'm just cooked bro on mobile i'm garbage all right let's go on lakeside everybody's favorite map i'll play serve this time i've played too much joseph recently jojo Really? I'm not sure. I, I always thought it was too, but I swear I've seen some hunters play on PC. Like a few of them. I could I could be making that up, but I heard some people talking about um, hunters on PC, so I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It is! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognize the name Urban Lily. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they, they're a new they're a new IDV YouTuber. I'm pretty sure. I remember Zeus. Yeah, Zeus showed me their channel. There we go. Yeah, I didn't know they watch my content. That's cool. Anyways, sorry. I just I just like it when I see more IDV YouTubers. I, I think it's cool that more people try to uh, play the game. You know, I'll research that right now. I appreciate that. 
That that would be nice. Again, it could just be a rumor, but I've I've heard people, some people, or some hunters have played on PC before. Okay, so I might not be able to finish this duo hunters match since they're they might be able to finish stats in time, but we'll just see. Um, already played Garner. Oh, we got Sophia Melly. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Uh, let's see. Urban Lily is you on your friends. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Never mind then. Never mind. Let's see here. Wait, who is free? Oh, Kurt Gaming. Kurt Gaming. I'm not about. I'm not about to play Perfumer and duos, bro. Heck no. I finally got some Kurt Drip. Yeah, Kurt Drip. Woo! All right, time to be small. Small Kurt Gaming. <laughs> No, apparently, apparently they're friends with uh, Urban Lily. Some hunter in the tournament used to play on PC, but mobile is required to be in the tournament itself, so they had to switch. I see. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, yeah, that's another reason why I could never, because I only play on PC. I'm so bad at mobile, bro. I can't play on mobile. I don't even know how to play on mobile. Like, I try to play on mobile, my hands cover up the entire screen. Like, I can barely kite. I try to look behind me, I'm just, like, dying. And I miss input all the time. And I, I, what if my if my grip ever like shifts so ever so slightly on my phone, I just like completely lose track of it. Like I've probably played like a, tw a total of like 20 matches on mobile. And I, I'm sure if I played more, I'd get used to it. But like, I don't know, dude. PC is just it's so much more comfortable. Plus the plus the graphics just look better. And I'm, I'm never gonna record on mobile because like on PC, like literally the graphics just look better straight up. Okay, time to be small. I'm pretty sure I've been found out already. Oh, nah. Nah, bro, nah. Not my Kurt, bro, not my Kurt. Say it isn't so, Kurt! Say it isn't so! <laughs> oh, boy. That's so unfortunate. Why did I just spawn middle as Kurt, bro? There were, there were like, so many better options. I had to, bro. Okay. Man, it feels nice to look behind me. Unlike when I'm fighting Ivy. <coughs> Woo! Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna die. I can go to this pallet. Maybe bait the no- Oh, wait. Where'd he go? I saw- Oh, maybe he got pushed back by bees? Oh, I, I got some distance. I got some distance. Where do I go next? Oh, he lost me! He lost me! He lost me! He lost me! Okay, I, I, I book it, I book it, I just run, I just run. Come on, Kurt! Stay small, stay small, stay small. He won't be able to see us from far away. Okay, we got Nightwatch as well. Come on, Kurt. I gotta not get caught, bro, I'm the decoder. I'm like literally stuck in between- Oh no, he found me again. Are you kidding me? Come on! I'm just gonna stay hidden, I, sh I gotta stop I gotta stop transitioning, bro. I just gotta give up transitioning. Okay, mm okay, 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 okay. Flywheel. You know blink. Thank you for not having blink. Oh boy. Uh, we pallet spam. He's gonna break it. He's gonna break it. Okay. Note shouldn't be up in time. If it is, I'm gonna cry. No, it's not up. In, it's not up yet. I dodge that. I dodge that. Come on, Kurt. I think I have to take a hit here. I definitely have to take a hit here. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't have anything to work with, bro. All I have is small. All I have is small, bro. All I have is small. Okay. Come on, Kurt. <laughs> I should get away from basement. That's what I need to do. I'm just gonna get away from base. Oh my gosh, she has confined. Uh... Okay. Wait. Oh, that was actually kind of godlike. I can't even lie. That was actually kind of godlike. I can't even lie. That was actually kind of a godlike note. I didn't see where you put it, so I was like, huh, where is this thing? That was actually kind of godlike, I can't even lie. Good good, G good work to Antonio. That was actually godlike. When I, when I saw the note, I thought he put it on the stairs, not outside of the boat. But I didn't see it, I was like, oh, if I don't see it, it's probably on the stairs, but... Good work, good notes, good notes. Well, the ciphers are ciphering, which is good. I cut it long enough as like literally default base Kurt. 
Why does the basement look moist? Uh, I mean, it is underwater. Yeah, it is underwater, so maybe that's why. <gasps> Hi, Sophia Melly. Whoa. Yo, don't sleep on the freaking moldy basement. <laughs> okay, well, he's not even gonna camp, really? I'm in basement. The whole point of putting in basement is so you can camp. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh. Oh. Oh, oopsies. Okay. Should be able to survive long enough. Maybe I should have just hid down in basement. That would have been funny. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe too much looking behind me now. Okay. Why are we all here now? What the heck? I, got, I just gotta escape his clutches. If I can get away from him, I'll be fine. All right, now I'll be small. Oh, my gosh. Not the other hunter, bro. Not the other hunter. Oops. What the? <laughs> wrong button. Wrong button. Bro, please. I just want to hide as Kurt. just want to hide. I'm going to grab my pages, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dang, he sure takes a long time to search for treasure in this mode. Oh, wait. Doesn't it only go to 30 in this mode? Well, that's pointless now. <laughs> Guess that's pointless. Um, I still died at detention. So what I need here is... Um, what do I need? I actually know. I can't use this on the gate. Hmm. I need heal. Bot. Elbow pads, I guess. Sure. Oh my gosh. All right, where are those elbow pads? Where are those elbow pads? Ah, uh, come back. I don't need small anymore. I guess I have the bot now. No more elbow pads. Sure, whatever. What are you doing, Nort? Okay, I keep getting like stuck. This is weird. I can bot body lock with this, or just put bot on gate. No, 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 it's here. We're, we're good. Buddy! <laughs> Average Nort main. It's okay. Here, let, put, let me let me bot in the gate. Let me bot in the gate. Yeah, it's safer this way. It's safer this way. There we go. And now I'll just, uh, Kurt Gaming right over here. Yup, yup. Why is it still let me pick up pages? This, the, the cypher's popped. Whatever. <laughs> the Nort, bro, I swear. Oh, gate's open. Yeah, gate gate is open. Gate is open. Gate is open. I'm just gonna book it. I'm just gonna book it. Hi, friends. <laughs> Nort, bro. <laughs> oh, Nort. Oh, Nort. Okay, we can. Oh wait, Melly. Hey. All right, Nort. Do that. Do that when I'm about to die. I'm gonna send my bot in. All right, bot. Try to save the Melly. Or actually, see, you can maybe try and give her an owl or something. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just lose here. Can my bot even make that in time? Hurry, bot! Bot, please! Bot doesn't make it. Bot literally doesn't make it. You're kidding! Bot! <laughs> You're so garbage, bot. I can't even make it to Antique Dealer, bro. Bot is trash. Oh, I should maybe get out, huh? Bruh. Freaking bot, bro. If only the bot had a speed boost. Yo, just get a speed pill, bot. Just get a speed pill. Actually, just get a speed pill, bot. What is wrong with you? Oh, boy. Competition device network section of Co rules says laptops, PCs, and emulators are strictly forbidden. Okay, then. Well, maybe... Oh, you know what? Maybe it could have been for the uh, commentator tournament. Maybe that's what it was. Because that's when I heard about it. It could have been. It could have been just for like a, a non-serious tournament. It, there's a good chance that's what it was, because I'm pretty sure that's when I heard about the rule or the the, the statement. Anyways, freaking bot, bro, freaking bot. All right, they should be done with the stats soon. I don't want to jump into a match because I'm gonna fall behind like that one Joseph, or with that one Joseph match. But yeah, since since, uh, since um, I still have to grind up more points, I'm probably going to be playing a lot more of those Joseph matches. The thing is, I take so little brain power, and they usually go by pretty fast. The no persona. No, 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 no persona, no cams. 
Listen, Moonwalking Joseph. <laughs> the live broke? Did it? Uh, uh, it looks fine to me. Is everybody everybody good? Fine for me. Okay, that might be that might be on your end. That might be on your end. At yeah, it, it looks it looks fine to me. I haven't dropped any frames. It's still up on my preview. And yeah, we're good. You need to walk to hide with Explorer, by the way. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I always just forget. <laughs> if you run your... Tra yeah, I know, I know. The thing, is, the thing is, I think he already saw my trail, so it didn't even matter at that point. I, I don't play Kurt enough. I always kind of forget. But I'll, I'll probably buy Kurt soon. I, I actually have like a decent stockpile of uh, clues right here. I mean, the thing is, like, usually I have a good amount of clues until they start releasing, like, furniture, and then I buy, like, a ton of furniture, and I lose all my clues. Either that, or I could use it on some previous memory spheres. Um, I could do this now, actually. That'd be kind of hype. Do you guys think I should do this now? Just waste just waste 5,000 clues on this, or should I just save them? I do get closer to this thingy. I don't necessarily need it, but, like, I don't know. Do it, gambling addiction. You know, I'll, I'll waste it. I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. <laughs> waste the clues. I'll close that in, like, a minute. We'll, we'll do it. If we do it, we'll do it after this match. We'll do it after this match, because they, they are having a... They are selecting now. Weepy? <laughs> Round one, Weepy? Wait, you're crazy. Round one weepy, huh? No way. Oh, people are just saying yes. What the heck? That's crazy. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll pull after this match then. As a gambling addict, do not. Well, people did say yes. I am having second thoughts. Yo, why is Weepy so tiny? Yo, okay, so why is Novelis, why is Novelis picture like offset and up to the right while Weepy's is like just minimized? Why is his so small? <laughs> That's Duko, bro. Guys, Duko made it into he made it into Koa, bro. He made it into Koa. Let's go. <laughs> With his weeping clown. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, we do have we have Weepy and Mike. Hold on. Yo, we should have had. Yo, we should have had like. Oh, it's gonna be opera. Yeah, it's gonna be opera. We should have had Weepy, freaking Mike, Dancer, and um. Somebody else versus like Violetta. Who else is in the freaking circus? I always forget. Uh, uh, Murrow, yeah, 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 yeah. Murrow, 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 yeah, yeah. No, I, I already said dancer now, it would be Murrow, yeah. That would work, that would work, yeah, that would work. That'd be just his circus team. Weepy is interesting though, because he doesn't outspeed opera. <laughs> uh, this is. Um, this is this is probably just gonna. I don't know. We usually don't see Weepy. We just we just don't see Weepy. Weepy. It's gonna have Tide in knee jerk. Interesting. Tide knee jerk. Re Weepy. Borrow time knee jerk on both coordinator and Mike, and then borrow time. Uh, what's it? Borrow time fly. Borrow time. Um, Tide on Merc. Standard build on Opera. Blink tension trump card. Let's see how this goes. Who are we gonna chase first? Oh my gosh, it's the Weepy. Duco, look out, bro! Duco! <laughs> You're getting chased, bro! Oh boy, drop that pallet. Yep, distance, distance. Oh my gosh, already using the rocket. Yo, look at that distance, bro! Look at that distance! Look at how much distance he's getting. Look at how much distance he got, man! Look at all that distance he got. Gee. <laughs> Why does he have a decoding debuff, bro? Why did they get this character a decoding debuff? He literally doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Oh, TP back, TP back. He's gonna take a hit, he's gonna take a hit. Yo, flywheel right now. Use that flywheel, you definitely have. <laughs> drop pallet, rocket, drop pallet, rocket, drop pallet, rocket. Rocket, ro no, no rocket? We're not gonna rocket? Yeah, I, I thought you just rocket just to zoom. Oh, wait, cord is here. 
Do we gun double rocket? Gun? Gun? Gun and they just both run away. Okay, does just mm, do we swap? Oh, I think they're gonna swap. They're swapping to court. Okay, yo, Weepy gets away. Weepy gets away. Weepy's broken. Weepy, Duko, he's crazy. <laughs> Okay, Cord takes it. Okay, now, Martha, what you gotta do is you gotta find a single pallet and vault it like 20 times. Oh, except the hunter has blinked this time, so it's not gonna work that well. Um, blink, blink, blink. Oh, there's the blinkity. And there's the down. Okay. It's fine. That's fine, honestly. Opening up a new cipher. About to finish one. That's fine. That's honestly fine. Did have to pause that cipher thanks to the the coordinator switching targets, uh, and now nobody's on a cipher. No, there we go. Okay, they're finally they're finally on a, a cipher again. Okay. Uh, I feel like the ciphers are maybe a little slow. Hmm. The heart rate's gone. Oh no, I guess they're back. Yeah, they're okay. I guess they got rid of them for a second. I don't know. That's weird. All right, well, the game is predicting this as a pretty high chance for a 4K, I think. I don't know. All right. And there we go. Yep, Nagito Merc, and then she just dies in the corner now because she has no resources. My cat is meowing through the door. Not now, cat. <laughs> I know she has food and water. My sister replaced her earlier today, so I'm not sure. What, she's probably just meowing for attention. Um, but sorry, Koa is happening now, cat. I can't pet you right now. Unless you want to watch opera singer games, cat immediately runs away. <laughs> opera singer games? Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to watch that. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, well, yep, dying in a corner, wasting as much time as possible. The ciphers are sort of ciphering. But look at the damage accumulated on the characters. Weepy still is injured, did not heal up. Two ciphers are being worked on, but again, it's going to be rough when. Oh, gets hit! Ah, that's unfortunate. Gets hit. Able to make the rescue, though, thanks to the elbow pad and freaking delayed damage. Setting in the way, setting in the way. Okay, prov providing a temporary pallet there. <laughs> but Cord should still just die right here. Yep. Oh, no, I can't make it. Can't make it. Can't quite make it. Can't quite make it. Three ciphers are going to be done. Yeah, ideally you'd want this. Uh, you'd want three ciphers done right around uh, the time you finish. So decoding does hit. Um, but Coordinator does die. They can share a mercenary. Weepy still has his tide, but he's damaged. He can't even use it. And he's decoding mid. Oh, the rocket! The rocket! The rocket! The rocket! Do go! <laughs> he gets the rescue! And now he just finished middle cipher. Oh! Oh, do go! <laughs> Tide is broken! Yo, stop smacking him! He's already dead! Now that he's TP. But that's accurate, and he can just take, just take a hit. Then you finish cipher. Oh, baby. Why did she smack him so many times, bro? She literally hit him so many times. Like, he's already dead. Oh, unfortunately, not able to get the firebomb. He's going to die right here. Yeah, I'm going to go down. Weepy should be able to self-heal sometime soon. They're at least going to get one person out. Weepy's, Weepy's heal is at 48. He might be able to rocket to the gate. There's a chance. 73. He, he No, he definitely makes that. That's a draw. That's a draw. That's a draw. That's a draw. Come on, Weepy. Just rock it to the gate, bro. Rock it to the gate. Come on, Duco. Yes. He's he's going for it. He's going for it. Yes, he's already in there, bro. He's in there. Oh, that's a draw. Yo, Weepy Clown? Weepy Clown meta? Oh, my gosh. Weeping Clown. I can't believe that, dude. <laughs> Weepy Clown is so goofy, bro. He's so goofy. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh wait, they have a plushie now. They have one of the pets. No, no woo orb, unfortunately, but they have one of the pets. At least they have something now. Oh, that's so funny. When he, when I saw him coming with the rocket, dude, he just looks so goofy when he's on the rocket. <laughs> so goofy, dude. She's hitting weeping. Casey has borrowed time. She hit him like four times. <laughs> <laughs> she, he, it was tied to her, and yeah, like, you, she hit him, like, what, four times? Jeez, that's crazy. Oh, that's so goofy, dude. Cats, yeah, the, the, cat's, the cat's name is Carol. Her, her name is Carol. I just call her Cat, though, because it's funny. Hey, I just call her Cat. Oh, Weeping Clown, though. Weeping Clown round one. <laughs> Weeping Clown round one. 
That's so goofy. Look at the containment time! Bro, that's like not even that good, but Weepy, bro, Weepy is winning 60 second containment. Definitely not because of the tide or anything. No, definitely not. Nah, she, she just kind of got Cypher rushed. Yeah, it's kind of got side for us. Yo, Mike the decoder, dude. My goodness. Weeping clown, dude. Such a good... I gotta start playing Weepy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get... Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, trying, to, trying to explain the cat lore. Yeah, they're, they're, I do have other channels, but you know. I don't advertise them that much. I probably should more, but... I, w I want people to subscribe to them if they're interested, not because I said so, you know? Your cast name is Mao, which is just cat in Chinese. That's funny. That is pretty goofy. My my dad, when he was younger, he had a he had a dog named Dog, which is literally just D O G. It just spells dog. It's pretty goofy. But yeah, draw draw for first match. Draw for round one first half. Cat's name is Maki Roll. That's funny. Yeah, so, many, so many cats out there just named Cat. Mao sounds like Mao. I don't know. I don't know if it's the uh, same pronunciation. Maya, May, Mao. I don't know. The German Meow. That is funny. Ash and Kai. Those are those are those are good cat. Those are good cat names. What? Taco. That's a cute one. Cat's name is Meow. <laughs> that's that's pretty default, but that's cute. Like it, it's so funny when a cat just has like a freaking weird name, like Gertrude. I forget. My sister was actually gonna change cat's name. I forget what it wasn't Esmeralda. I forget what she was gonna change it to something weird. But I was like, nah, that's dumb. Just call it cat. <laughs> As if calling it cat is a dog. Oh, Lucky! Lucky! Let's go! Lucky and Mike. All right. I love seeing Lucky, bro. I love seeing Lucky. We're sharing cat names? Yeah, I guess we're all just sharing our cat names. We got Lucky. Oh, Novelist with his displaced image once again. All right. Hold on. This is a good cop so far. Lucky Mike Novelist. Three very fun characters to watch. And now I just pick now I just pick Officer at the end, probably. <laughs> Ban Merc. Stop banning Merc. Officer's better. And it's Opera. It should just be Officer here. Unless I want to go Gravekeeper again for some reason. Should just be off. Oh, no, it's Wildling. Okay, never mind. Goodbye, Officer. Japan would have picked Officer. <laughs> okay. Interesting team. Mike is so goofy, bro. That dance is just so goofy. Alright, I, I want to see Orphy cook, though. I want to see Orph cook. Is it going to be Orph versus Op again? Like, it's, it's most likely Op. I don't know, I don't know if uh, CN Mainland has played some other characters in round one for no reason all right we've seen some round one lizards from jp we've seen some in fact a lot of the, i feel like uh south korea and um uh Ch china china other division the, the hong kong taiwan macau division they they played some not uh opera round ones we had like axe boy round ones which is crazy and what are we gonna see yo hell umber wax artists hmm. i'd rather watch opera I'd rather watch opera. I would 100% watch opera. Wanks. <laughs> I would much rather... Oh, wait, wasn't I supposed to... Oh, I was supposed to do the clues. I'll do it after this match. Point and click adventure? Yeah, it's point and click adventure character time. Oh, boy. It's wax, bro. It's wax, bro. It's it's so funny how watching Koa has actually changed my mind and made Wax the lamest character in the game. From a viewing perspective. Then yeah. the crowd leaves the venue and goes back home and <laughs> does anything else except for watch Wax artist. Oh boy. 
It is town, though. It is town. He is good on town. Wax is broken on town. Look at that. Full bows. All right. Blink detention trump card. Standard stuff. We got borrow time flywheel on Lucky. Borrow time knee jerk on Mike. Full kite build on Novelist. And then borrow time tied on the, uh, the Wildling. Okay. I don't know how well Novelist does against Wax or Lucky. But I know Wildling isn't bad. Because you can hop on Boar, get full Wax, get hit. And the boar takes the hit. So Wildling could be really good here. Okay, I think I think out of the times we've seen Novelist, I think like almost every time it's been Shuichi. Like people love the Shuichi skin for Novelist. Does Novelist even have an S tier? Does he even have an S tier? I actually don't know. I think because I only see this freaking Shuichi skin. Don't get me wrong, I love Shuichi. He, he's, he's my favorite character from Danganronpa, along with Kyoko. Oh, we're going to do the swap swap And does it matter? It doesn't even matter. Yippee! You extend the inevitable. I love Wax. I love Wax. Bruh. Bro, Wax! Come on! Full kite build! Oh. And it's basement, man. Oh, boy. And it's basement. Bro, I don't understand how you lose with Wax Artists. Like, anytime you vault a pallet, throw down a pallet, or, like, vault a window, you literally take, like, 50 Wax for free. Like, how do you not... I just don't understand. You take so much wax so fast. And look, this is what I hate. Look, he can, he can wax off the middle cipher by doing this. See? Why can he do that? Why can he do that? That's so busted. Why can he do that? Why can, why can a character do that? I've seen that I've seen that happen so many times. Why can he do that? Why is that a thing? Oh my gosh, they're waiting, they're waiting for the rescue. They're just waiting. Well with tonight is he knows it. Well, he doesn't know that nobody was down there, so they're just stalling for time here. Because he's not gonna go down there until he knows the rescue's been complete. He thought he just thinks somebody's gonna be nearby. So they're just gonna rescue at the very last second. And they're actually slowing it down. Because I think when you touch the chair, it slows down the rescue time or the, the rescue. Um that's why that's why Lucky keeps touching the chair, because whenever a Sorry, touch the chair. They stay on the chair for longer. So he's actually buying so much time by doing this. <laughs> and I think Wax is like, no, nah, something's off here. They used to be dead by now. Something's off here. <laughs> oh, the flywheel. Let's go. Lucky, shoot him. Yeah. Stay down there. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, Non-biased commentary. Um, yeah, good, good move from the survivors, but the Wax is not out of the game yet. The Wax artist can still win this game if he plays his cards right, aka click one button. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. The blink and he gets Novelist! Oh boy, he gets Novelist. And he's dead on chair, he hits Lucky before he leaves, and he is almost at full presence. My goodness. He does swap the teleport um, after that blink. And they did catch up on Cyphers a little bit. So I don't I don't think this is gonna be a 4K, but it is Wax Artist. So you never know. <laughs> oh boy. Except decoding is a thing now. Alright, I wanna just you know chase chase the wildling. Just hop on board wildling and just like have him chase you. That'd be really funny. Just have Wax Artist completely lose all his brain cells and forget about. I love it when he waxes off the cypher. That's my favorite part. That's my favorite part when you have to stand still for 10 seconds. That's my favorite part against Wax Artist. My favorite part is when his wax regenerates so it doesn't even matter. Smack him. Okay, unfortunate. Alright, lucky. I need you to flywheel wax right now. Fly with it, fly with it, fly with it. He does! He actually- Oh, Unfortunate. He flywheels it and still gets hit by the basic attack. That's so unfortunate. He actually successfully flywheels it, only to die anyway. Why can he do that? Why can he just do that, man? Why? <laughs> Why can do that? I know you have to have good aim, but like any wax artist will know. Like any wax artist would know. Oh my gosh. Oh! I didn't know how wax force you off boar. 
に対してもこのねスローが貫通する使い取りも一緒ですけれどもこのダメージ貫通がかなり強力だった I got nothing to say man I got nothing to say Boar should have taken the hit Boar should take the hit Buff wilding so Boar takes the hit Buff wilding so Boar takes the hit Please 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 All right, Acrobat, you can get Dungeon Buddy, surely. Acrobat doesn't have Hot Wax though, or he doesn't—he doesn't have Flywheel, so he can Hot Wax trick him. Oh, please get out, buddy! Come on, don't let it be 4K against freaking Wax, bro. Oh, he knows where you are now. No, he knows where you are. He knows where you are because of Tinnitus. No. Oh no. No! No, please! Joker Persona 5, please! Use your firebombs, spam them! Spam those firebombs! Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Yes, slow bomb, yes! Yes, come on! Come on, please! Alright, he makes one more loop, he gets it, he gets it, he gets it, he guaranteed gets this. He gets this, he gets this, he gets this. He gets this 100% of the time. Yeah, he makes it every time. Yes! Yes, it's a one escape! Okay! No 3k, no 3k, Ooh. no 3k. I mean, good work from both teams. That was a very solid wax artist game. I sure do love it when he clicks the win button. I mean, full presence. <laughs> oh boy. All right, well, still, there's still a, a slight lead for team uh, ZSLIN. But, um, yeah. They nerf everyone but Wax. I just want them to nerf the amount of Wax from each Wax. I think each Wax should be like three or something. I don't know. Or just like make it so he runs out of Wax at some point. Because he never runs out of Wax. He literally never runs out of Wax. Ever. There's like in the nichest, nichest situations he runs out of wax. You know who actually runs out of energy all the time? Violetta. Or Lizard. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Am I planning on getting any of the skins that are coming? There's a lot of skins that are coming. And yes, I'm planning on getting some of them. The main one is the composer skin. That the main the main skin I'm prepping for is that composer skin. Dang, Mike Decoder once again. <laughs> look at the look at the containment times. They're so bad. Nobody can you can barely kite them for a minute. Barely. Oh boy, wax man. Wax artist. Yeah, Vi Violetta needs. I don't think Violetta needs. I don't know if she needs like a buff or something. I just wish her webs recharged a little bit faster. Just ever so slightly. Like, I know the whole point of Violetta is like completely roller coaster gameplay where you like you save your webs and you use them all on like a like a ton of them like in a, in a very like short amount of time but uh still wish they were charged ever so slightly but sometimes you put them in like you put them up in some areas and then like you're not gonna come back to that area so it's like you lose them all or something i don't know yeah webshot webshot as well yeah i don't know i mean webshot only takes up like what like five i'm pretty sure Funny that only one rescue happened against that character. Isn't that funny that you can only rescue against him once? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, it's time. It's time to open those clues. I'm only gonna do one though. I'm only gonna do one thing. Here we go. Ten, 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 ten things. Ten things of clues. Cause I have the clues for it, and I'm probably gonna buy furniture, and I can get ivy and aeroplane is even with this and i'm still running up more clues even then so here we go let's see what we get let's see what we get i have to do my password hold on <laughs> I have to do my freaking password give me a second give me a second uh boop let me enter this in and uh, uh okay then i click confirm and then show caption right now here we go it's oh we got a geisha skin and a mercenary skin i guess okay stealth for a mercenary and we get rose satin for violetta okay okay soul sweaver uh and yeah we got a b tier skin for geisha miyoga 
All right, I'll be sure to use that sometime. And I have like no Geisha drip besides the Hanabi skin, so I'll be sure to uh, use that when she's free. And oh my gosh, Coffee Knight for my S1 Ripper? All right, we got some more drip for my S1 Ripper. Perfect, dude, that's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. We got I already have Warrant Warrant, but even then, I love getting more Warrant Warrant. Okay, I'll take that, I'll take that. That's fine. I I'm satisfied with that, I'm satisfied with that. I think whenever you do a 10 pull, you're guaranteed to get a B tier, so. Yeah, that's good. I'm satisfied with that. That's the only one I'm gonna do, because now I need, now my clues are a little bit low. I spend 4,500 on um, Ivy when she comes out, and then I want to get Aeroplaneist sometime soon, so I did get his skin. And then when I grind up more from the logic path, I reach weekly limit, and it resets this sudden. No, I, I, should, I should have plenty. I should have plenty to get the upcoming furniture. Because the next characters I want to get are probably like Aeroplanist, and then the the next ones I probably want to get after Aeroplanist are like cheaper characters like Explorer and Magician. And they're only, yeah, they're only like a thousand. So like I don't have to worry like about my clues when it comes to them. Yeah, so I, sh I should be good there. I should be good. You Ripper? You did not just say that to the S1 Ripper, bro. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I think they're about to start the uh, the next round. Let's see. So hopefully we get some opera bands, and uh, we won't see any more ops, but we will probably still see some wax, which is me. Vios also really good because you can body block with her. Yeah, she she is very large, so you can body block with her. But the thing is, you also get pallet stun a lot easier. It's so easy to pallet stun her. Like, I, sometimes I find myself, I like, I'm like not even in the pallet. I, I swear I'm not even in the pallet, and I still just get clipped. Play Tracy? I'll, I'll probably get mechanic sometime soon as well. Probably in a couple months. I just need, I just need to slowly get a hold of more characters, because... Right, right now, right now, I just am lacking a lot, and I want to eventually get to the point where I have all the characters, so that all the characters I uh, get are just, um, you know, the newer ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I do like mechanic. I think mechanic is fun, so I do want to get her sometime soon. And I, I can, I'll, I'm not, I'm not prioritizing any of the more boring characters. Like, I don't know. Um, Mind's Eye. <laughs> Mind's Eye's probably gonna be the last. I do, yeah, I know I, have, I already have a lot of, I already have a lot of characters, I do. But sometimes when people are like, oh, I want you to play this character, it's like, eh, I can't because I don't have them. Um, but I think I have like what? I think I said earlier, I think I have like around 50-ish percent of the characters, maybe a little less. A little less. All right, the next hunters I'm planning on getting are Weaver. Uh, we do get a character unlock card actually from the new event, so I'll probably use that on a hunter. I'll probably, because since I'll buy Ivy with clues, I'll probably use that on either Weaver or Axe Boy. Because the, the hunters I want are Weaver, Breaking Wheel, Mad Eyes, Axe Boy. And then the, up the upcoming serves I want are probably. The two cheap ones, um, Charles, and then probably, mm, probably Mechanic, Chowboy maybe. There's a lot of, there's, 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 there's some good options, there's some good options. And uh, yeah, I'm not really super crazy about anybody else at the moment. Toy Merchant could be fun, I actually have fun playing Toy Merchant. Could you just fly around? Batter's fun, but I can wait on characters like Perfumer, Painter, Postman. <laughs> They're just not as exciting to me. <laughs> become S1 Mad Eyes? I don't know if I can become S1, but I would like to have a badge for Mad Eyes someday. All right, here we go. Round two, first half. No Mike or Lucky Gaming, unfortunately. They have been global banned. Uh, Lucky's probably fine to be global banned after round one, but Mike. He's a pretty safe, solid pick. Good all-rounder character, so I don't know. Losing him early on is interesting, but I guess you have patient as well. So, buy Alva. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gunning to buy Alva, honestly. I I I want characters that gate that I find like their their gameplay is more interesting to me. Hi. 
I already played Axeboy. I'm not crazy with Axeboy, but I'm, I'm like, my Axeboy is okay. Coordinator and Patient as okay, Coordinator and Patient is good, but like setting up them for global bands, especially on Arms Factory? Patient on Arms is interesting. Patient on Arms is definitely interesting. Percy, maybe, maybe Percy, I don't know. I, I, there are just some, there are just some hunters that I find to be more exciting. Like, I, I want, like, the, the, the hunters I prioritize on are Wheel, Mad Eyes, Axe Boy, Soul Weaver. And of course, Ivy, because she's coming out. Okay, Officer, this is, these are pretty standard picks so far. Uh, they are betting Opera, thank goodness. But, um, will we, will we see them play Wax again? It is Arms Factory, so maybe we won't see Wax. Hopefully we won't see Wax. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Bane's good on arms, because there's a lot of walls, but again, there's a lot of walls, because he can, you, you go around the walls, but then he can just keep slowing you down, catching up. Could probably set up them a lot of traps and, and arms as well. Oh, banning Melly? Come on. Come on, JXY, don't ban Melly. I want to see Melly gaming. All right, we're probably going to see somebody safe here, like Embalmer. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. Oh, explore. Oh, hold on. Kurt on Arms Factory, bro. Yo, play, play, play Mary. Play Mary. I beg you, play Mary. Play Mary to this. Can we get a Hasha? <laughs> Can we get Hasha part two, bro, please? Oh, that'd be so funny. That'd actually be so funny. Have every hunter and you still only play the same five. I understand that. There are some hunters that are just not as fun as others. Lag moment? Okay. Who's the hunter gonna be, though? This is an interesting team. Now, you, you're gonna want Patient or Corner to take the kite. And if they find out the Explorer, that's gonna suck. Hmm. Who do you choose here? Yo, play Soul Weaver. Play Soul Weaver. Play Axe Boy. Play Mad Eyes. Now. <laughs> You'll play wheel on arms factory. You'll play wheel on asylum. <laughs> oh boy. Only play the hunters that everybody hates. I don't think everybody hates Nyad. My, my Nyad hate has grown less and less over time. I just hate her. The, the biggest thing I hate about the fish is just her attack speed. She, she's kind of mellowed out for me a little bit. Even Bonbon's kind of mellowed out for me a bit after watching Yami. But the people on the rise of my distaste are Wax Artist and Anne. I don't like the I don't like either of these hunters. I've, I like the, every, every time I fight an ant, I just get sad. I, I don't think I, don't, I rarely ever have fun. Like the only time I have fun fighting an ant is when she's at low presence. <laughs> I just, I just don't like Anne. I really don't like Anne. Anne coming in just in time, exactly. Which is weird because so many people like Anne, but I really don't. I really don't like her because she just stuns. She just like, kind of like Alva, just stuns. Like the, 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 the most exciting thing she has about her is the jumps. But that's about it. I just, I just don't like stunning characters. Or hunters rather, I should say. I don't dislike her design at all. I think her design is awesome. She's got a creepy neck. She's very she's very scary. I think she has a great design. But her gameplay is just kind of cringe, in my opinion. I, I love the cats, though. The cats are adorable. She herself is very spooky. Sometimes even the cats can be spooky. But they're also pretty cute at the same time. It's just like, it's like great design, but just kind of cringe gameplay. I would say the same for like, I, I think like almost every hunter. Has a great design. I don't think there's like any design. Oh, wax artist. <laughs> okay, like wax artist is kind of cool, like design wise, a little bit. Whatever. All right, bar time knee jerk on um everybody but officer, and then officer has bar time tied. Then we have blink detention and trump card. Yeah, you can you can play for draws here. You can play for draws. And is pretty decent on arms. You play for a draw here, and you, and you keep the you keep the set in your favor. You keep the set in your favor. I mean, coordinator does guarantee a free rescue here. But I feel like you don't want to send in Coordinator first. You want to have Coordinator maybe save the gun for endgame. Uh, it is Officer versus Anne, though. We do know that Officer is kind of countered by Anne. Uh, he should be able to cut out. He is, in fact, he should be able to raw kite out the uh, cut out the ceiling of the abilities. But even then, you just you just use Cats when he uses Watch. There's the Watch. If you get him with Cats, then he just... Uh, uh, oh, Mrs. Cats. Wait, that was kind of early. That was kind of early. Hold on. Oh, he's not hypnotized, though. Not, not, not hypnotized. Now you can see him. Gonna use the watch anyway, because why not? And you don't want to go back towards her because you want to maintain distance against Anne. You do not want to go back towards her. Only when, only when she's throwing out cats. Does it get hit by cats here? Does get catted, does get catted. Jump, and... 
Oh my gosh. See, I, I hate that kind of stuff, dude. I hate that stuff where, where she jumps and you freeze from the other side of the wall and she can just make it in time to hit you. Oh, I just hate that kind of stuff, dude. It's going to actually opt to use the second watch by as much time as possible. And is she going to leave? No, not going to leave. Not going to leave just yet. Here we go. We're going to see cats. Cats. There's some cats. And... Does actually get catted. Does get catted. Blink. And down you go. You have your tide. But that's it. Just wasting time vaulting, I guess. Nope. She knows where you are. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Not the greatest kite. And they're losing their main rescuer here, too. They no longer have a safe rescuer. I guess they have coordinator who can shoot the gun. But they do not have tide turn anymore. What they should do here, high key. I mean, this, that also just forces draw. I said I would have said rescue after half because first officer has a dummy long chair time. But at the same time, you're also just giving her the draw at that point, and all she needs is a draw. Mm. Mm. I think coordinator is coming in. Wait, are they double rescuing this? Patient, buddy. Now there's cord. All right, get rescued. Oh, no. Oh, taking the hit first. Let's see, gun. Boop! There we go. Very good gun, indeed. No, she stays there for a while. <laughs> coordinator gun, dude. Coordinator gun. 5.8 seconds, I'm pretty sure. Oh, swapping to... Co Wait a minute, swapping to cord. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if... I mean, she has no items, but neither does Officer. And the thing is, now you're giving them access to for later Tide. I don't know if I agree with this. This is actually what the survivors kind of need. Because now Officer heals up and can use Tide Turner later in the match. I don't know. I mean, Coordinator should just go down here. Yep, does go down. It's not the longest... It's, it's definitely not the longest uh, kite or anything. But if, if First Officer can leave, heal up, he can Tide. Uh, maybe. What, Elijah? Are we still talking about freaking Elijah? No, stop that. Okay. Explorer is here. Patient is here too. Okay. They're not going to even... I don't think they have the time to heal up, officer. There's, there's, there's deconing is coming along. Um, okay. Boop. There we go. She's now at full prez, though. She's now at full prez. Doesn't dodge the cat and hits coordinator down. Oh, boy. All right. Wait. Do you just send an officer, though? Oh, she's cheering on the cypher. They can't just pop. Well, she's she's going to abnormal? 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 It's going to be abnormal. It's going to be abnormal. They're actually opting to abnormal? Okay. Huh. And they're not going to use that tide at all. They're kind of low on resources. They don't have a cypher anymore. This might be what Ant needs. Explorer is going to have to rescue now. First officer is decoding. It's going to be kind of slow, though. He has you have both watches, so his decoding buff is only like 6% now. Explorer is here. Oh, wait. She could push for more here. That, that, that. That was actually kind of big. Okay, Kurt. Kurt Gaming. Kurt Gaming. You have to body block, you have to body block for her. Uh, doesn't matter, cats. Oh, get away, get away. Oh, that's death. Oh, that's a draw. That's a draw. Oh, and is so good at securing draws, dude. That was such a good abnormal. Because again, you don't need to play for a win. Just play for a draw. And right there, you get your draw. That's your draw right there. That's your draw. Unless Officer Tide cheeses, that's your draw. The only way I feel like they draw this is if Officer opens a chest, gets lucky, gets a watch, Tide rescues, and then Tide... Um, and then just cheeses with Tide Turner. That's the only way. And she found the officer. Okay, so now that possibility has been eliminated. And he's also not dead on chair, I think. I'm pretty sure he's not. Am I a doofus? I don't remember if he is or not. Um, let's see. They're not going to pop, so he's not dead on chair. Okay. All right, they're sending in Patient. He still has one hook. She can actually get a 3k here. That was actually a huge abnormal. That was a huge abnormal. Dodge cat with hook. Oh, he gets in the distance. He makes it. He makes it there. He makes it there. Hit. Oh, no. And moment. That's an and moment. That's a 3k. Bruh. That's a 3k. 
Yeah, Dang, you, all you needed was a draw and you, you snagged yourself to 3k. That abnormal was game changing, dude. That abnormal was game changing. Oh boy. And moment. That is an and moment. That is an and moment. Alright, well, good 3k. Good 3k. I kind of didn't even set up a poll. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even set up a poll. What the heck? What, are, what is Chad even talking about? What the heck? I feel like I, I feel like, I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel like I'm missing something. Lin chair? What the heck? Go back and look at the hunter's face cam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is there only a chair? Wait, what is that? <laughs> Wait, what is? I didn't even notice. What is that? What? Is that the whole match? <laughs> what? Then where are they playing from? What? Wait, what? Are they even on the chair like at character selection? We see serves. Still serve. Yo, go to like the overview. Where's the hunter chair? Stop showing the survivor chair. There's just nobody there. There's just. Are they camera shy? Are they like in the back playing? Are they. Did, I don't know. I, that's weird. Wait, didn't they play earlier? No, they didn't. They. <laughs> I think. It, I think they're just too shy. They might just be camera shy, huh? Yeah, I might just not want to play on the stage. I might just want to play like backstage. Okay. Interesting. Weird. I don't. Is, I don't think I've seen many people do that before, huh? I guess that's fine, though. I guess that's fine. Um. Interesting. No, that's fair. That's fair. If they don't want to be on camera, that's that's fair. I mean, I don't want to be on camera. Look at me, dude. I'm not on camera either. <laughs> I totally get that. I totally get not wanting to be on camera. I don't like being perceived. My voice is bad enough. Like, I, I cringe when people play my videos in the background. Like whenever my friends put on one of my videos, I cringe so hard. Like sometimes when Zeus was just streaming and he played my freaking video, I was cringing so hard. Oh, so a draw. Is that is that next round draw just wins? Is that right? Huh. Interesting. Um, but yeah, if people play my videos, I cringe so hard. And that's just from the sound of my voice. If I saw my face, I'd cringe like super. I might just die of cringe. I actually might die of cringe. My voice is nice, but no, the thing is, nobody likes the sound of their own voice. I don't I like mo mo if you, you can ask probably most people and they'd say, no, I do not like the sound of my own voice. I hate the sound of my own voice. I hate it. It's not that bad when I'm alone and I'm just editing. But when I hear it from a different room, right? If I, I if I know that other people are perceiving my voice, I hate it, dude. I hate the sound of my voice. It's so cringe. Absolutely so cringe. They record themselves at home for beef. Yeah, not not all tournaments are in person. I know I know CN Mainland is in, is in person. I'm pretty sure JP after I think JP a certain point they are in person. But um, for the most part, uh, a lot of the qualifiers are played while the serves are still at home. Or I guess the, everybody is at home, not just the serves. They sound like Stampy. I've been compared to that person so many times. I've never even heard of them. I, I, I think I looked at their. I think I looked at their channel. I think they play Minecraft or something. Um, you don't hear your real voice, anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The, the, the bones or whatever, the bone vibration thing. But I hear it when I record myself. I've heard me talk more than probably anybody else ever. Because I've just had I had to listen to it when I'm recording videos, and I have to listen to it when I edit videos. Watch Stampy now, my bad guys. I I just never been into Minecraft content. I'm sorry. It's it's never really been my thing. 
らない単行版ですかめちゃくちゃあんです、ね。<笑> Stampy but not British。American Stampy。Dreamwitch Ban? Oh no! Now they're gonna play opera. Well, I guess they did okay against their opera last time, but I don't w a n t to watch another opera. Do a British accent for us? I can't. I can't do a British accent. Every time I do it, yo, Charles is crazy. Every time I do a British accent, it, like in the middle of it, it just, it just becomes Australian. And then it like, just really cringes. As a fellow editor, do you edit your videos at times two playback speed too, or am I just weird? I do the same thing, and sometimes I do th times three speed. <laughs> I, do it at, I do it at times three speed sometimes. But yeah, so I, like, time, time suit speed is the way to go. Unless you're like really like doing in depth editing,、um, you should always do it at times two speed. It's just so much faster. Okay. Mercenary, Aeroplanist, Mike Gaming, and Gardner. Very, very、uh, opera comp team. So they, they are ready for the op. They are ready for the op. Where are you from? I'm in、uh, America. <laughs> no, they didn't ban opera, so we could see op. It could be op, 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 opera singer style. Why can Survivors only ban one Hunter?、Uh, this is round two, so they, so they, they each, so Hunters always get to ban four people in tournament. That's the max that they can ban. And the first two Survivors that、um, are selected each round go to a global ban list. As you can see in the middle, you see Coordinator and Weeping Clown. Those two have been global banned from the last set since they were picked、uh, first. And in the very first round, Survivors cannot ban any Hunter.、Um, the whole point is that there's just more Survivors than Hunters. It is going to be Opera, yeah, because why wouldn't you pick Opera?、Um, But then, since there's so many more survivors and hunters are like one person, it's kind of a survivor side game. So they shouldn't be able to ban anybody for the first round. But in second round, they can ban、um, somebody. And then in the third round, they get two bans. And any consecutive rounds, they get three bans. And typically, how it goes, how, what we've been seeing is it's usually opera first, and then、um, whoever the person they're fighting is main, they ban, the, they,、uh, they ban that second. And then. Third, it's usually like a good character.、Um, like Dream Witch, Wax Artist, Bane in CN, apparently.、Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the access to Opera Singer could be scary here for the survivors. They'd rather fight an Opera Singer over a Dream Witch. I mean, the Opera Singer formula has been figured out, but.、Uh, Even if it's down to a formula, it's still Opera Singer. It's still Opera Singer at the end of the day. You can never disrespect Opera Singer. We're going to see Blink, Detention Trump Cards, Standard Stuff on Op. And then we got Borrowed Time, Knee Jerk on both Gardner and Mike. We got Tide, Knee Jerk on Aeroplanus, and then Borrowed Time, Tide on Mercenary. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. Do we get an Op 4K? That's the question. A 4K would be nice here for MRC because they.、Uh, That would actually, I think, I think that would actually put them ahead. That would actually put them ahead. So, if they can get this 4K here with their Opera Singer,、uh, that would put them ahead in the lead. Does the jump back, doesn't get the hit, uses the slow interaction bomb. That was beautiful work from the mic. Already having a really nice kite here. Looping Shack. And just gonna be able to do this for a long time. Yep, gonna be able to. Honestly, I would, I would high key like switch targets at this point. I would chase the mercenary. I would just chase it. Yep,、yeah, it looks like she's gonna do just that. I would just chase the mercenary. The mercenary is the easiest chase target. He, I, not, I mean that like sincerely. Every time we've seen an opera chase the mercenary, it usually goes well for them. Because Merc is not that great against Op. Oh boy. Chase the mercenary. Chase the mercenary. Chase the mercenary. He's right there. Chase the mercenary. No, chase the mercenary. Oh boy. This is. Man, <laughs> she's getting rotated right now. She is getting rotated.、Um, she does have blink up, so if she can get an early hit on this gunner, she can just blink down, and it won't be too detrimental. But yeah, they were really ready for this opera. They were super ready. She's getting, she's getting looped in the two buildings. She's got a blink for first hit. Blink for first hit as opera singer. That's actually crazy. I mean, it forces her away from factory, which I guess is something. Can catch up pretty fast. It is opera singer after all. Bubble, bubble? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Okay, there's the down, but the ciphers are pretty good. Those are some really good ciphers right now. I don't think this is, this is just probably a draw. 
And that's the thing. They don't. They they can't just keep getting draws. ZSLIN is getting three Ks while MRC is just getting draws. They need to get a four K or something. And yeah, even the AI is predicting this to be a draw. It looks like pretty pretty low chance for a, a four escape. But it it is Opera Singer. It is Opera Singer at the end of the day. It is Op, and they're just gonna rescue after half maybe. Not nah, Merc's coming in. Oh, does Garner have snooze? She's been on that thing for a long time. She has to have snooze. There's no way, dude. She has been on that for a long time. Doesn't even notice the mercenary. Doesn't even notice him slip in. Three ciphers done. Oh, boy. Yeah, you just hit Gardner down here. See ya. And then Charles comes on in for the rescue. And then Gardner will die. This is a draw. This is a draw. This is looking like a draw. Yeah, pick her up. Put her on factory chair. Dude, this this is a solid draw. Both sides are being worked on. Charles is coming in. This is a draw. Unless she trade swaps and finds some way to bring this match back, it's a draw. The hover! Charles is so busted. Does take a hit, though. Does take a hit. Hold on. Wait. You can maybe get a double down here. Double down? Oh, he's just going to body block. Yeah, he's going to body block. Yeah, play the body block game. Play the body block game. No reason to split up right now. No reason to. Oh, slow it. Oh! Oh, Charles! Charles! Oh my gosh. Bought so much time with that, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Bubble is primed. Bubble is primed. Oh my gosh. Bubble is primed. There's the vault. Yeah, perfectly timed, bro. Perfectly timed. Look at this stalling comp, bro. The cypher is ready. It's a draw. It could even be a three escape. Oh my gosh, they are so they were so ready for this opera. Oh boy. Dude, they were so prepared for this op. They were so prepared. Down she goes. Poppity pop. <laughs> they actually yeah, airplane some BT. He had to self heal, but even then. Oh, that's so goofy. That's so goofy. I guess you could kill Aeroplane Asleep on the ground kill. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. That's, that's gotta be... That's three escape, I think. This is actually three escape! No way! There's no way. Oh, Char... Wait! Charles! Oh, wait! No, 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 it's a draw! It's a draw, it's a draw! He has no hover! Wait, but dungeon! He's booking it, he's booking it! He's booking it for dungeon! He has one jetpack! Charles! Oh! Charles! I think he makes it! Does he make it? Does he make it? He makes it! <laughs> and that's it! That secures the win! Oh my gosh! That secures the win! Yo, he actually made it! I think the set may have continued if that was a draw! A 1k! 1k for Opera! They were so ready for it. They were actually so ready for it. What the heck? Oh boy. Dude. He actually got that. Charles, yeah, see, okay, nerfed Charles? Probably would not have made that. Nerf Charles would not have made that. I guarantee you. Mm. Gardner carried. Gar yeah, Gardner carried. They all carried. They all did well. Like Charles vaulting the window back and forth. Gardner doing a great kite. Mike having a great starting kite, forcing her to, to not only change targets, but also giving them rotation time. That was beautiful. Mercenary getting a very slick backdoor rescue. Like, my goodness. That wasn't the most optimal opera gameplay, but... Like... I'm telling you, dude, just chase the mercenary. Just chase the mercenary. The first, yeah, the first kite was good. Mike took no damage. And then she realized she's gonna get looped in chat because it's an acrobat. And, um... Just tried to swap targets. Then they rotated. My goodness. <laughs> Can't, re can't reach out because I need food. I think that's actually just going to be it for today, though. I'm pretty sure that was the last set, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, that's that's the last set, so I'm pretty sure it just ends there. Huh. Garner has 10% increased chair time by default, so I'm why she lasted so long. I, I do know that, but like it felt like she was on there for a long time. Like a very long time. I don't, I don't know if it was Max News paired with the chair time, but it felt like she was there for a long time. Like, officer long time. Not, not like, you know, 
And she didn't break the chair either. That would have been another 10%. Hi. Dang, dude. Uh, wait. A draw. No, a draw will still. No, actually. A draw still won them the set. Never mind. Oh, yeah, they said it earlier. Duh. I think they needed a three escape there. Yeah, so it was over the second she got the second kill. Or got, they got they got three people three people out. She needed a 3k there. Dang. Dang, dude. My goodness. Okay, well, uh, congrats to uh, ZSLIN. And uh, I don't really know what we're going to do when it comes to uh, the rest of CN Mainline. Because, again, I don't have a Billy Billy account yet. Um, and there are a lot of matches that have been played. I don't even know if all of them are on stream. I really don't know. I want to commentate every single uh, Koa match. But with Billy Billy, I don't really know how that's going to go. I don't know if the JP commentators are going to commentate live instead to catch up. Because um, they've, they've done day one, two, three, and four technically. But they haven't showed all the matches. Just some of them. I don't even know if all the matches have been streamed. I, I really don't know how it works. Um, but if JP does start commentating, uh, com commentating tomorrow for uh, China, that'll be nice. Because then I can just watch it live. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Might be able to help the Billy Billy where I should talk about in your server if I do. Oh, where should I? Um, you can probably just at me uh, in general or something, and I'll, I'll take a look at it. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be it for today. Um, since that is the end of the set. Um, yeah, it went by a little bit faster than normal. It was only about four and a half hours. It went by a little bit faster, but it, of course, this is these games did happen last weekend. Um, so the, the JP, they can just kind of go through it faster since they're more dubbing over the... Uh, games that already took place so you don't need a billy billy account to watch but the thing is what what zeus and i found out is the quality does not look good if you don't have a billy billy account you have to have a billy billy account to like actually extend the uh or like to make it hd or whatever and um i don't have one of those and I haven't really looked into setting it up because it's all like in Chinese. So yeah, it's been it's been four and a half hours. It's been four and a half hours. Usually, usually these go on for a little bit longer, but um, it's uh it's been a bit shorter since again it's like you know the the, the Chinese uh, dubbing over it. But yeah, we'll probably watch uh, the day one and two sometime. I'm not really sure. We might do that in streams or videos. I really don't know. Um, either way, I think I'm gonna uh I think I'm gonna call it there. So uh yeah, <laughs> let's. Let, let's call it there. Let's call it there. I got I got some other stuff to record. Have some videos to do. So I'll actually have to do my job now. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's a bit of a shorter one, but you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, we'll be we'll be back hopefully tomorrow watching uh, more CN mainland. This time actually live matches, not like live Japanese dubbed over matches. But yeah. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to make sure I actually end stream this time. Uh, <laughs> unlike last time. Thank you for reminding me in the, in the server. Very goofy. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.